And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Rip Podcast. After hours edition, we're joined with six lovely ladies. We're back. Should have been seven, but Chris kicked one out. Uh, uh, Frank Castle okay. herself. Oh, man. <laughs> Chris right. Castle. Fuck yeah, it. Chris Castle. We'll tell you about that in a second. Let's get into it, man. All the night is my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to serious. leave? Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not just what's seen. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's time <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Trade Podcast After Hours Edition. Uh, guys, please do me a quick favor and like the video, man. Help us with the algorithm. Get us back up in there. Uh, so, all right, quick announcements, guys. So, uh, number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit, where you guys get all the uh, behind-the-scenes content to include us kicking out annoying girls, like the two that we had to kick out yesterday. I really didn't want to do it either, bro, but uh, we we had to do it because they were disrupting the, level of the show and then... You know, this chick was, what's her name? Kay? Whatever the fuck her name is. Like, Kay, J. Crazy. I don't know. Yeah. Chris was going to kick her out right before the show started, but he yeah, he, he held off. He was, he didn't, yeah, like, Fresh Out stopped me. Yeah. For, yeah. So it <laughs> yes. is what it is. Um, but yeah, guys, check us out over there on Patreon. Besides, like, you know, stupid drama, we also teach you guys how to invest in real estate, make money, cryptocurrency, uh, credit scores, credit, get your credit score up, you know, how to use Instagram to get girls, network, how to use everything. Instagram network. Everything, guys. We help y'all on there. We are the number one male self-improvement podcast in the world for a reason. As a matter of fact, we just gave y'all a jam-packed episode full of gems on sugar dating, how to use sugar sites to your advantage to get yep. girls and without paying and being a, a trick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we teach you guys how to do that as well as that girl tried to do yesterday. And she proved for everybody, you're out there trolling. You don't want to pay girls. I'm like, okay. And trolling, so, trolling, you know what I'm saying? Trolling is an art. It is an art, my friend. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then also, guys, we're on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. Everyone's putting up their favorite podcast right now. And I've been like reposting you guys on my personal Instagram. I'm going to go yeah. on the Fresh to Fit one as well and repost. But uh, thank you guys so much for showing us the love, man. Y'all yeah, really man. like rock with the podcast. Guys, the anchor link is below. Check us out, man. We're on Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts, every single platform you guys listen to podcasts. We are there. And Chris, Chris uploaded an episode Andrew earlier Andrew Tate. with Andrew Tate that we had yesterday with those girls. And that video is going crazy on YouTube right now. It's at like almost, I think, 200K or maybe more. I don't know. But uh, pretty close. It was great. And we're going to have. Uh, we, we're going to have, um, for this week, quick announcements. We're going to have Rolo Tomasi tomorrow. Who's in the studio right now? Hey, shout out to you, Rolo. Shout out to Rolo. He's going to go to the club. Uh, so he, he's like, uh, for a minute. Know, he's, yeah, yeah, he's got to go uh, do some things after this, but I figured, Hey man, since you're here, why not say what's up to the people? Sure, sure. We got our man, Sam, one of our loyal supporters in the back as well. Shout, shout out to you, Sam. Sam. Um, and, uh, yeah, man. So Rolo's going to be out tomorrow. We're going to have a one-on-one -on -one show with him. We're going to discuss a whole bunch of RP topics, guys, you know, current events, things that are going on in culture. Uh, you know, masculinity in general. Every time we have a talk with Rolo, you know, it goes for two to three hours, but it's lit. It's awesome. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so Can't you'll be able to it. see that tomorrow. And then uh, on Friday, we're going to have a call-in show with Rolo. That's also going to be lit because you guys really enjoy those shows. Yep. And then Saturday, I'm going to uh, – we're looking at a panel show with uh, Rolo, the Tate brothers. Justin uh, and Sterling. Justin and Sterling if they're available. Yeah. So that's what we're looking. It's not concrete yet on Saturday, but that's we'll what we're see. looking at. We'll see. We'll that's see. Lit. And then all the ladies Instagrams are right there for you guys, by the way, as well. So make sure to send your dick pics there. But um, what else? Uh, so yeah, check us out on Spotify, Google and Apple Podcast. Also, guys, please second subscribe channel. to our second channel, Fresh and Fit Clips. clips. Okay, guys, you might not have two hours, three hours to watch one of the full podcasts. Totally cool. Check us out with the Clips channel. We post two clips per day. We, you know, whether it's like the crazy shit happening or me putting on some weird, you know, ethnic hat. Uh, check us out over there on Fresh Come and right. Clips. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Russian Myron, Saudi Myron, <laughs> and uh, Mexican Myron, El Myron. Wow. We're all here. <laughs> you know, and I got another hat coming. You guys are going to see another version of me as well. And then also, guys, get the merch, store.com. All the shirts that Fresh hates to wear are there. Uh, <laughs> the I feel like shirts, Fresh of It podcast shirts. You know what's funny? I need more shirts because they're in the wash right now. <laughs> so I'm wearing this shirt right now. Yeah, man. So uh, check us out over there, guys, store.com. Get the merch. And then also, guys, check us out uh, on Fresh's vlog channel. Guys, behind the scenes, man, we're out doing stuff, networking, meeting people, and going on dates. That's the vlogs right there for you. Check it out. And um, what else here? And then we're also live streaming to Twitch, Twitch right, guys? Or, as well, guys, twitch.tv slash Podcast. Now, I know what you guys are probably wondering. 
I just posted on Instagram a little bit ago that we need an audio engineer. Sound engineer. Yeah, we need an audio engineer, guys. Um, nothing. Uh, not, there's nothing wrong with Trey, guys. Trey's fine. Um, just that, guys, you got to understand that Trey works a, a full-time job. He's yeah. very busy, and he travels quite a bit, quite to, a bit to, to travel here. all over the place. Yeah. So, um, you know, you'll probably see him in the future again. But uh, for now, guys, we need an audio engineer that's, like, in the Miami area yeah. that it won't be too much of an inconvenience for them to come down and do the shows. Y'all know we do long shows. We do multiple shows per day sometimes. So, you know, and we look, need some people that are going to be in Brickle, Even better because we're in Brickle. Yes, mm -hmm. if you're in Miami or the Brickle area, even better. But we're looking for an audio engineer that knows about live production is familiar with personas and yeah wants to fucking be on the fresh rip podcast and show with us you know what i'm saying which okay that, now no one's going to want to do it <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh wait wait we gotta hang out with you guys after the show no <laughs> no yeah so check us out over there guys and then uh chris you want to tell them about your twitch this guy's uh follow me on twitch I think it doesn't matter what you think <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what you think yo <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> twice. <laughs> Yo, twice. Uh, guys, uh, that was a new sound bit. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I did a pre show uh, with Rolo and the girls. So I will do a post show and roll to 5K. Let's get it, Merch Gang. Maturity levels are very, very high on this show, as you guys can tell, man. And uh, also, uh, uh, since we got rolling the house, guys, go get his book, The Rational Mail. Yep. And also, um, I'll put his links in the description as well. Subscribe to his YouTube channel, The Rational Mail, and uh, subscribe to his clip channel, The Rational Mail Clips. Uh, because if you guys don't have three hours to watch, listen to him uh, yes. uh, ramble, go ahead, check out his clips, and listen to him ramble for only seven minutes. So, yeah. uh, shout out to Rolling House. He had a viral man. clip. Uh, including me in it. Yeah. yeah. Talk of the yeah, town. Really stepped in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out right. to all the fucking Tomasi. Um and, and all the haters that love to roll Tomasi. All right, cool. So uh, I guess we'll introduce uh the oh, and then ladies, I want to come on the show. Yes, right, uh DM me and Aaron C. Poxon. Um make sure you come to a, a show um on time early with a good attitude because I had to, you know, Chris Castle girl earlier, you know, she came out here, she was following instructions, you know, it's what it is, you know, like the girls on pound know how I am already. But yes, um, and if you find a small, small the state and you got a husband and boyfriend, bring him with you because uh, we don't want any issues, all right? Yeah, we don't want headaches, bro. Uh, okay, cool. So um, other than that, I guess let's introduce the, the lovely ladies on so the panel. Ladies, give us your name, your age, what we do for a living, your current dating status. We'll start right here. And your body count. And then he wants to know your body count. Chris wants to know your body count. Chris, yeah, yourself. Body count. Hi, I'm Alejandra. Don't um, answer the body count. We're just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you can, but... <laughs> No, I'm good. I'm Alejandra. I'm 23. And there was no other question, right? No. Uh, what do you do for it? Yeah. Um, I'm about to start like an internship on December 6th. So I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, are you single? Yeah, I'm single. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, I'm Vanessa. I'm from Chicago. I'm 26. Shine I'm rack. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> no, well, Chris has that sound effect. That's not me. <laughs> but go ahead, continue on. So you're from Chicago. What else? Um, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> I don't oh, I'm single and I'm a 420 friendly business consultant. So Ooh. I help different companies start their businesses, do brand branding. Wait, aren't you a paralegal too? Or you left oh. that joint? No, I'm in school. Oh, okay. To for law though, right? I'm I'm pretty law, well, yeah. Okay, all right. That's what it was. Okay. And and you, you're single? Yes, I'm single. Okay. Yo, y'all want to hear life. something funny? Man. Bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, literally, bro. Though. Last time she was on the show, man. Let's go on through a memory lane real quick, man. <laughs> oh, man. A couple weeks back. I think it was, what, like a Sorry, month ago? Sorry, guys. She's not mute anymore. So oh, she's not mute. Oh, they didn't hear anything you just said just now. Oh, I was on mute? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, might yeah. have been muted. Thank oh, God. <laughs> we just saved y'all a lot of pain. But okay, y'all want to hear what she got to say? Introduce yourself again, please. <sighs> okay. You guys purposely muted me. Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah that's it kind happened. Of fucking bogus. I'm Vanessa. I'm from Chicago. I'm 26. I'm a 420-friendly business consultant, and I'm single. So cool. I live my life. Cool. She's single. Y'all right. want to hear a funny story about her, though? <laughs> Yo, so check this out, bro. She was here like a month ago, right? And With her friend. And she drives off, and she hits an Asamarin in the lot, bro. And yeah, oh. yeah, literally, like, just... And then next thing you know, she does a... <laughs> and she fucking leaves, right? And the security is like, yo, one of your guests uh, uh, hit a car. And I was like, what? And then the cops show up and shit. And I call her. I'm like, bruh, you got to come back. You're going to get hit with a felony. You do realize this. You really said that. And, uh, and like, you, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? Oh. You can't do it. It's a crime in Florida. So she ends up, like, you know, uh, 
giving her information to security, whatever. And you, what, what you called the insurance company? Yes, shout out to uh, yeah, I called my insurance company. Shout out to State Farm, if you want to. <laughs> shout out to State Farm because <laughs> I had a hundred dollar deductible, and so I, okay, so this will happen. I reverse and whatever happened happened so then i was like oh my god give them my information like i'm not gonna it was do a hit it was aston martin bro you no, the no, 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 no. this is what happened <laughs> when i was reversing i didn't okay so that car showed up while i had gotten there because i my dumb ass was too high and forgot my purse oh. so i came back for my purse and so when i pulled up the, the jeep was only there so i reversed and i thought i hit a curb so then i left and that's it so then eventually i got a call i'm like what the hell okay so thank god i have insurance Give them my shit, give them my ID, all of that. The guy calls me the next day and is like, hey, um, so I got the info from my security people. They said you hit my car. And I was like, can we handle this? Just us? And he's like, um, it's going to be about like $8,000. Okay, take my insurance um, because I'm not paying that out of pocket. Ashton Martin definitely is something you don't want to hit with a Chrysler. But you, already, you just did <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I mean, look, at least you took responsibility, but I mean, to hit and run though. I didn't purposely hit and run though, because when I got there, there was no Stop I, no for real. So you hit the car and then you just like left. Because if, if you look at the damage too, there's nothing there but a little. Like, it was minor. Yeah, it, it was, was minor. minor. Yeah, it was minor. But, okay, yeah. but it was so, like. It's, the it's car like, was so low and it was behind the Jeep. So when I pulled up, it wasn't there. So when I'm reversing to do this turnaround because your parking garage yeah, area is cars move. Up, it wasn't there. Yes, but I'm like, saying like, I, okay, it was still me being. Chicago. But it was still me being You were here doing dumb. a podcast for like two hours. Yeah, yeah cars move. No, I, okay, not that whole time. When I came to pull back up, I grabbed, never mind. Bruh. I hit a car and Bruh. my dumb ass said a hit and run, yeah. but I handled my responsibility. And, and, and then, and then, and then uh, you went out to lunch with the guy. What was that like? <laughs> <laughs> <That> was, <laughs> it was funny. Um, we went to go get sushi. Because <laughs> we were on the phone. I was like, yo, my bad. I was like, Loki, if there were no cameras, I would have probably just left. Oh and he God. started giggling. He's like, yeah, you know what? I get that. That makes giggling. sense. <laughs> you sure he wasn't like, like irate? Like, like, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of world is this? Bruh. <laughs> you, you even my McLaren? That was all chuckle. Yeah, we're going yeah. to fight, bro. Men I'm chuckle, not giggle. No, okay, he had a chuckle. He had a chuckle. Okay. Okay. But he's like, okay, so if this carbon thingy wasn't broken, you'd be fine. But, you know, it's looking like $8,000 in damage. Um, I could tell you didn't, like, do too much. Do you want to meet tomorrow to exchange information? And I was like, sure. Who are, are you sure you don't mean to just give it to you over the phone? Yeah. So he was like, um, no, it's okay. He's like, you sound like a good time. So it was his, this is what the issue was. Or this is, like, why you don't realize. The car and his apartment is in his parents' name. Okay. So everything went back to his parents. So he's like, yeah, my mom and dad called me at like 4 a.m. And I was confused as to what was going on. So I figured I'd give you a call today and hopefully you can like, you know, straighten it up or something. <laughs> and I was like, okay, sure. Where do you want to meet? And that's how it went. All right. Did so y'all smash? Yeah. That's no. The, thank you. That's what the people want to know. Yeah, check one no, out. I have smashing. a type. I'm sorry. Well, he wasn't the type? No. Bruh. I like my coffee how I like my men. Black. Tall, dark, handsome. <laughs> black. Black. Yeah, black. Jet black. Black. Jet black. Black and tall or black? Black coffee. I like oh, it. was he not black? Chicken, not stirred. Oh. Yeah, he sounded white. <laughs> he sounded white for my impersonation. Yeah. Was he a Caucasian guy? <laughs> I mean, he was of the Caucasian type. Oh. Damn. Okay. Well, that's uh. Honestly, though, I was so embarrassed. Damn, my Aston Martin, bro. If you hit my Aston Martin, I'm getting some ass. Like, that's come on, man. Like, that's that's fucking some Aston yeah. Martin. Uh, you know I'm, Aston I'm Martin. not gonna lie, I'm, a, Aston I'm the worst. Aston Martin. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is going that on? Hell, okay, hell, I'm I'm Aston Martin. Aston Martin. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm backing up. I'm backing up. <laughs> backing up in this home. But I'm the Christ when he's the oh, Aston Martin. Damn, bro. So damn, you didn't get nothing out of it. So okay. But you, I paid for the lunch. You, you paid, paid for, for lunch? lunch? I paid for the lunch. Is that a first? Yo, we don't know how you feel yo, about paying for shit. You paid, no, yo, you paid I never dates? said that. Yo, she paid no, 40 y'all... bucks out of 8,000? Yeah. Oh, good job. No. Oh, good, good job. job. Good job. Yo, yo, good boy. Thank you. <laughs> like a good neighbor. <laughs> <Stay> <laughs> <from>. <laughs> <laughs> like a good neighbor. <laughs> Stay for him. We hit your car. Lunch is here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Okay, what about you? Yeah, all right. <gasps> Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Only on Fresh and Fucking Fit, baby. <laughs> oh, all right. Hi. Um, <laughs> my name is Lily. Um, I'm a sex worker. And I'm 22. 
Okay. And are you, are you single? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I'm single. Very I've much. never heard that term. Like, I, well, that's no, she's the second girl to say that. Yeah. 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 First time was SW. We had hell on it. So now, hey, wait. Okay. So are we talking about like, you know, you you dance for single denominations of a currency? Are we talking? Oh, yeah. I'm a dancer. OnlyFans? Well, I'm a scripper. Okay. Okay. But I also do. Don't incriminate. Like, more like OnlyFans. So stuff like that. So you're a scripper and OnlyFans. Yes. Okay. She means stripper, guys. It's a joke. Yeah. It's, okay. Um. Any, and are you single in a uh, relationship? Single. Okay. Yeah, of course. Cool. Like single for real, for real, or single? Single like... for real, for real, for real, for real. But okay. I'm looking. But when I retire, not when I retire, but when I, I'm looking. But next 2022, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna start looking. Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> right. And, uh, I'll just say she got a strong back. <laughs> oh, I'll say that. I'll just say that. Yeah, and I know the people. The chat's gonna want to know. I even made this. I guess are they natural? Yeah. Uh, what size? Totally. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't I wear bra. <laughs> so I, I really don't know. I I, I want to I want to get a bra for Christmas. That's my Christmas. Like, hey, uh, I don't wear one. Should. I don't wear them. Hey, shout out to those Why two strings holding it right now. <laughs> those, two, those are strong <laughs> strings right there. Yeah, yeah, those two know. strings right oh, there. Two strings. Oh, yeah. I said tight. Yeah. Once again, she got a yeah, strong Yeah, we, we went to the bathroom and we yeah. made sure they're tight because yeah. yeah. we're not giving y'all that all that tonight. Yeah. No nip slip on YouTube. Yeah. Well, on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, that would be really bad. Uh, all right, cool, awesome. What about you? Oh gosh. Um, hi, I'm Gina. Um, I'm 28 years old. I'm a registered nurse, and I just started in like the financial industry, financial service industry. Cool. And hey. I'm. I was just recently like became single. Hey. hey. And you don't have a strong back. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You're right. Oh. No, I mean. <laughs> I just say it's fresh. <laughs> Masogony. She got strong hips, so. though. <laughs> okay, no cancel. Oh. Really. No now we get canceled. Now we're getting canceled. Oh my gosh. Hey, she has strong hips, though. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, what's up, y'all? My name is Mars. I'm a server. I'm 22 and I'm single. A Welcome server. Back. Okay. Welcome back, Mars. Thank She's you. the one Venus. For, for some of y'all that don't realize Hello. we asked her, hey, if you were a guy for a little bit and you know, in a dream world. How would you get girls? And she's the one sending the Casamigo shots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what works. And guys, shots me this weekend. And guys, last last show, she was touching me. You, you didn't text her back. I didn't. Okay, so clearly it doesn't work. Yeah. But by the way, <laughs> last show, you were not touching me, right? You just making sure that was okay, right? Last yeah. show. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, and that's what? why she's on my side this time, guys. Uh, so she, he she, didn't she, want she, me sitting next to him. Yeah, we had to put Wait, on the side. Hey, man, that's great. That was a, it, it's what it is. <laughs> yeah, by the way, y'all yeah, be wondering, like, who, like, picks the... Chris is the one that, you know, orchestrates the girls and seats them how they sit. He always does Stop. it with the chat in mind. You know what I'm saying? He got y'all, so... Yo, you know what I mean with the, with the fat kid that's, that's like this? That's what what you mean? Felt, like... You know, like the fat kid, is it Africa or whatever? In the yellow shirt? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah looking yeah. at the kid like, oh, yes, yeah, so you're telling me. Okay, yeah. What about that? <laughs> That's what I feel all the time. So, never mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Hello, everyone. My name is Alex. Go ahead. No, 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 no. That was, you just said a bad joke, so we had to, you know. Um, my name is Alexandra. I am 23 years old. I am single, and I do makeup, and I model. Cool. Cool. All right. All right, nice, nice and succinct right there. Wait, right. uh, R Rolo, what name did did you give to her? Betty Page. Betty Page. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. You know, okay. what? what's your background? Google it. Or maybe okay, I'm bad with names, but with pictures, I'm like okay. You'll now know I know who you're talking about. Is it because of the bangs? Mm -hmm. People say I look like I like the bangs. People. Yes, Thank Betty you. Page. There you go. All right, Rolo, got you, fam. Oh, 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 Chris got it. Okay, uh, Betty Chris. Page. Shout out to Chris. Hey. Producer Chris. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's her. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. Where's she from? The fifties. Oh, she's bad. Damn, Dude, Roland, you're really showing your age now? Oh, no. <laughs> Aaron Clary told me to put that up there. Yeah, I'm in Matrix. Aaron Clary, shout out to Aaron Clary. We need to get his ass back oh, out here, bro. Yeah. I'll cycle them up. He's coming in February or January, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think January. Yeah. I, I was like, yeah. bro, you need so, to come Kathy, back, man. man. We need to talk about, you know, yelling at clouds and being old and being <laughs> miserable and, yeah. you know, the Dakotas. I'm running for miles. Yeah, I'm running yeah. for no reason. Yeah. Shout out to our ninja Aaron Clary. Coin guys. collections. Go yeah, get the book. Yeah, he, actually, I bought silver because silver. of Shout out to Aaron Clary, guys. Go get his book, Bachelor Pad Economics. Good friend of the show. Uh, good guy in general, and uh, we make fun of him all the time. Mr. Williams, five bucks. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lily Dior, ma'am, you are the definition of down bad Jesus. Oh, we got some boricos. Hello, ladies. Welcome to FNF, home of the demonry and capaholics. Okay. <laughs> what the? Mr. Williams, again, I speak for the black dudes in the chat, and sorry to my brown boys, but we're not giving Latinas back. LOL. BBC ow, ow. 2022 tour <laughs> is in full effect. Get your tickets. What the all right. Fuck? <laughs> Uh, Team Chillin <laughs> Wonder what will go down tonight I don't know Team Chillin uh, Raz We don't know 179 all the way from Great Britain 
Yesterday's show was the best one yet. Keep it up. Yes, mm -hmm. I lost hair follicles though and got spit on by a 304. <laughs> I probably have. You got spit on? COVID, yeah. aka yeah. Uh, COVID 19. It's on Patreon, guys, the full video because that was bad. Yeah, she spit on me, guys. Holy it was terrible. She, yeah. I, I landed on my arm. You but didn't it, like it? It burned a little bit. Uh, it burned. It was acidic. Uh, acidic. <laughs> Raul, okay, with a question mark, 10 bucks. Catching the rerun tomorrow. Got my slow Tuesday coming over. Let's keep the IQ high this show. Probably not, though. Yeah, mm. yeah who knows? Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, man. Great pot earlier. Came to see the girls. <laughs> They're all a bit too old for my liking. Let's hang out later. Oh, <laughs> bro, what is God, wrong with you, bro? bro? Who made that? <laughs> Crazy. I just put two and two together. Right? That's, oh, that man. dude. Epstein did not kill himself. Okay? He He's didn't kill himself, here in the flesh. Uh, the real God, Shotty next to Fresh, look like the, the 24K Golden. I don't know. That is that rapper? You're rich. Look like 24K Golden. I don't know what that is. Raul, question mark again. Shout out to Chris Forehead, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, D nice, five bucks. Fresh or Sniper always got shooters, especially the one in the middle. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Support from Chicago Land. Yo, FNF, when is the next live call in show? That's going to be this Friday, guys. We're we'll rolling to Aussie. Uh, and that's yep. from B1GN8. Okay. Uh, Citrus the King. Uh, have Hero bite that plastic bimbo from last night. Hero will probably be put down, <laughs> but hey, you'll definitely be solving your hero problem. <laughs> that's a little dog. Uh, Robert Snanders, two yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are the ladies celibate or smashing at least one person? Oh, oh shit. shit. That's a good question. Dun, 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 dun. Ladies. Celibate? Smashing somebody. Which I'm one is pretty it? Celibate. <laughs> pretty? Really? Wait. Hold on. What's, what's pretty? Like the pretty mouth? Celibate. <laughs> Vagina wise or mouth? Um like I just, you know, I guess not having sex on the first date kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, but are you, are you are you hooking up with someone, at least one guy? No, not at the moment. No. Okay. <sighs> Stop the cap. <laughs> I, have, I have one here. There you I go. got a spare. Okay. Oh, like uh, Chris, that. you got an extra over there too? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm, bringing mine, on I'm bringing mine tomorrow. Yeah, I got that one. one. You got to have one. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, just one. Okay. One of many. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Did he send you Casamigos to the table? That's the real question. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, damn right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Me? Uh, no, I'm not seeing anybody. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Stop the cap. Wait, wait. Stop the cap. What is this? Whatever. If you Nigeria's camera is there. <laughs> All right. Moving on. All right. Okay. <laughs> I got a man, but his name, first name Dill, last name Doe. Oh, okay. That's my man. Dill Doe. No, uh, Dill Doe. That's my man. Dill Doe. Dill Doe. No more. Nah, but for real, no, I'm celibate. But I'm looking 2022. Uh, 2022. Stop taking applications. Hey, you got one month. 2022. All right. Uh, yo, my new, my She's new name is this. for this one to hold expire. On. Wait, hold on, hold on. So let me get this right. <laughs> You're a sex worker, but you don't have sex. Well, I'm a stripper. I, I just consider all OnlyFans stripping sex work. So, so I guess I'm an entertainer more word. than Chris. Anything. What's your take on this? No, I'm saying OnlyFans. What do you do, OnlyFans? I fuck my man, dildo, girl. <laughs> I mean, sir. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> not the sombrero. No. Well, my own is in the house because. <laughs> This is a whole bunch of uh, capo right now. All this right. is crazy. Oh, I'm not ready yet for a man. He's El Maron. I'm Hush Puppy. No. <laughs> biggest, biggest scammer there was. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dubai. <laughs> Welcome to Dubai. Welcome Do you know Dubai? Do Do you know Dubai? So, so wait. So you, you're not banging anyone right now? No, I want to. Or let me not say that. You got to go subscribe. See. <laughs> <laughs> let me not say that. Let me. Uh, whatever. It's too late. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm I'll looking. Do. I'm looking for talent. All right, chat niggas, if you I'm want looking. to. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Right, so so what, what's your drop your Instagram? Uh, Lily underscore underscore Dior. I'm taking applications for talent. So, so. what's the. Um, oh, OK. So what's so what's the minimum talent? Threshold. The threshold. Eight or inches. Eight? Eight inches? Eight. And good. You have to be good camera, too. Sorry, And fresh. iPhone 13, because we no <laughs> Samsung. <laughs> we need good camera. You got to outdo Wait, but how, camera. How do Don't pull know? up with that dying battery. How would you know? <laughs> I don't want about, the notifications going off. But how would you know what size they are? Well, oh, send it through OnlyFans. She said dick pics all day. With the $20 tip or something. Her. Chat her. niggas, is the Chat niggas you know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat niggas, you know what to do. I got a strap on. 
<laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> okay. No, we need Ooh. organic. <laughs> So uh, only organic, no plastic. I already got enough at home. All right, so next, <laughs> no, no, no Town, next. Oh, um, honestly, right now, no. It's been a little while. Yeah, it's been a little while. Sorry. What two days? So you didn't smash nobody for a couple months? <laughs> for a couple months, we're we're over putting a timeline on it. Yeah, of course. I, I, I'm, I'm just curious. Yeah, like it's it's been a while, right? Don't cap. Yeah, it's been like a little over a month. A little over a month. <laughs> So a month and one day. What's today's date? <laughs> All right, moving forward. <laughs> when was Halloween? All right, next. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I don't know. It's been like longer than a month. It's been a minute. Yeah. A minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. How long is a minute? <laughs> Maybe like three months plus. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Does that count as a dry spill? <laughs> Bro, I gotta put on a mask. This is ridiculous. Now I have to put on a mask because I can't even get any more caps. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, I heard that you're uh, looking for talent. I'm a thug. Will you, oh, you want to do this? Thug. Yeah. Why you said why you why that like that? Uh, we, we said you said screet, so I don't know. I thought I'd, I'd work. Said stripper. Uh, stripper. Uh, stripper. Stripper. Said, said screet, screet, stripper. stripper. I like screams. First of all, I'm a stripper. Well, I'm from the screet too. Uh, I'm not from the screet. <laughs> Ain't none screen about me for one. My, Myron, that's your code. Oh, I didn't even that, say where I was from. Pink. I'm sorry. That, that's I'm your sorry. code pink outfit right there. Not to cut you off, I forgot to say where I'm from. I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. Ooh. Oh, then you definitely it's like very much irrelevant, but Rod Wave from there. He's the only person that's relevant code from pink. there. So who's that? Who? Rod Wave. <laughs> I've been broke so many times. I... Okay, when well, y'all oh, oh yes. Dude, yeah, so that's the only person that's relevant. Everybody else, uh, yeah. Anyway. Why do we? Um, <clears> the <throat> no, levels of cap. I'm are literally. Crazy. So you're saying you haven't banged in a month? You're saying you haven't banged in three months? Yeah, so it's been like three Same. weeks. Yo, I'm scared right now, bro. <laughs> I gotta go. Why? I gotta bang to go rob. <laughs> this, this, this is scary. Oh. He's gonna go rob someone's bang. <laughs> okay, oh. super chats real quick. Like we got here. Um, <laughs> your sin. No, uh, which one is it, Chris? Venom. Yep. Okay. We uh, huh. five bucks. She didn't smash him because she found out the Aston Martin belongs to his parents. <laughs> oh shit! Is that true? No, it's not true. I just don't smash randomly. I honestly have really good sex, so I don't have no business like having these random sexes. Okay. Before, <laughs> we got Mo Canadian. Fifteen bucks says, "Shout to the four to ten girl. Next time you should call a real driver like me. Yes, I'm the Uber guy from the previous show. Oh shit. Oh hey. <laughs> There you go. It's okay. Uh, we didn't like you before either. <laughs> Shit. Jumping like Jordan, five bucks says, how much would it cost to hire 50k a Trey full time? He was a part of the family. He'll be oh, missed. Okay. Yeah, man. Trey's cool, man. Uh, you know, Trey definitely has a lot going on as well. So, you know, it, it was definitely on his time to make a choice. And, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, Dylan Jones, two bucks says, when are we going to get Steph is cool on the show? Oh, okay, cool. I don't know. You ask him. We're, we're, we're ready whenever. Uh, Hero the Hero, 10 bucks says, at the Trista King, I got you, bro. Sharpening teeth just for your request. Don't worry, though. I can't be put down. I'm invisible. That's why I talk shit to Myron. I never get touched. This beef will never stop. Oh, the hero. So Hero said he's going he's gonna to bite your ankle and uh, never stop. <laughs> hey, yo, fuck Hero, bro. <laughs> All right. We got uh, Scott Wiro. Ten bucks says, can we get Rola at the table? Uh, tomorrow. Ooh, yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. He will be here tomorrow. Full. He's got to go. He's got to go. Guys, All day. Yeah. That's why. Today's Andrew's birthday, man. So we got to go celebrate with Andrew. Yeah. Uh, Terry Cop. 20 bucks says, I have a feeling whatever Myron brings up tonight will be a very thought provoking. Uh, <laughs> I get it. TSOT, thought provoking. <laughs> Garfield Bania, 100, uh, is that Ukraine? Uh, NOK, I'm gonna look that up real quick. Great team, what Myron, Fresh, Chris, and Trey. Keep Trey, it is hard to get good people. Why can you not manage the audio remotely? Very good <sighs> question. Is what is. Uh, El Capo, five bucks says, Y'all getting y'all backs blown out? Stop the cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I don't know what's going on there. But we got a uh, Norwegian, Norwegian. Norwegian. It's these Miami guys. Like, no, no. You don't, you don't like guys from Miami? I like the way I smell. What? <laughs> Yo, that was random. Wait, okay. what? What, the, what the smell? What? I like the way I smell. What, what does the smell have to do with anything? Because y'all be making our... Never mind. <laughs> oh. uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't right. know what's going on there. <laughs> okay. Y'all be y'all be fucking up the pH girl or man, sorry. Um, oh, okay. Oh. That's what you mean. I worked a long time to get my thing right. <laughs> so, was I mean, it wrong? That's, that's, wrong. that's, yeah, that's what that, raw, what happens when you mess with dudes. If you go raw, so I guess you no, even with the condom. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You don't like cream pies? Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> Hell no! What the fuck? 
I mean, no. all right. Shout like to all fans. Cake. He like chocolate cake. He likes chocolate cake. <laughs> All right. Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey Epstein, five Sorry. bucks again. I might be interested. Do you want to travel to islands? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jeffrey Epstein. Okay. So first question of the night, ladies. Mm -hmm. What is a definite red flag you see a guy for the first time that just turns you off and say, you know what? This guy is not even going to get any box. He's out of the picture. He's done. Red flag for you off the bat. We'll start right here. Biggest disqualifier. Yeah. Biggest red flag. When you just want to cut the conversation short, like you just don't care. It's already obvious. Sorry. When you want to cut the conversation short, like it's already obvious that you just don't care. Like, I don't know if I'm going on a date, romantically speaking, I'm going on a date. So if you're kind of just like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. But then you're just looking at this area. Yeah. Mm. To me, that's like a big red flag. I don't know. I could just so. What if he wants to know if you have a strong back? He's checking you out. The, well, then I'll show him. Like, yeah, I have a strong back. What's the problem? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so, come out. so you're saying <laughs> eyes up here, eyes not down there. Focus again to know you other than your body. Yeah, it comes down to that, yeah. <laughs> Peace, Rolo. Okay. Rolo just Rolo's left the building. He's gotta go out. Bye, Rolo. Later, man. Bye, Rolo. Bye. Okay, cool. So I like those kids. Focus on you. Pretty much. But like not body, but mentally. Yeah, or just don't be like, I don't know. At least so you have some sort of interest or fake it until you make it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. What about you? Um, they stay with their parents or their mom still. Mm. Biggest one. Okay. Living with your parents. So Aston Martin, is that what killed it for you? <laughs> Out of curiosity, because it was all in their parents' name. He wasn't black. Oh. Okay. That was me. Um, I, okay, so it's not even like the raise. It's the corniness. Uh, like first off, yeah, I did hit your car. So now that you brought it up, like you're gonna go out to eat with me. Why? Like, that's weird, first mm. off. Like, you don't make friends on a daily basis. Um, <laughs> second off. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, interesting. All right, I, I just wanted to, because she mentioned living with your parents, and I was wondering, I was curious about that. I Gina. think it is weird when you're of a certain age and caliber. Okay, cool. Unless they're, like, terminally ill. All right. Um, I think it's, like, I don't know. It's, like, I don't know how else to describe it, but, like, being thirsty and just, like, over complimenting and like just sweet talking and like trying to be like this playboy it's not cute mm -hmm. hey your ma like, <laughs> like i don't need you telling me i look cute or how like you that's smash though like every time doing the most what that ass yeah. do though that ass do because <laughs> press that you got no two okay. <laughs> <laughs> so for them being too nice or something like that i guess yeah. is too because i would say like a playboy isn't like gonna get too... over compliment you yeah like... so you're saying a guy nah. that's like being too nice yeah all right, fair enough. Cool. Nice guys always finish last. We tell you how we've been telling you guys. What about you? Uh, so, so respond to her before I start. Into I actually kind of like mic, when, Oh, I'm sorry. To respond to her, I actually kind of like when guys look at my boobs. Like, Not I don't me. mind it. Like, I think it's like kind of like obvious. you're attracted to me, but don't be like doing too much. Don't be like, I, mean, like, I hate a guy who like talks about sex or anything like that. I but mean, if you look, you're going to look. I, mean, I know they right. like it. But if it's too much, then it gets a point. I mean, if you're like, you know, ooh, let me touch you, like, <laughs> no. But yo, yo, you're a man, you're gonna, even girls look. So it's like, I can't blame yo, you, I'm but I'm sitting. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, you're giving me anxiety right now. Oh, okay. anxiety. Look, I never have it. Listen. <laughs> I feel like that's just gonna pop, nigga. <laughs> one, of your, Damn. one of your boob is bigger than your head. Uh, first, turn the porn music off. For one. And for two, okay, for two, I hate music with porn. Off topic, off topic but anyway. Wait, what? For, I hate when yes. they play the music. He likes the silence. The uh, yeah. The mac and cheese. I want to hear the macaroni. I want to hear the macaroni. The mac and cheese. She's like, I want to hear it. I want to hear the macaroni. But anyway, macaroni. I was going to respond to something she said. I forgot what it was. Y'all in. Whatever. Yeah. Gotcha. A anyway. you guy's doing too nice. Oh, yeah. I love that. I love when they're like complimenting romantic. I don't like when they send the mass message because I know y'all be sending that mass message. Mm -hmm. Y'all have that Horny mass message. Y'all send them. Wait, turn the Horny eight. Turn. Uh, 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 <laughs> whatever. But anyway, what, what did I say? No, don't send the mass message. Like when they, because I know y'all be having the mass messages. Good morning. You're beautiful. Da -da. Speaking of That's mass. That's a mass message y'all sent to all the girls on the apps and shit. But Man. I like my red flag is. Um, well, what environment are we talking about? Are we talking about like online data? Are we talking let's about say, say, Are we talking about in person? Are we talking say, about in person or even FaceTime? Like, oh, hell no, nigga. You're cut like, off. Like, so just any environment? <laughs> like, you see them, you're looking at them. Not even see what she's saying. Like, okay, what let's, environment? Say, let's, say on a, let's say on a first date and then we can say on a first date already? Yeah, you met, you met up with him. Let's say on so a first I date. met up with him because yep. I feel like to me, just to get the first date is kind of hard. But let's say we met up with each other. Let's say, um, well, 
Your dinner. I, I'm assuming we're already at a nice restaurant. Yeah. Let's so say. we're already at a nice restaurant. <laughs> let's, let's, hope, let's say that you're there. So we're already there. Let's say he orders, oh, first flag, he orders the cup of, he orders the cup of wine. What are you doing with that? Let's get the bottle. But that's red flag. I kind of, I don't like that. Yeah, but like what? Wait, wait, wait. Get but, the bottle see, of wait, wine, Wait, wait, pause, pause. All right, so. It's cheaper on, to get the bottle anyway. No, but look, on his behalf, he's testing to see how you are. Mm. So the first one is like, you know what? Let me see how she is. And then she's lit. Then I order the bottle. But don't order the bottle if you're whack and all of a sudden you're, he's wasting wine. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, was that even a good red flag? Whatever, but I, I think that's a red flag. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you guys. Because I All thought right. it was going to be online dating. Okay, fine. Okay, okay, no, online, 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 online dating. Online. First date, then online dating. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. First date. Okay. And then we'll it back to ladies here. I have a here. lot of them. Okay, fuck it. First is online dating. What turns you off? Um, Just one thing. <sighs> Bruh. Let's say, uh, uh, girl, I don't know. When they be having the girl or, oh, girl? Like they have a girl in their picture. For some reason, they always have a woman in their dating pictures. Mm. Or when they have like, um, like animals or babies, because it's like giving me. You're trying. You're trying to show Sorry, that Mark. you're like. What? You're trying to sh- listen to me. Listen to this. I'm listening. I'm covering a woman's point of view. You're trying to show like you're this innocent man when it's like you're the one who probably wanted the pussy the most. You're a predator. Yeah, you're probably the, you're, you probably the one who wanted the pussy the most. They're like, oh, be my dog, mom. You know we all like dogs. You know what I'm saying? You know what you're doing. But that's that's kind of a red flag. Like just. I'd rather you be straight up. Oh, I want that pussy. Like, I'd rather you be straight up than be like, oh, yeah, I'm this nice guy. Let's be honest. When's the last time a dude said, I want that pussy and smashed him? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But it's, Bad it's advice. Giving, but it's giving Jeffrey Dahmer, because that's what he did. I think he, he, he was oh like, oh, my God. No, the, there was a one guy, so Ariel Castro. He was a serial killer. And he, he what he, how he got the girl was he said, I got dogs. I got puppies. Want to come see? She walked in the house, oh, slammed the door, and kidnapped her. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've been watching else. my serial oh, killer stuff. Oh, wonder Chris is traumatized. She's right. As long as it's possible to not get a girl with a cute dog, she's gonna go. That's what oh, I'm God, saying. So cute. That's possible. Like she's gonna oh, go yeah, for it. Like Jeff, uh, MC, and Candy. That's why Chris is traumatized. They know we like candy. I don't like candy. I like candy. Gina, you're all right. You fall in love with a dog and then you have to leave the girl. Oh, the cute dog. Okay, that's not even your puppy, bridge. Like, come on. Whatever. Anyway, I'm done with my statement. What about you? One thing that just turns you off? Having too much time. If you have so much time that you're like blowing me up. And, you, and especially during the day. Like, I understand there's these nightlife stuff. Like, yeah, we all do that. But if you can blow me up all day, every day, and not, and like be so concerned, like, with what I'm doing and why I can't respond, like, why can't like, you don't have any time where you can't respond? What do you do with yourself? And whether it's trading, whether it's real jobs, whatever, I just feel like when people have too much time, they have like so much more of like that jealousy, that anger, that possessiveness. So I don't do any of that. Oh, yeah, you got no job. Okay. Well, that's that's the main thing. Like, oh yeah, I, I was gonna have too much time. If you have too much time, like you can't be sitting here communicating with me all day, wondering what no, I'm I doing. No, I want a guy like, who got time. time out. Mm-hmm. But what, what, hold on, what did you? What you get mad if your dude would, didn't respond to you? Honestly, people get mad because I don't respond. So the thing is, like, when you're communicating, obviously there needs to be that natural, like, "Hey, how are you? Okay, good. That's what I'm doing today." Blah blah blah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm busy in this meeting for like two hours. I'll hit you up later. So it has to do with like a balance between knowing that you have responsibilities and yeah, you're trying to court me, quote unquote. So but if you have too much time, then what are you really doing with your, your day? Like you have no job. So you like a guy who has no ambition. Late? What? You like a guy who texts back late? I mean, I don't really text. <laughs> wait, wait. So, so how is he uh, going to gonna court you if you don't respond or have to one time on his hand? He's courting you. Well, I mean, you can call, you can plan a, a um, time oh, gotcha. to meet. Okay, so that's you, what I'm saying. Like, you can text, but with purpose. So I'm not gonna you see do like phone calls rather than like right. FaceTime rather than text. Yeah. Okay, that's gotcha. true. Okay, gotcha. yeah, that makes sense. That makes right. sense. Yeah. All right. Or like, I'll sit on my laptop while you're sitting on your laptop. We could chit chat. All right. That's out. that's talking. What about on a date? Yeah, on a date. Like on a date, a red flag. Yeah, yeah. Like in person. Oh. Um. Hmm. And for the other ladies that we went over, we'll say on a I'm, date and then online dating. I'm tired of picking people up. Mm-mm. You can okay. order a fucking Uber, and I maybe might take you home if I dig you at the end of the day. What? I meant like take you to your house. What? I mean, wait. Overall, there's what different. Are you talking to? What is that? What? Because she people dates city boys. Man. Man. It's annoying she people dates city boys. Well, I'm a nice person, so no, I'm not no. idiots. Like, oh, like you got you can 
meet me there or negative she's saying you gotta have a car <laughs> yeah no not even i'm from i'm from the city i'm from a city so i understand not having a car Miami is if you can't Ooh. uber looks yeah chicago's from a city chicago city too so i'm used to like yeah. city shit my main thing is that it's not like you have, need to have a car but if you're gonna rely on me picking you up that's annoying like, like you, have you know, your I own. Think, I think what she meant to say, like uh, the public transportation in Chicago is a lot. It, it's common to not have a car in Chicago because the public transportation is really oh. good. Versus here in Miami, the public car? transportation is not nearly as good. So, like, if you say you don't got, got a car here, unless like you're in Brickell, people are gonna laugh at you. But in Chicago, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. In Chicago, though, you know, oh. if you don't have a, a car, it's not a big deal. New York City, the same thing. I know people from New York City. Even that our don't Ubers have are cheap. License. Yeah, oh, even our Ubers are cheap. So that's that's even my thing, though. Have you ever left Florida? You can't for vacation. Oh, I lived Stupid. in four right. different states. Uh, first of all, <laughs> chill Dubai? out. I'm not even Dubai, <laughs> Paris. <laughs> um, <laughs> shut up. Africa. This isn't about me. She's doing her shit. Okay. Doing her. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, so, uh, okay, so not having a car, cool. And then, uh, yeah. for, for texting or whatever or online dating, too much time, cool. What, um, about, you? what about you? Uh, wait, are we doing online or are we doing both? Like, both, both. Yeah, one on both. Um, okay, so for online, if I find out that the guy has like no job, no ambition, he just like wants to stay home, has like no goals in life, I think that's like a huge red flag. Okay, I would say in person, like <laughs> it could be that as well. And like if he stank, I hate stinky guys. Oh my, oh my <laughs> no, like okay, that's can, fair. That's, that's fair. Like yeah, she said, stank. That's fair. <laughs> she didn't even say stink. That's a that's a really stank. good one. No, yeah, like, that's a really good one. At the very least, you could have just freshened up just a little bit. It, it it's too difficult. To that's well. a really good one because you can only determine that in person. That was really yeah. good. Hygiene. Thank yeah. you. Hygiene. Sweet. Okay, then we're gonna spin it back uh, real quick to the. Oh, okay. Oh, shout out to our man Chubbs Wilson in the chat right Chubbs, there. Chubbs, man. Down the first therapist don't know your oh. name. You're not winning. <laughs> facts, bro. Oh, no. Facts, my Not guy. Uh, oh. So we'll go back to the ladies real quick. Okay, so you gave when you said uh, before in person, in person, uh, which you don't like. What about online dating? Online dating, I have to go with her. Um, I don't like like laziness, like just no ambition, but like just sitting there and being like, yeah, I don't care. I'm just not gonna do anything for a while. And just meh. I I don't know. I hate that. Okay, it's, so no ambition. It's, it's a turnoff. You don't have anything going on. What about you? Online? When they have too much time on their hands. Okay. So when they're texting me too much, <laughs> always asking me what I'm doing. I love that. You don't like that? <laughs> no. Blow up my phone, babe. Business yes. hours. You okay. can hit hey, me up after business real. hours. After we work. D&D. Okay. Gina? I don't know what I said if it was regarding online. I feel like it was. Like, they're being people, too nice. Yeah. Like, so what about in person? You meet up with them now. What was what, it about me? In person, it just has to be like if you have nothing interesting to talk about. Like if you're just talking about mm -hmm. the weather and like how was your day. Like, small talk. That yeah, shit really does happen. Shit. Yeah, a lot of guys have to make the small talk. Okay, fair enough. Okay. And, uh, then, and, then, and then you gave, you gave both. Wait, actually. I had one more. <laughs> I had <laughs> one more. I know I forgot. There's one more. You forgot already? Man, you are oh. really fried, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not fried. Y'all went to like five people before me. Okay, so I forgot it. Bro. No, the oh, the first red flag, home date. I'm not doing a home date with you. Yeah, baby. that's the first red flag. No. Yeah, 100%. Why not? Because I don't want to be at your house. You know what happened at houses? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Only one thing to do in the house. So what you're, that? That's you you're trying to pull up and yeah, smoke. I know what you're trying to do. Watch a show or some shit. <laughs> and yeah. watch something. Yeah, I just saw. Uh, you know. I'll cook for you. Comes out with DiGiorno. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. They love to cook for you. They love to cook. Yo, hey, yo. But you said you like mac and cheese, right? What if you want? He said, I want to hear the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. She's not talking about Stouffer's. Yeah, the Stouffer's. Yeah. You put cheese on top. Then you find out homie lives on the beach. the mac and cheese. Then you find out homie lives on the beach. We're not that comfortable yet. We can get learn each other. I live on a beach with cockroaches. The cockroaches climbed up 20 flights, girl. No, it's just all funny, bro. Netflix is chill, you know? Just chill now on Netflix. Yo, we got a video to react to, actually. I can Netflix and chill at home by myself. After these, real quick. <laughs> All right, uh, Demon got me. Ask the big boob chick that she keeps snacks under them Cheetos, under them like Cheetos and stuff. <laughs> I'm on a diet. Oh, she said before though. <laughs> she said not this. I know. I'm, I'm on a diet for real. A diet of marshmallows. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm on a diet of what? Javi, uh, five bucks. Dragon Ball series greater than Naruto. Also, a Krillin fire. solos the whole Naruto verse. <laughs> Yo, that is what so that much mean? trolling, bro. Fires. Get out of here without trolling, man. Shout out to you, Job. Now to all the way. They be paying the MK47. Oh. And then uh, MK47, red flag. She has popcorn glued to her no, fingernails. No, I don't. And That's she not claps popcorn. in the middle of a conversation. That's not popcorn. What is that? That's is that? a pearl. I'm a Gemini. And our first race game. Oh, 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 oh
That explains uh, it. Get that eyebrow down. What is he doing? <laughs> da, 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 da. I go around the table. Uh, the uh, do you believe in signs? Yeah. Sure. Would it disqualify a man from you if his his sign didn't match with yours? No, not necessarily, but I'll keep it in mind maybe a little bit, but it wouldn't disqualify him. Okay, what about you, Chicago? Eh, halfway. And not really a disqualified guy. Wait. For me? Wait, is she done? Yeah. You yeah. Done? Wait, what? what? Did you have something else to say to <laughs> No, I just... Okay. What, a disqualifier? Like, like, because some no, girls no, will, I... like, they'll have a sign, and then another guy will be a sign that doesn't match with theirs, allegedly, and they'll be like, oh, why can't they do it because you're such and such? Uh, as much as I try to deny it, if, like, one of my exes is something, it's still a little weird. But, like, I also won't date someone that has my dad's name. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. All right. What's his name? <laughs> What's your dad's name? Just so the guys out there can... If your name is Paul, please do not hit me up. Oh, damn. Sorry to Paul. <laughs> and if your name if your name is Rosa, please don't hit me up either. Oh, Rosa. <laughs> That's mom's, mom's name. name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You swing both ways? I enjoy my life. Okay. <laughs> so, in other words, guys, she belongs to the street. All right. Go ahead. What about you? Oh, because my match is a Libra because it's like the scale. So, the Gemini has two personalities. Mm-mm. Okay, my bad. But my thing about Libra is that y'all, I don't, I don't believe in it because God Libras damn. are very much stank. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing about Libras is that they are very too chill. Fresh so it's like, scent. I don't know. Do you like me or are you annoyed? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, like, yo, I don't like yeah, it. I need to be up you on that. When you're so chill, they don't know where to come at. What's the I angle? want my dude to be like, because I'm then, very loving. And I'm like, yeah. gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> gotcha, no. gotcha, bitch. Chill. I don't want to be like, gotcha, no. Like, like, yeah. 100%. Libras are so indecisive. It's why she loves Libras. It's funny but, we bring so, up Libras. Well, yeah. so since you believe in signs and you make your nails based on signs, would you disqualify a guy that does not match your sign? I I don't want a guy. I don't believe in it because I Libras don't you match. Said you with believe me. in it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I said Pearl is my birthstone. That has nothing to do with Pearl is my birthstone. That has nothing to do with. I don't think that's anything the to horse, do with uh, horse. <laughs> I think that's, that's like another no, all right. culture. Oh, okay, so so that's another layer. I think that's like... another culture. Birthstones is another culture. Right? Okay, so it's not related to like horoscope. horoscope. I don't I don't think so. I'm not an expert on it. But know. you brought up Gemini. I... Yeah, I did. But, but, but not so, your. That's your. But month. you believe in science? I believe in it, but I don't believe in the dating. I don't I don't okay. think it's relevant in okay. dating and relationships. Okay. Yo, what about so, you? Wait, wait, sorry. There's yeah. a this is a two chat killing Phil me. Phil right Cosby, now. twenty bucks. To fucking uh, avatar. <laughs> Phil Cosby, twenty dollars. Uh, AKA Bill Cosby. One of my red flags. Uh, <laughs> what? One of my red flags is a girl that are hyper aware of their surroundings. I have to carry you at the bar already. Make it easier on my old self. Oh my <laughs> god! <Bro. laughs> Look at that avatar, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> bro we, got, we got Bill Cosby in the house, bro. Yo, bro. We got Bill Cosby. We got Jeffrey Epstein, bro. We got what y'all NSA commented earlier. Hey, yo, June could be a Gemini chat. too. Yo, yo, we'll talk to chat. You guys are fucking we got our hilarious. Funny chat on president. YouTube. <laughs> we got Han uh, Han Han in here, AK69. Uh, <laughs> Chris gotta get that sound effect back. Yeah, facts. Uh, uh so yeah. Okay. Anyway. All right, cool. All right, anyway. uh Gina, Gina, do you believe in signs? I would not disqualify someone based on their sign, but I love reading like the matchups. Like it's really interesting because they're pretty on Oh, point. when you start talking to somebody, like okay. but right. I wouldn't disqualify someone for that. All right, Miss uh, Casamigos. <laughs> what about you? I wouldn't completely disqualify them, but I would use it as kind of like a leverage so if the shoe fits then i'll make it fit okay mm. okay <laughs> so i'm squeezing it i don't dwell mm-hmm. off of it but it, it is interesting because now that i think back i'm like that's why i didn't work out with that person <laughs> so you would you would it disqualify um a candidate from dating you nah okay nah. So she's ready to get hurt again guys city boy is still sliding them dms to both of you up. uh and what is the sign that that fucks you up the one that you're technically Libra. money sign, oh, sorry. Libras, AK Fresh. Uh, okay. Sorry, for, damn, I didn't fresh. even know. I didn't Not even know what the hell. I love your energy, but romantically speaking, why? What is the back and forth all about? Just make a decision. <laughs> Libra. Uh, fresh. Can you explain uh, this for the Libra yeah, Nation just, out there? So, I don't even know what's going so, on here, but okay. Make your fun. If I it. believed in signs, which I don't, uh, I would just say, "We some real niggas." That's all <laughs> hey. I'm gonna say. So we, we play the field, you feel me? Okay, yeah. fantastic. I left my ex in Chicago too. and he was a Libra. Any man who knows about this, I'm like, mm, I'm a Virgo. Like, oh, no. We're very like, OCD. I cannot deal with that. Oh, I'm an Aquarius. Aries I like Aquarius. All right, moving on. So we got, <laughs> oh my God, who the hell cares? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what really really we do. Shut up, Gunley God, by the way. I'm going to use that one. <laughs> oh man all right we got burning wolf uh, uh, Weaves mcgee in the stripes loves the attention but they bring but is she stingy with the milk 
Boobs, boobs, McGee. You spelled boobs wrong. Yeah. You spelled boobs wrong, Burn. What's uh, the name? <laughs> you spelled what? it wrong. Hey. Yeah, because, Jay Martin's uh, like me. YouTube. Yeah, he probably, oh, yeah, oh yeah, YouTube right. price. So uh, what, okay. he's asking, what, what, what's your response to that? I didn't even see it. I, can I just, he's. He right, goes, Booze McGee in the stripes, theory. loves the attention they bring, but, but is, is she stingy, stingy with the milk? The, is that a metaphor? You <laughs> let people suck your titties. Who wants to, yeah, um, who wants to suck them? Yeah, I love that. It's I mean, true. through the plastic? I mean, I don't know. Uh, don't first know. of all, what plastic? Okay. <laughs> okay. This is all fat. We got Jay Martin. It's all fat. Okay. But says, I'm a vegetarian. Bro, and I'm, I'm a bagaterious to get the bag, nigga. This is, this is just funny, bro. All, All right, right, moving I'm on. I'm a dick and I. So we got a video to react to. We got, we got a video to react to here. So apparently, oh. uh, there was a uh, e date going on, and he's, he's this girl had a chance to meet her potential suitor. However, she's saying she denied 50 guys in 40 minutes. Okay. So let's go through this escapade here and see what happens. Are we playing this on Firefox, Chris? Or? Yeah. Okay. Go. So, uh, guys, we're going to play this clip. Let's do it. One second. Let me make sure that I'm muted. There we go. This is buddy. I'm uh, Dominic. I'm 25. How old are you? I'm 26. Can we do a oh. pineapple real quick? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pa pause real quick. That so what does a pineapple mean? Get him out of here? Pineapple means, like, get him out of here. Okay. So pineapple is like, okay, cut it. Why pineapple? I don't It's random, bro. It's uh, Wait, safe word. word. Safe word. Yeah. Safe word. Yeah. Like uh, pineapple. Like you know. Oh, so they know the guy doesn't know he's gonna get kicked off. Nah. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. I guess after a while they catch on, but at the beginning they don't know. All right. You uh, just real quick because I've always thought this was strange. Pizza on your pineapple? Yes or no? I'm sorry. Pineapple <laughs> on your pine pineapple. Pineapple on your pizza? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, yeah. No. All day. No. Me yeah. Too. With ham, Hawaiian. Hawaiian. You said with ham. I like that sweet element. Yes. Turkey. Yes. Fuck? And barbecue. No. Sweet element. Right. My favorite food. So Pineapple. it looks like we got two people at the table that are that are regular. All right, cool. <laughs> With ham that too. Normal. With ham too. Yeah. Okay. Pineapple. Right. Pineapple. Right. Pineapple. Right. Pineapple. Right. Pineapple. Right. Pineapple. No, I do, yeah. I do regular ham. Peppers, I don't do pepperoni. That's too spicy. You said peppers? Pepperoni and pineapple. Oh, right? Nah, we do ham. Ham? Nah, or like, chicken. Do the chicken. It's, it's a, it's over it's here, oh, that shit. It's fried, a, fried chicken. I'm on a diet. Fried oh, my, no, regular. It's a basil no, mozzarella. I'm on a diet. Low With a uh, grape drink? It's it's basil. <laughs> it's a basil it's a mozzarella and tomato. It's a watermelon? It's a watermelon. You know Black Twitter's going to come out. It's your own people, man. It's your own people who get you. All right, let's hit play. Oh, so sorry. she rejected that first guy. Where are you from? Pineapple. Oh, shit. Chris, can you enlarge your right. mind? Yep. Oh. I don't see. Well, She's like, I don't see what's going on here. What are we looking at? Killing us, Chris. She's so pretty. What's again? No, she's very pretty. Mm, one second. Large screen. There we go. And it's not playing. Well, it, yeah, just the sound. There can we do go. a oh. pineapple real quick? So she kicks him off, all right? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was clear. Where are you from? Pineapple. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Relax. We're good. Pineapple. Relax. Good. Who are you talking to? Pineapple. Hello, what's up, Bertie? Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we get some context on the show, please? Huh? Can we get some context on the show? Like, what is it? Like a dating show? It's, yeah, they Pretty go much. on there and she says yeah. pineapple. It's called oh, 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 okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Damn. Thank you. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. What's going on? <laughs> it's like a dating show. Yeah, I cannot, okay. Thank you. I can't even let them talk for sorry. a little bit. It's like, it's no point. Yes, I could see him. Pineapple girl. And I'm gonna have to say <laughs> pineapple. I'm sorry. It's just the lighting. He cute. My bad. He's cute. He got good teeth. My bad. Sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I know. You just don't like how they look, and you're like, you don't think you can get past their look. You're just like, I'm not attracted. It's like, it's like it's like it's like it's like it's like a handbag. You want to see him with the nicest handbag. Mm -hmm. And okay. if it's not pretty, it's like you're not gonna walk He's outside. You're a bag. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, next <laughs> nigga. Mm, pineapple. <laughs> what? Oh, she's like off everything. Take the bonnet off, bitch. I'm sorry. I got a pineapple. You can't go backwards. Damn. He was all right. Well, <laughs> your ski. Nah. Just like mm -hmm. black. pineapple. Can I, can I pineapple Pikachu, you? Pikachu, man. I'm heavy. Pineapple girl. Said, no, no, many thank you for having me. I'm here. Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, God. <laughs> um, okay. Damn, 50 guys. <laughs> Cheryl, did it for her. <laughs> hey, what's up, Freddie? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Oh, pineapple. Oh, Hello. Oh, Damn. 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 Oh, Damn. Oh, 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 shit. Like red corn. A dog with Asian. <laughs> oh. Shout out to all my Asians through. out there. Uh, konnichiwa. Oh, what is going on? <laughs> the universe is not aligning me right now. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> Asian uh, wasn't even in so, Maybe I shouldn't be dating. <laughs> at all. Where you from? Pineapple. Pineapple. My dog. <laughs> in the <laughs> construction <laughs> office. He got the work clothes <laughs> on here. <laughs> oh, he's at work. <laughs> Yo, she was disappointed, man. It's, so, it's surprising that what people I attract is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's blaming yeah, herself. You know, Pineapple, girl. Just clean, just <laughs> very tiny. Enjoying, so. <laughs> Yeah, if y'all care to feel me, oh, that's not great. my man looks like uh, uh, yeah, Pisces. Fiasco. <laughs> Boogers. <laughs> yeah, he said, huh? "That's nigga, man." All right, send All somebody right. right now. He gotta be dark, handsome, with a beard. Crush. I mean, he's a dark cancer with a dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my house. Pause, nigga. Damn. He's Pause, he handsome. Pause. He's so, handsome. Yeah, he did. Pause, he got some, some, some type of hand. The first thing he said. This shit was simply like, chalk 66. <laughs> <laughs> he's using like wall writing. He said, wow. Oh my god. What's up with you? Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 it's oh, it's the the knock off weekend. Pineapple. Pineapple. Think about that. Her choices too. I'm I'm pretty Look, so I'm gonna be 100 percent honest, right? I don't want to hear I really came here for Melly. Oh no, oh, 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 no, no. friend. Delete. Gotta give me something good. Hey, what's up? And it's not that. Oh, <laughs> my dog. Homegirl's getting more bold with it. Yeah. Why are we even calling so it? Mean. Like someone's mom. Someone's you said, crazy ass mom. You got four. You got, phone, <laughs> you got games. I, I, want, I don't know if you guys are you catching. Pause it real quick. Pause the show. Pause it real quick. So um, I want all the guys to like. Um, I, there's something that I've noticed about all the guys that are calling into this thing that I want you guys. We're gonna. We're gonna. I'll, I'll let you guys know at the end. But uh, just pay attention to all the guys that are calling in on the show, okay, guys? And also, there's a pattern here, guys. Yes. Mm-hmm. Most girls curve many guys a day. So this is, like, not anything new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We don't all right. curve y'all. I mean, we just don't we think don't about curve, you. We just, we just keep you in the docket. We don't curve you. We just, whatever, anyway. All right. Uh, man, <laughs> bring on. The cap is real. <laughs> no, I don't curve no nigga. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm watching you find out. Well, he might be cute. Fox. Negative. <laughs> okay, Wait, he, I right. see look good. He might be and you gotta be next, but you look cool, whatever. <laughs> That's what I said. That's <laughs> cool. I used to look ice. Hey, Damn, he pineapple her. Um, from Miami, no Florida. No negative. And uh, yeah, pineapple. That's a Stop. When do I continue on, Chris? Bigger boobs than me. What? I see all that clean. Yeah, how you doing? I'm good. It's a no for me. Pineapple. God damn. Yo, he, yo he's yeah, faded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is Jermaine Prince charming? He's cute. Older. Hopefully. How are you? Oh, you? Hello. Pineapple. Sorry. Damn, nigga. Uh, I don't do it. He said, hello, pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I'm all right. Mm. You are right. pineapple for me. This is funny, but it's not. I want to go on the start and let you know I'm a Pisces. So <laughs> I'm, I'm really for your pineapple. I can't. I can't do Pisces pineapple. Oh really? Uh, look, <laughs> you see, I'm from New Orleans, so you know. That's what I'm I do. Have you know, what I'm saying. You. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Look at the she validation, though. Oh, pineapple, me, sorry. pineapple girl. Damn, he didn't talk yet. Dude, I got a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Yo. What the fuck? Well, Melody, thank you okay, for that's having a pineapple. God damn. damn. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm just joining the process. Uh, Fresh, what? anything you want to add on Brady, to this? Or... Brady, you are. Hold on. Wait, just... Keep going? <laughs> yeah, keep going. Okay, okay. Oh, Jay Blizzard, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how Jay Blizzard can handle this. Oh, win. <laughs> Hands Yo, the pineapple show. Put a word on chat, pineapple. <laughs> Go with the win. Gorgeous. <laughs> like, look like you belong in the magazine or something. Oh, for real. Thank you. I've been in there. <laughs> I'm going to have to pineapple you. Yeah. 
Hi, buddy. How are you Ooh. doing? I'm good. How are you? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to Bye. pineapple you. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Gray. I'm going to have to pineapple you. Sorry. Oh He's not That's ugly. Oh, he cute. He can hey, keep hey, him. Hey. Keep him. Yeah, I'm like uh, five eleven. Oh, oh okay. pineapple. <laughs> what? God damn, he can't he win. Shit. He was cute. Mm-hmm. Yo, what a car is she in right now? I can't win, bro. She didn't even uh, have she didn't turn? A G-Wagon? You can't <laughs> win, bro. <laughs> you were so close. 5, 11, 6, He was same. Yo, if he would have said 6, I would have been like, That's my name is cool. Lying. Pause. He said 5. Pause. Beggars can be true. Buzz in the chat. I'll tell you this right now. If you're 5'11", just say you're six feet. They don't know the difference, nigga. Real talk. Just say six feet. Yes, we do. T- no, you don't. I don't. If your nigga is... I don't either. Hold on, hold on. How tall you? If you go on a date, right, with a nigga that's 5'11", you can't tell if he's six, six feet or not. You can't tell. Unless his cousin six feet next to him. You can't tell. How would you know? It's it's a one inch. We're not going to tell him. Yeah, you, you can't tell. So Mm-mm. just say you're six feet, bro. Just just say it right now. Mm-hmm. But we got the five six guys talking about six feet. Though. Hold on, hold on. Nah. Chris, keep it going. Yo, it's tough, this is hypergamy I, I they and it's fine. Yeah. You just can't do it. Hi, Dallas. Hello. <laughs> oh, Hello. Delete, delete. Hey, yeah, pineapple for me, bro. What up? What up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you look rusty. You look dusty. <laughs> 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 Yo. Hello. What's up? Oh, no. oh my God. Are you smoking? <laughs> I can't even hear you. Hold on, let me turn up that shit. It's too loud. How you doing? It's it's the hair. And his shit is lagging too. Pineapple. Oh, oh, he looked like a little hype piece. <laughs> What's up? No, I got I got my I got my shit on type of crazy. I don't care. I'm high as fuck right now. So <laughs> How y'all doing though? At least he's honest. You know, you damn okay. Okay. Um. So like, I was finna say. I know I don't even know why I hop on here, but like I know you're not really looking for anything. So like, why do you do this in in general? <laughs> How do you know she's here not looking for anything? Tell me. She didn't. Right. She didn't. She didn't chop off a couple of dudes. But like you are right. wrong. <laughs> but that's besides the point, though. Um. Bye. Yeah. Where you from? Yeah, she said bye. Thirty. How old are you? Thirty-six. Oh, I'm 20, 23. <laughs> what the fuck? You think about it? Pineapple. Oh, what the it. fuck, bro? <laughs> this is terrible. Smile at the end. Smile at the end. Homie 17. <laughs> Yo, man. What? And you, you, Yo, you, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. All right, all right. What's going on, ladies? Yeah. Right? pineapple. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, what's up? Pineapple. <laughs> you saw it coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I like his energy. Oh, Keep it. Oh, yeah. hey, that's the corny shit I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, my boy He's Mac cute. London. <laughs> my boy <laughs> Mac London. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, like, Damn, that's original spot. My dog Mac London, man. Hey. Down the wall. He's been on the longest. Right? Yo. <laughs> She's just trying to look at homie dance. Damn. You been having, you been having fun? Sorry. Pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having fun. Bye. It's the, uh... First, like, first mm-hmm. time meeting type shit, we just finna go somewhere and smoke. I'm not oh, gonna take you nowhere. Gosh. We're not doing nothing. I gotta feel you first before anything. Uh-uh. You know what I'm saying? So you gonna have a combo. Yeah, I might have to pineapple you then. <laughs> Whack. Bye. Yeah. Like, um, I'm not taking you nowhere. Queen, that is a. He looks like Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, yeah. The Queen, Queen, that's the way she's a little too. Can't even take the do rag on. I'm just like my man. I mean, he's uh shooting his numbers, man. He's he's spinning the truth though. He ain't lying. Ain't lying. Go smoke. Boy, I could do that myself. Why am I gonna go smoke with you on our first date? Wow. You say you're looking for love. Somebody that's committed, somebody that can keep me entertained, someone that's not boring, someone that's taller than me, someone that can tolerate me, someone that, that can, that can tolerate. Actually, you know, vibe with me. Tolerate and vibe with me. Somebody that can take me out, someone that keeps it safe. Wait, how are you gonna tolerate and vibe at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? You gotta smoke for that. Exactly. <laughs> I'm I'm spice it up a little bit. All right. So, what do you like to go out and do? Type, so, pineapple. 
Oh my All goodness. Right, that's too shit. Trying to be stanky shit. Well, I got it. Like, why is he? Why are people coming at me? Yeah. Talking about why am I on here if I'm not looking for what? Oh, hey, I was. Uh, uh, I know. I girl. come on, but I wasn't expecting it. Old country road. I thought it was Mendes, man. You see, the kind of what I said, coconut, bitch. Coconut, that ain't even a coconut, girl. Pineapple. You're not even a coconut, so you might have to pineapple. <laughs> he already said he sell pineapple, pineapple himself. himself. He's suicide. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to say, don't wait, wait, say wait, that wait, word. Wait, wait, wait. Don't want to say that word. Yeah, don't. You feel like I honestly feel like this is like a what are they? What is this like a rodeo? You know where they like uh they like like three, two, one, and then uh. Pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three, let's. Two, let's one, uh, well, uh, well, is there anything else there? Or just okay. Cut? Not this. This is good. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> Ladies, what are your thoughts on that? And, and I mean, I think there's a lot of takeaways there, uh, learning lessons for the guys that are watching. But ladies, uh, what are your thoughts on it? We'll start here. Uh, well, I guess it for me it would depend. Um, I I mean, if she's a really tall girl, then I guess the height could matter. But if not, she's not that tall, then I don't think the height should matter too much. That's just me. But yeah, she seemed pretty uh, hard pressed on that six foot. Yeah. Yeah. All right. If she's doing this type of dating app, then like beggars can't be choosers. At a certain point, like you kind of have to put aside like your standards and all that and just say, okay, I want to be in a relationship just in general. Okay. That's fair. I feel like that March. was the prime definition <laughs> of first impression is super crucial. Like you cannot go on there with a damn do rag, no shirt on, like, like just looking scruffy and smoking talking about smoking like not every girl likes to smoke so i don't know it's just like appearances no, none of them look like clean and presentable and like educated I mean, they like just they look not good <laughs> i absolutely agree I, it was a very funny um skit. <laughs> i think it was very entertaining very funny however it's like them guys i get it they were in their bed they didn't know they were gonna get picked but it's like if i'm gonna call into a show I'm going to, like, present myself well because I know I did an Instagram Live, and that's why I got my – I got, like, 200,000 followers because I look good. So it's like if you know – like, if you they knew they were going to call in, like, why do they look a mess? Like, mm. you know, and I don't know. I think it was very funny. I love that exercise. It was very cute. Okay. That shit reminded me of chat roulette. Yeah, chat roulette, yeah. yeah. That's exactly what it was. Um, Yeah, but, I mean, it's definitely a testament to first impression. If you don't, if you can't, honestly, people who say that looks don't matter are just trying to fool themselves to make it seem like, oh, I'm not superficial. But you have to be attracted to the person you're with. Whether they're cute for you or cute for everyone, that attraction just has to be there. So I would have done it all. Sorry, might I add, also, same. angle matters. Angle matters. It's like they're in their bed. They don't even have the angle right. Like, they don't even have the phone set up right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even set the phone up. Take Snatch the do-rag off for you, you know. You know, they because when you go on Instagram Live, it, it loads and it says, "Oh, this person's adding you." Snatch do rag off. I think that was like a stream or, or Zoom call though. Uh, um, awesome. But yeah, I get I get what you're saying. What about you? Um, yeah, like she was saying before. Um, like look, you know, first impressions are a big deal, and I mean, at the end of the day, she's entitled to what she's attracted to. I mean, attraction is a big thing. It's not everything, but it's a huge thing for sure. Cool. So she has a lot of requirements, and I guarantee you, she can tell in a five, five, six, but she wants to get us like six feet tall. Now, regarding her requirements as well, like, yo, she passed on so many dudes, and it happens, you know, obviously they weren't her type, they're kind of dusty for the most part, are not well kept. That's that's clear that they weren't ready for the show or whatever. However, at some point, like you said earlier, you got to say to yourself, okay, cool. If I'm on here and I'm looking for something at least, I need to give it a shot. That was, that, that was pretty tough. Or mm. she has, has very high, high standards and like, mm. like her guy isn't going to be on there. So is what it is. But, but listen, imagine if I went on a show, bonnet on, no makeup on, cameras like in my face, pineapple. They're going to, you you would reject no, no, me. No. As a girl, you would not be rejected. As no, because guy, no, bonnet on, pajamas on, bonnet on, pajamas on, no makeup. Niggas titties so ain't showing. They're going to pineapple me. They're going to be like, what is Some he doing? Some niggas will smash you. Some she dirty, dirty nigga. If, but if it's a dust, dusty nigga, she would never even even give him a shot. Some nigga would still smash you. But <clears throat> it, what if it was an attractive, fine, at, like a, a nigga on like like a very fine, attractive man? He would be like, "Girl, what you doing with a bonnet on? Like you cute, but 
you got a bond girl. I want to get the girl who got her hair down, her makeup on. They would, def- you know what I'm saying? Like, right? This, this right? Shows that Hold on, stop the show. <laughs> this, uh, right now, this exchange mm-hmm. just lets you guys know that this is why 90% of guys are invisible to women. You know what I'm saying? She's going, well, if I dress like this, I'm going to look like shit too. She's not even thinking that most guys will accept her for looking terrible. But not on that show. Yeah. If there were other girls with their hair down, no, in general, in general, in, in general, in general. Uh, okay, well, in general, yeah, yeah. yeah in, in general, most guys would accept you even though you looked poor, and, and I mean, not poor than like poverty, but as in like you look, like I you look, look like good. sleep in my bonnet. Yeah, you, would not, you my... wouldn't look. You, yeah, because this is the thing, right? And I and I, I had to stop right there real fast because y'all just you just guys just saw that like it's that apex fallacy, right? She's like, oh well, if I look like shit and I was on that show, like people are gonna disqualify me too. Not necessarily because men and women are very different and. One thing I want you guys to take away from this um, exchange here is that women are very picky in today's day and age, man. Like uh, when a girl meets you guys, I need you guys to understand that a woman is looking to disqualify you. Okay. She's not looking to qualify you. She's not looking for redeeming features in you. Nine out of 10 times, she's looking to disqualify you. If you guys look at the way she was looking at the guys, she made this face, maybe let them open their mouth a little bit. But she was looking for a reason to kick them off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why she pine- was pineappling them so quickly because they didn't even meet the the first metric of, of looks, right? <laughs> yeah. So she was kicking them. Um. Also, uh, you said you hit a good point. If you guys notice, none of the guys had good lighting, yep. a good camera, angle, angle, dressed well, groomed, wearing do rags, wearing sports gear, wear- not dressed well at all. You know what I'm saying? Like. First, you only get one chance to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. And when you go on something like that, where you know the girl is already going to be selective because there's a camera on her, she doesn't want to look like she's thirsty, and she's already put in a position of power because she's the one choosing in front of everyone, she's going to be even more uh, less tolerant. She's going to be even less tolerant of like your inadequacies or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Let me finish. Let me finish my point. I don't know your name. What's her name again? I'm sorry. Okay, fine. Sorry. Continue. Okay. So, um, anyway. My stupid. Yeah. I mean, you come on a podcast, you should know. That okay, the continue what you were saying before you forget. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna forget. I'm fine. Don't okay, worry. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you need to put yourself together a certain way because women are always looking to disqualify you. Good yeah. lighting, good pictures, etc. This is why we tell y'all we did our uh, smash or pass thing on Instagram. What happened? A lot of the guys had horrible pictures. They don't take professional photos. Bad lighting, looking up at the nostrils and shit like guys selfies. Like you gotta take good pictures. You gotta put yourself in the in the best light. You know what I'm saying? Not Women use good. angles. You need to you need to use angles. Don't use as no well. filter. So, yes. Um, <laughs> but can I add on? Because I'm a stripper. So like in the club. No, I just I want to add on like what you were saying about the angles. I told you angles. specifically. Let me finish. Okay, I'm sorry. I, didn't, I thought you were done. I'm sorry. So, I thought you were done. Um, <laughs> control your thoughts, please. Yo. I thought he was done. Okay. No, no, like no, right just, now. just. <sighs> yeah. Um. So anyway. I need you guys to understand that most women will not fuck and or date most men, but most men will definitely date or fuck most women. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the way it is. You guys just got to see it raw and the real deal there. This is how women operate. They want the best. And just keep in mind that even an average woman does not necessarily want an average man. She right there in her own discussion. I want a guy that's six foot that's going to tolerate me and all this other shit. She wants pretty much a guy that's in the top 10% of dudes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Is what she wants. So. She wants a high value man. Basically. Yeah, man. All the girls are competing for the same small percentage of men, guys. That's what it is. Sorry, guys. She's no, a uh, Gemini, so you know it. Don't, you know, you know, so. don't cover her. I was Gemini. just gonna. Add, I was actually gonna agree with him. I was gonna add on to what he said. Sure. I actually agree with that because, like, I'm a stripper. I work in a strip club, and what I notice is that you would be a dumb person to think that when you go in the strip club, everybody's a Victoria's Secret model. A lot of guys will still dance like girls who are very slim, very natural, look a hot mess. You know, got that little like. What do you call it? Three or four vibe. And they'll still dance them as long as they get in the section fast enough. So it's like, you know, they're not like some guys are picky and some guys care. But like most guys, like they really they still fuck with shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so I, I agree with what he's saying. But most um, guys will take what they can get. I think yeah. it's also like a volume mindset where it's like well, volume mindset. Have options. Men like to have options. The law of like averages. To have the one guy. I, I don't know about the law of averages. I'm not familiar with that concept. But I was saying like they like to have options. And women don't do that. We like to invest in one. That's why we be all on you. And we like to have that one guy like, you know? Yeah. I mean, men typically want quantity and women want quality. The thing is, is that with, with women, I think the the biggest thing, and we could play the calculator game here to see. We should actually. You know, we should. You know what? Let's pull, let's pull <laughs> oh. the calculator real quick, uh, oh. Chris. Let's see how apparent your dream man is. I know uh, <laughs> maybe you might have lowered your standards a little bit. But um, but yeah, because you played the calculator game with us before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
I, I just I, I because the guys that actually have options that can like pick and choose women, they're so far and few between. Man. Just, so rare. So rare. really rare. Yeah. Every man has can choose. No, you don't think no. so. What planet no. are you living on? <laughs> I'm living on Earth. Well, just ask her the the limit sets <laughs> question. What percentage of guys do you think are actually out here having sex with women consistently? Uh, consistently? Yeah, or or out here like actually fucking. How many? Out. I How feel many like in the March? age of in the age of online dating, I feel like guys March. have probably talking about they have like probably four apps they're on, and they probably have five girls they're talking to at all times. So they probably got thirty girls and their options. And so they probably can get at least one girl at least a week at no. least not. Probably. Okay, so, Which is, that's more than so, me. Well, okay. well so, what percentage of men do you think? That's also my choice. Huh? What, 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 what percentage of men do you think are having sex? Anymore. What percent out of 100? I would say, I would say like, <laughs> consistently with like a girlfriend or just like with a new girl every day. That's fine. Say just, like say, just say what you 80%. want. 80%. Okay. Yeah. Who else is, uh, yeah, what do you think? I'd say. A high sorry. percentage as well? 63. 63, girl. Okay. 70. 70? Like 30% of men are having sex on a consistent you know, basis. Do you know? I know the answer. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. It's only about 20% of guys, hey. 10 to 20% of guys are smashing like 80, 90% of the girls. But how, what's, what's your rate of consistency every week, every month, every day? Like It's just guys that are, that are actually sexually active. That's not, okay. in other words. But what's your definition of sexually active? Because a week, a month, or three days. A lot of days? guys are celibate. Thank you. Yes. And not, and not oh, by really? choice. Think? Yes. And not, and not by choice. That's it's crazy. Most of my money. You blew my mind with that. Think about it. You probably make a pretty good living from dancing, OnlyFans, etc. Do you think if guys were getting laid, they would need your services? Not, not at all. I feel like, but what about? It's, but listen. I'm listening very closely. Because men can do OnlyFans too to a male audience, <laughs> which is so true. So let's not get into that. But the we'll reason you're in that. business is because. They're not getting it because they would. But I also be think I think I'm in business you. because of the fact that there's this fantasy and there's like this, you know, um, like I don't know if there's like this fantasy. I don't know, like okay. I um, I mean, you can oh, feel how you want to feel or think what you <laughs> no. want to think, but the cold hard reality is is that a lot of men are not getting the sexual. But I had a dude think. pull up porn while we was having sex. So what the fuck? That got to do um, with shit. Can you let me finish my oh, point? I'm sorry. Yeah, continue. The reality is a majority of men are not having the abundance of sex that you may think. It's only a small percentage of men that are having said sex. The, and the, your industry in itself profits off of that heavily. Strip clubs, OnlyFans, sex hotlines, etc. All of these industries exist because men, it's difficult for men to get sex. If it was easy, men would not be paying and or being in, involved in these services. But my Ron, I want to add on to that. I do agree, but I also think that there's a, bio, a biological difference. I think okay. that men just have a different sex drive because I, I really mm. don't even understand OnlyFans. I don't understand why they go so crazy for it. Like, but my thing about it is, it's like I feel like it's biological difference. Like, I feel like I really think porn is for men. I don't think it's for women. Okay, I, so I'm gonna say this: no, it's not real. Oh. So the man is actually nothing. Okay, sorry, I don't know. Uh, no, like, I get that. No, that's fine. That's on fine. the scene, the girl that. is not. It's like acting. That 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 proves my point, even even more. Think about it. Men have a strong urge to have sex. Biologically. Biologically. Yes. And they still struggle to do it. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't... Listen, you know, deep down inside, if you was walking around South Beach, who wants to fuck me? Guys will fuck <laughs> you. That's why you smiling nonstop all, all night and showing your tits. Because you know I, a guy... I'm a happy girl. Listen, don't cut me off. Okay, fine. Because fine. you know guys would instantly smash Smile. your ass. All right. So don't cap. All right. My thing is, here, I don't think she's capping, guys. It's yeah. just that she no, just she's she doesn't know. unaware. It's she's really different. You open my eyes. I don't really talk to men too often. I really don't. You are a sex worker. <laughs> but I don't talk to y'all like that. <laughs> if you was a nurse <laughs> feeding milk with your breasts, I understand. Oh, my no, God. No, the point is, guys, again, she just. Y'all don't, don't open up she, like that to me. Y'all well, don't open well, up like that. Well, here's the thing. Well, you open up Let, right let's now. be honest. Let's be 1,000% honest. The men that you do speak to, they probably are your customers or whatever, and you're not really too involved with, you're not too interested in getting it, you know, involved in their personal life or whatever. They might complain and cry to you, but you know, you're doing your job. And eh, well, that's okay, baby. Send me $2. All right, sorry. $200. <laughs> Send me $200 for this picture and I'll get, I'll make you feel better. Whatever it is, you know, you got a business to run, which is fine. But what I'm saying is that the, the whole reason why your business is so profitable in the first place is because it is extremely difficult for men to get sex. Now, I know what you're saying. I don't think that's true because, you know, a guy that I had sex with maybe wa watched porn or maybe I've, you know, I've seen guys have options. You got to remember the men that you're dealing with are probably higher earning, 
higher status men that aren't necessarily average guys. Volume dating men. Because I don't, because a lot of guys don't even want to put up with me. Because it's like, they, see why. It's, <laughs> first of all, Libra. But, no, no, it doesn't, that doesn't change the fact, <laughs> but that doesn't change the fact, that does not change the fact that the men that you're dealing with are probably more than likely, I'm willing to bet, a small percentage of men. All I'm saying is that I just feel like honestly, That's there's really, I think people, there's a, comp- a component of socialization and a component of bio- biology that you're missing out on. Which is like men me. are more socialized to have sex more often, so it's like you know I think I don't can. know what your metric is of regular sex. I'm like a week, a day, because to me, shit, they three, may have the urge, having sex the twice a week is a lot day. to me. Yeah, okay, okay. I like to book myself. This. You do realize all you're doing is proving my point even further, right? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I actually agree think, with you. Think about it. In a no, way, no, 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 you know what? No, do I? I don't know. No. Listen for two seconds. You literally said men are socialized to have sex more. In other words, there's no like social stigma for them having sex a lot of women. Yes, definitely. That's one thing. Definitely. That's one thing. And the second thing is they're biologically inclined to have more sex because we have a stronger sex drive yes, than you guys I because agree. of testosterone. Yet they still can't get that sexual abundance. So what do they do? They go to porn. They go to strip clubs. They go and, uh, re- you know, resort to paying hookers, whatever it may be. The sex industry exists and is extremely profitable. The top websites in the world, the top two or three are all porn sites. Yeah. Why? But a lot because... of those girls got stop, girlfriends. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, I'm sorry. Just stop, man. Because it's profitable because men don't get sex as much as women think they do you guys look at the world through your lens it's easy for me to get sex guys come up to me whenever it's easy just talk to them and say what's up and as a matter of fact we could play a game at the end just so we can show you how hard it really is but the main point is ladies whether you want to accept it or not sex is not as easy to come by for men as it is for you guys so i know you've been holding it for a while go ahead so, sure uh, and then you can finish and then I, you get really it. Really huh. so i um you want to cut me up all the time yeah, okay I, 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 okay i'm coming back what she done i got what, 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 what. One what? question for you. How many guys do you curve in a month? I, what do you mean by curve? I don't curve guys. I just maybe not Today. respond, so, but so, I don't curve. Okay. So most guys that talk to you, right? They want to smash, right? I, yeah, probably. But I feel like so, all men so, want to smash every so, girl. Like, so it's not, no, how many guys thing. you curve are don't smash that, that talk to you? A hundred percent. Yeah, no, but I, it's, it's open. I'm open, so, but I just have a, so think about that, right? I'm open right now. A lot of guys want you, but you say no. It, and it's your choice. So all those guys are they getting sex from you? Oh, exactly. That's the point he's trying to prove here. Most guys that would that you would want to be with you, they can't because your standards are pretty high. Are they? I'm just saying. To a man, like, maybe. Okay, we'll we'll pull up the calculator yeah. and we'll yeah. we'll talk about it. Sorry, Chicago. Go ahead. I know you had something it to say. Go so ahead. true. Okay, so I do my life, but like a lot of my friends are hoes, and they're paid turn hoes. The mic, and, turn the oh, mic so they sorry. can hear you. Wait, Wait, you try. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of my friends are hoes, and they're paid hoes respectfully. And even seeing the amount of money <laughs> that has <laughs> gone up. Flesh. What? Right, no, right. continue, Res- continue. They're, they're, pro- they're legit prostitutes. Okay. All right, cool. I thought you were just calling them hoes to like. To no, 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 no. They're like okay. paid hoes. Okay. They do what they do. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the way that they like have seen their income being risen by this whole fucking pandemic thing just also proves that like if you are literally a man in this world, even right now, you're not able to go out and solicit yourself as much as you could before. So you're sitting, no. So you're sitting here and you're buying online. The porn sites, all of these like numbers have gone up so much and people are making so much money off these sites because people are not a lot like being able to go out and get buy girls drinks more or sit here and meet people on the streets some more. People are sitting here on this online stuff because they cannot have access to these females that they wish they did. And people are paying $5 a month. You think I'm not about to pay $5 a month to jack off to some hot ass pictures rather than going out and spending hundreds of dollars getting turned down back like time after time. Like I've seen guys buy me drinks or sit here and call me Ubers home to my crib by myself just because they're so thirsty. Like, oh my God, maybe one day. So it is that like it, it's it's a common knowledge over the whole fucking world that women have the power and control and that men are sitting here like wondering how they can be in this like like player seat not like the not the ball that's at the court but how to be the real like person that controls the court and it's never going to happen because women have this like fantasy if you want to bring that up did you have something go ahead i did but i, I kind of want to let other people talk went away 
What? So okay, you fine. Had no <laughs> My boy says, if, if you, if you talk, no, it's fine. You can talk. Just don't cut people off. That's when <laughs> that's when it's like you start to hurt the quality of the show because when someone's speaking and someone else tries to over talk, it's ridiculous. So that's why everyone makes their point one mic at a time. Nobody's just in, uh, interrupting you. Go ahead. But I feel like, you March. know, how does that apply to men who make content for men? But that's not what we brought up. We well, brought I'm up the ability. No, we brought up the fact that you think that eighty percent of men are having sex. Whether we even drop it down to half of the men are having sex, people are not fucking other people as much as you think. That is why your industry and why a lot of my friends are making so much money because people are stuck at home. People are working harder. People are sitting here having not that enough time to go out and spend money on random ass females who are not going to get their dick hard. I, you I, could sit here at home for thirty minutes, pay five dollars a month. And it averages out to what? Maybe like $100? You got 10 bitches you're following? Like, I, you see how it's but different? Listen, I also want to think that, like, when I think about my my guys, like, uh, the online guys, I think it's a whole... I don't think they want a real girl. I don't think they want to have sex. I think it's like they want what? to... Some That's guys... So like, some guys focus, get... Though. But some guys get off toys? on... Huh? No, no, you're talking, I mean, I, I want okay, to... Like oh. I'm saying. saying some guys get off on the fact that it's like an online girl porn. Like, it's, it's like a whole different experience in real sex. Like, it's not real sex like even stripping is entertainment at least in, you know in the black clubs so it's more entertainment than sex you know sex stripping in all the types of clubs are still <laughs> well, more for dance yes it's more entertainment that's okay it's an entertainment club versus at least in the black club it's more of an entertainment vibe mm -hmm. than like sex now some clubs i don't know but like i feel like when it comes to like uh, i'm confused online now because work, now it, it, well i'm it's speaking not from like, like you know a person in the industry i'm so i feel like a lot of these guys don't want some of them do want to fuck me but i feel like a lot of these guys just kind of want to just have that like girlfriend in your pocket experience i've literally had people tell me like it's a waste of time going to a strip club because i can't take the bitch home yeah. i'd rather order a private party some guys come with their girlfriends some guys yeah, come exactly. with their there's just... girls that come to the strip club and tell me but we're not even trying to talk about strip club we're talking about literally on the fact of like the percentage of men having sex all right i feel like i i honestly feel like m more men i feel like men have sex a lot you're incorrect time. Merch. Okay, you can I'm, feel I'm how you all the feel, numbers are out there. Like you, you can feel how you want to feel, but you know, men between eighteen and twenty nine are reporting the highest levels of you know uh, cel celibacy. You know, there are more male virgins than ever before. Like as the internet has gotten bec has become more and more potent, what's happened is more and more guys aren't able to get girls because if a girl that lived in Idaho, right, and there was her next door neighbor was an attractive guy and she might have dated him in some time. Well, now this girl's getting if she's attractive, she's getting messages from people in L.A in Miami, in New York City, etc. The world and the dating marketplace have both globalized simultaneously. And what's happened is women have more options than ever before. And I always say, if you leave a woman to her own devices, what's she going to do? She's going to pick the best of the best that she can get. As she should. Quality, and which is fine. But what does that do? Disqualifies everybody else. But Thank those guys you. need to get girls in their range. That's what I'm confused about. There are girls no, who just No, because even range. average mm. women, even average women think that they're entitled to the top percentage of men. That's what I'm trying but to say. But what is your definition of average woman? A girl that is not necessarily the best looking can still pull a man two to three points above herself easily. But a man who's fucking ugly, if he's wealthy, he can get a woman. What 10 percentage points? of men are wealthy though? I don't know. You pull up the number. A small percentage. Google it? A small percentage. <laughs> so, it, it, like the 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 exception doesn't make the rule. The point is this: simply put, women are chasing a small percentage of men that have a bunch of characteristics that are hard to come by: month, uh, money, confidence, height looks, shape, etc. There's not enough of these men to go around to all the women, which is why women always complain about men. They ain't agree. shit, blah, 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 because there's not enough of these guys to go around. And then the guys that you do meet that meet these prerequisites, what happens? All men cheat. Yeah, you're damn right. Because why the hell would I be monogamous with one girl when I have 20 girls that want me and I fought tooth and nail to become attractive to be able to fuck as many bitches as I want? That's tooth why. And nail, and then it becomes desperation. Tooth and nail compared to what girls yes. got to go through. What? What do we have to go through? To, to, to be <laughs> <a> many <laughs> men. Many men. It's you go funny. through many men. It's, <laughs> no. No. Things we have to go through. Our it's, beauty standard is shit that we got to go through to be attracted think, to men. Okay. And I'm All we got to do is go to the gym and eat. I think I'm going to be honest. Pump, what's it called? Bulk? I think that's on us. We're the ones who sit here and think we need to put makeup on. We need to do all these like extra shit with the nails. Yeah, like I'd is. rather put some press on nails for $5 rather than sitting in a salon for like $200 every fucking two weeks just to be like, oh my God, they're beautiful. But then they hurt. They fall off. They get stuck. You can't, you know what I mean? So it has to do with, I've gotten hit on more when I'm without makeup and just walking down. No, rather than sometimes when I'm makeup. cake the fuck up. I thought you makeup. just said that though. I mean, it's not about your makeup. 
It's just like at the end of the day, it's like things that we have to do to go through the beauty standards. Oh, okay. The pressure can... that we have as women to be slim, to be fit. That's something we thick, put that like, on ourselves. We do no, that. That's we put that on ourselves. Here's, here's the thing. We'll call understand. you average if you don't, if you know what I'm but saying? Here, here's the thing I've you got to understand. That, that's the point I'm trying to make. I think a woman can be average and still have more options than a man that's way above average, is what I'm trying to tell you. That proves my point. But I agree with you. That I proves do. my point that women have women so, don't have to put in work to get what's the point attention then? from what's, the opposite wait. gender, but men have to put in work to get attention. As they should. Even, so, you know what? You know what this reminds me of? Okay, well you can Oh no, you're fine. I'm listening. Okay, so I was watching a video. I know they're gonna the comments are gonna be oh she's crazy. But I was watching a video of Too like late. a um whatever. Fuck that. I was watching a video of like um it was like a nature documentary and it was like a puffer fish mm -hmm. that had to like pr like do this weird pattern in the sand to attract mates. To attract like female uh, pufferfish, and it's like, why does that not apply to humans? Like, you're gonna have to work. Because we're having fish. pussy is okay. not a human right. It's you have to earn it. Because we lose resources by dealing with men. Like, okay, real quick. So then, if you think about, quick. we get pregnant, on, on, we, you know. You do realize that everything you just said proves my point even further, right? <laughs> so can you repeat your point again, so I can just make sure I'm agreeing with it before I say I'm agreeing with it? Women don't have to work hard I to agree. get attention and or sexual access to men but men have to work extremely hard to get attention and sexual access to women i agree it's in humans <laughs> it's in the puffer fish that you just described just now <laughs> etc so you can say we have beauty standards and all this other stuff a lot of the beauty standards that are put on women women adhere to because other women put pressure on them mm. to do so but if a woman is real talk when's the last time a guy ever told you to your face bitch you're fat Never. <laughs> no one tells women. No one tells women, "Hey, you're fat. You're annoying. You're obnoxious." It's actually considered hate speech to tell women anything that criticizes them. A lot of the time, you can't do it as a guy. Yeah. So women put pressure on, on each other to look good and everything. Y'all compete with each other, but if you could be average, plain Jane, no makeup, whatever, I promise you, you're still going to be able to get the attention and/or sexual access to a guy that's two to three notches above you. Make sense? Even if I you think agree, about the I think, animals, I think that's absolutely fair. I think that's how that's how it's supposed to be. A man should earn it because biologically speaking, we lose resources by having sex and reproducing with men. Like we that's can what get I pregnant. Said. We could. That's what I, I think they should have to work. Should have that's, to work. That's what we said. We shouldn't be giving what's, our pussy to everybody. What's the argument? I agree with him. There is no argument. I All right, well, let's move on because I, I was confused. Yeah, I agree. So well, with that, it's because you said earlier, like, oh well, no, women have to work. I thought too. men had sex more than often. I, I guess I thought men had sex more than I perceived. And you, whatever, correct me, I guess. Shit. Oh, that is so lovely. Funny. I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, do we got the calculator, Chris? Yeah, we do. All right, I'll uh, I'll I'll read this thing. All right, Pill Cosby, twenty dollars. Guys like me are getting all the girls. Yes, you are. Of course sir, you are, bro. With those queen loots, <laughs> burning well, fifteen dollars all the way from Great Britain. She is a, a stripper. I would draw previous inquiries for milk. We will find that elsewhere. Can't <laughs> ignore what boobs are attracted to. Fresh and fit. Have you guys met or sourced tall girls six foot? Oh, um, yeah, yeah I dated girls that are six feet. Yeah, that's fine. I have not. Uh, <laughs> Dr. B84. Uh, actually, if you're a tall guy and you meet a tall girl, she's going to be more likely to like you because her pool is definitely very slim, my friend. Women who say that over 50% of men are sexually active always say that from the caliber of men they deal with. Since they only see a smaller percentage of men, they extrapolate that to represent all men, which is incorrect. Yes, this is very true. And they say like all men cheat, etc. Typically, me. it's from... You have no, I said I disagree, but continue. Okay. I don't care. I'm not going to respond to DRB underscore 84. He's a doctor. We know him. Yeah. Uh, okay, M4 Pierre. Uh, strong, hey, strong bitch rich is be tarted. Be tarted, girl. Strong back rich. <laughs> okay, M4 Pierre. That's completely He fine. meant to say... Uh, oh, he's probably dyslexic. Like, leave him alone. I don't alone. care about him. Okay. <laughs> Switch the R and the B. M4 Pierre. No, no, ladies. YouTube doesn't allow. Yeah, YouTube. So, so please. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, she's 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 anyway. Melon's GPA had to be like a .07. She has no idea what the fuck she talking mm -hmm. actually it was a 3.8 so fuck you talking about kadeem the dean fuck. <laughs> okay so uh let's right. pull up our calculator here we use this calculator guys and we got six thousand plus y'all in here guys I like the video, man. yeah please like the video and subscribe to the channel uh for my hair follicles i've lost um, so, so many brain cells bro yeah so uh we got this uh we got this uh calculator here it's called the female delusion calculator from i got uh i got standards bro i know ladies it sounds fun it sounds fucked up but it really is it comes it extrapolates from the u.s census bureau Census so Bureau. Funny. So like, it is an that? actual. I've never seen this before. It's a, it's an actual uh real a very accurate representation of the male population in the United States. So we're gonna go first with you, your standard what? of guy. We want you to describe your perfect guy. What age? Dun, dun. Why are we starting with me? I've been talking too much. Yes, that's that's why we're with. Okay. with you right now. My <laughs> age. 
Yeah. I don't what want too range? old. I do not want a too old. What? Give us the age range. So I want like twenty seven. Okay. Twenty five. Okay. Twenty five. Two. Two thirty three. I don't want an old ass. Thirty three. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't shit. want an old. Thirty three, not eighty five. Oh, really? I mean, yeah, yeah, man, she's sir. Just messing around with you. Oh, okay. Can you be married? But thirty four. Do thirty four. Okay. Can you be really? married? Uh, no. Okay. No, I don't want a married man. What race? Any. You got to exclude married Chris. Any man. Chris, you got to exclude. Exclude okay. Mary. And then, uh, what race? Any color. Keep it a thousand. You'll date any over. color. Okay. It's, not, it's a it's a short Asian, right. but, Yeah, if you fuck with me, shit. Any man who like me. All right. Okay. <laughs> Minimum right. height. I don't even know how tall I am. The doctor said I'm five foot eight, but if I'm right. five foot eight, then he got to be like six foot two. I don't know how tall I am. I okay, really so don't know. If you right. lay six on two. your stomach, six two. <laughs> but honestly, you know what? Fuck Chris, it. Chris, fuck fuck it. No, listen. No, change it. Fuck it, because. I'll be the I'll be the big thick lady. The fuck? So Can make him fat? like okay. No, go back to the tight. Cause I, I think like, what if he he could be shorter? I think that'd be kind of cute to be like, you know, he's like smaller than me and I'm like old, like thick and stuff. All right. So, so do like height. five, like eight. <laughs> five, eight. Make him my height. That'd be kind of cute. Okay, five, eight. Sorry. Make him five, eight. <laughs> Thank you. And minimum again, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. Can we fat? Please, I don't, I don't want, I don't want any man with a food, uh, an addiction. May right. that be food addiction. Ex exclude so obese. So exclude. I'm how sorry. Much, how much per year minimum? Well, I mean, okay. So let's because it's okay. Let's what's what's the highest? This is a guy you want to date seriously. What's well, I want? I'm thinking about a husband. What's the okay. highest? Uh, it goes uh, all the way up to five hundred. I think. Is this a year or monthly? A year. Yeah. A year. <laughs> Tell us monthly, and we can just figure out the numbers. Let's do like four hundred k a year. A year? Okay. 400 k yeah, a year. Sorry. I know the broke niggas are mad. I'm no, sorry. That's fine. You're, you're, hey, no. It's, it is you, what it is. I'm, actually, you, I'm not sorry. Fuck you. You can have your standards. That's fine. Okay. Um. Next criteria. Right, that's it. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. They didn't take into account five my criteria. Big bags. Criteria. What Thank you. No, I need rabbit food. I got rabbits at home. I need rabbit food. You got rabbit? Rabbit? <laughs> rabbit food. Didn't I try to take oh the cat food last time too? I didn't care. <laughs> but they didn't take into account my criteria. Yeah, rabbit? Yeah, no. We, that is uh, your criteria yeah, your, your, no, yeah, for yeah, your yeah, man. You, you picked But they didn't this. talk about my criteria, so it's like relevant. It's, it should be relate. Uh, no, they're trying to find the population. Uh, within the population, the probability of like, you finding oh a man like God. that. Put that meow mix down. Meow. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. You scored a uh, perfect five out of five. Uh, Thank cat you. bags. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's fair to say uh, the studio smells like cat food now. Thank you it for does. that. It really does. You don't belong on this and, planet. Uh, and yeah, um, yeah. So you, you scored a really high score. All jokes aside, though. Um, yeah, that guy is rare. And um, so and, am I. Yeah. And oh my Fuck? goodness, this is, yo, we we know. That's what I'm saying. So it's you're like rare. you're special. That's why I'm single. <laughs> yeah. That's Very why special. I'm single. <laughs> you are so special that I almost want to like cannot you. I never um, turn you. That was a joke. So uh, so yeah, I mean, I I think uh, the biggest thing here to take away is that. The guy that you're that you want is is a very rare individual. And that's and, exactly why I'm single. Okay. And here's a, here's the thing though. Um every other girl is chasing that kind of guy as well. Every? So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're in Miami. So, uh, open so, your eyes so the question is why is he gonna choose you over all those other girls? That's the deep question here. Because he loves me, because he fucks with me. My energy, I'm very like different. And my thing about that, 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 that um criteria that whatever that was that diagram is that it didn't take into account my criteria my who i am and i didn't like that because i'm very rare you know at least maybe miami maybe not but even in miami i feel like i'm very different Works. okay can you tell us how you what different? are some can you tell us what would you bring to the table for a guy like this since you're what, what, what table what, what were we at ikea like what, what table are we talking about first <laughs> yeah. of all if we talk about tables oh you're talking, talking about, about tables table at home, I, might, I, I might as well just get, get the fuck out of here because if we talk about tables i got a table at home honestly i got my own money i make a lot of money Wait, she was talking about i have a degree so it's like, at the end of the day, it's like, I'm not... Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, hey, Jay Martin, thank you for joining in. No, I'm, Welcome. My, my thing is, if you're... If, if the guy you uh, described is extraordinary, right? So what would you bring to a guy like that? Me. 
Like the fuck? Like I don't have I don't I don't like that whole like you have to prove yourself. Yeah, have but, a criteria to a man. It's like is this a job interview? So like, yeah. So, if you don't want me, that's fine. I'll go home. I got money at home. Yeah, I got so, everything I need at home. But but Missy, uh listen, um as a man, we want to know, okay, you know, you want a guy who has certain traits, right? So visually like money, the the height, whatever. First so, of all, five eight is not <laughs> but anyway, continue. All right, so as a woman, what something is logical that you would bring to the table like we would want to know like okay my personality my great conversation my okay. personality my quirks my it's it's it's, it's 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 very vague yeah personality I mean, what I, I can't i can't explain me you have to experience me i can't explain experience me. Yeah, you have to experience me. You can't, so, you can't explain me. Okay. I don't. I don't like them. I don't even want a man. But like, what do you bring to the table? Like, what do you mean, money? Money? Well, I'm gonna bring some money. Like, what the fuck is money? Well, it's, it's why you're single, because you don't even know what to, what you bring to the table. What it's you why you're single. Like personality? You don't even know what is personality. You can be psycho. You can be nice. Okay, well, like, psycho, what is nice the personality? personality? I mean, I'm, I can't explain myself. I mean, me. that's what I'm okay, saying. I, people, if people you say can't I'm explain nice, yourself, this is why you don't know. People say I'm nice. People say I'm mean. People say I'm this. People say I'm real. People say I'm funny. I don't know. I you. I cannot explain. People have different perceptions of me. Okay, Gemini, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say this. You're probably not gonna like what I'm about to say right now, but I'm gonna say it anyway. That's fine. Guys that earn that kind of money, guys that have that kind of status, they're gonna demand something from you. Okay. Like what? Can you give me an example, please? I mean, I mean, you. The scary part is, is you don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are you like? That's, that, that's what I'm a, saying. But it's that's, not that's, that's the scary part. That, but that that's the, that's the problem. If you want a man of that caliber, you should know what he wants if you want to attract said man because here's the uncomfortable reality there's a lot of beautiful women in miami there's that's a lot of beautiful that's women not that's all not all i have to offer okay but that's what's going to start first yeah, yeah exactly so, that's a, that's the first thing so I agree. so beauty comes first right and then everything else so if there's plenty of beautiful women and this guy's rare and beautiful women are common who has the leverage and that's why i'm looking for no man in miami <laughs> But that's you, why I said I'm not I'm not eligible right now. You keep moving the goalposts. Yeah, you, you, you keep. You said you want in 2022. Yeah. We gave you the numbers. You're like, oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna but how many out. girls are you know big titty girls a with lot. followers who got you a know lot. who are a black? Lot. You know what I'm saying? Who like you know a went lot. to college? This is and shit lot. like that. Like hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. The show again. Stop the show. This what she just described. Big titties, a lot of followers, went to college, etc. That's common. The, no, yes. it's not it's almost everybody. That is, that's that's every man, then how many men got money in my life? You, you guys are missing the special, point. You guys are missing the point. That, that those are all fantastic traits, I guess, to have. But realistically speaking, besides the big boobs, men don't really care about your followers on Instagram. They don't really care about your education. They don't really care about how much money you make. They don't really care about these things. Men don't look for the same things in women that women look for in men. Exactly, I agree with that. I so, agree with so your that. education is irrelevant. Your earning potential I think is irrelevant. It's a little relevant. Okay. If you're on a date with a guy, right? He told you, hey, listen, I got an awesome closet. I have a bunch of Jordans, about 100 pairs. Oh, no, red flag. I got I'm a going couple. Home. I got a couple. Okay. Well, hold on. Let me finish. <laughs> I got some, uh, I got a lot of drip. I'm dressed real well. You know, my, my wardrobe is worth like, you know, 500K. I'm lit. I'm like, I got to just bought a new Dior bag. I'm actually going to go to the store right after this and go to Fendi. And get some other designer stuff. What would you say? I don't like a guy who's like materialistic and wearing more designer than me, frankly. But my thing about it is this: like, I don't. That's not. Okay. That's not masculine. Okay. To me, okay. Fuck. Perfect. To wear all that damn designer, bro. You wearing more shit than me? Can you, like what the fuck they gotta do with me? Okay. Go play in your closet. Nigga. See how you didn't. See how how you don't fuck? care about that. I mean, that's exactly how men feel when you say I make this much money and I'm this successful. But I'm just saying, I do feel like college definitely matters because it, it shows. Not. Because if, if somebody went not. to the same college, we had the same similar experience. We were around the same people. So it's like the same level which you wrote off that man that dresses well and has a lot of fashion sense, etc. That's how men feel when you talk about your education, how much money. I don't make. bring they that don't up care. on a date. I don't bring that shit you up literally on a date. Just, when you, when we but asked we're not you, on a date. No, but I just asked you, like, what do you bring to the table? Whatever you used these metrics to define your value. And I'm trying to explain. I don't believe to you. in a table. Can you? OK, I'm sorry. Continue my wrong. Sorry, my wrong. My run. My run. My run. <laughs> OK. This is a. Just like you don't care about his fashion sense and how much money he makes, uh, uh, sorry, about how much he spends on clothes and everything else like that, and him being feminine, right? Because these aren't masculine traits necessarily to be that involved in fashion, to care that much about his That's looks. That's not masculine to me. I don't, I don't want to make who hunt. Thank you. Men, it's not feminine for you to talk about your career, your followers, your education, how much money you make. And I don't do that. I don't agree with women doing that. But when actually. we asked you, what do you bring to the table to a guy like that? Like No, this, that's, not, that's not what you said. You were talking about jerk. my criteria. Was, can you let me finish? Okay, right now, you're acting masculine. 
like you have a very we're not on a date we're not on a date you're not you're not a man but we're just speaking like you're you're, not a potential suitor i will not take you on a date if you keep talking like that i don't want to go on a date with you doesn't matter no why are you single because i don't it's a choice i don't want to be i'm a stripper i don't want a man who i don't a man who is okay with me dancing on another nigga is not a man that i'm interested in you don't love me how are you okay with that okay so anyway that's beyond the point of another day bragging about your career your education etc are masculine traits and when I said, when we asked, what do you bring to the table for these guys? You immediately got defensive. My personality. And I said my personality. No, Asteroid. Stop cutting me off. Man. Asteroid. Stop cutting me off. Control your thoughts. Please let please. me finish what I'm going to say, and then you can this go podcast. ahead and say what you got to say. Okay, I'm going to listen. I have not interrupted you while you were speaking. I'll I'm going to listen finish. to you, let me Myron, finish. Myron. No, you're not. You're just, are you listening? Or are you hearing? I'm going to listen to you. I think you're just hearing me. I'm you're not listen listening. I'm going to listen to you, Myron. All right. No audio from you, please, because Trey's not here. Yeah. It's right, simple. You want a masculine man, a woman, a man wants a feminine woman. The traits that you brought up are not feminine traits. And when I asked you what it brings to the table for a man like that, you immediately resorted to, well, I have a degree. I have this. I have that. And you re- you resorted to speaking about things that make a man attractive, money, followers, status, etc. The only thing that you mentioned that was feminine was boobs. Well, guess what? There's a lot of girls that have big boobs. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So just the same level that you don't care about a guy's ability to dress well is how a man feels about your career and your income. That's all I'm saying. Men don't put a large stake in a woman's ability to earn money like women put in a man's ability to earn money. I don't. I agree with that. I don't I don't tell men if, if I'm on a date, we're not on a date. So I agree with you. When I'm on a date, I don't talk about my career. Honestly, I don't even want to talk about my Instagram, but I do because I feel like they might, you know, they Merch. might interpret that a little bit differently and like maybe Merch. make fun. Make, maybe, you know, I, I want to tell you about it because I don't. I want to start off with honesty. I want a real relationship. I want to I'm looking for a husband eventually. I want to get married one day. So um, that's not what I talk about. I don't I don't even preach for girls to talk about that kind of stuff because it is masculine, especially if you're looking for a man who's like maybe a provider who's going to be a good dad. What is the relevance of your career? You, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't agree with that. And that's how I feel. But we're not on a date. Well, when I start my criteria, I don't like how that how that, you know, things didn't talk about my criteria. I didn't talk about my bus waist, did it a height, uh, my age. I didn't talk about my career, my background. I didn't talk about my race. It didn't, it didn't talk about any of my criteria. That's why I said that. It's not about, you know, you know what I'm saying? It only talked about the man. It didn't take into account my criteria. And I'm and I don't feel like I'm an average girl. Maybe in Miami, where did everybody's a fucking hoe when it's thought? Maybe, maybe Miami, but in Wyoming, bitch, I'm 0.045%. Okay. Where are you right now? So I asked I you. I don't know. Shit. Maybe in Miami, I'm fucking 10%. I don't know. So we asked like, you. I, my, but I really do feel like my, 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 my mindset, you don't know me that well, but I really do feel like my mindset is different. Like, dead ass. Well, we can tell. Um, no. So I'm crazy. We, the fuck? No, I'm not crazy. I mean, yeah, just, I mean, just... we, we asked you, like, because you said, well, I feel like what, what um, you know, I bring this. They didn't ask me what my criteria is. What and if I, I'm making four hundred thousand a year? How is that? A, like, I could be making four hundred thousand. That's if he's looking for you. Then this is the type of man that yeah. you are looking for. But I'm saying I want a man who makes just as much as me. If not but more. It's not... I'm not broke. Yes, but the calculator was based on. It wasn't like how successful your relationship is going to be or how successful you're going to be at being with somebody. And that's why I'm single. But it's but, hard. My but man's not going to be easy. My man's not going to cal- be easy to find. I know that. But the calculator itself is specifically looking at the criteria of men that you're looking for. So in the criteria that you put on there, you decide all these traits and that out of all the men in this world, country, whatever the fuck that is, United States, something else. United States, point oh whatever, four or five percent of those men meet what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. It's agree. not the it's men not looking for you. No, but it's just, okay. It's not going to be easy for me. It's not. I so, know that. So, okay. It's not so, going to be easy for so me. So you know it's not going to be easy, right? I know that. It's not going to be easy for me. That was all, that's all we're trying to say. And all I right. agree with that. That's why I'm agreeing with Myron. No, you're not, though. Because <laughs> you, you're, you're, cause you're saying, well, what's well, what, what's not fair? What's my, my, I'm not putting in my criteria. We said, okay, well, what do you bring to the table? Why don't we do the female version of that? Let's see. Let's do that's that. That's them team. asking you, what would you bring to the table? Yeah. That's them asking. I don't believe in no table, bitch. We not at Ikea. Because. We not at Ikea. What table, bitch? We got tables at home. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When someone asks you, what do you bring to the table? I don't agree with that statement. It doesn't matter what you agree with. It's simply a way to ask someone, what criteria do you bring to a man like that? What That's is all it is. Trick? Am I a tr- is it, are you a trick? Like, well, a man who okay. asked me that is a man I don't want Question wanna... for you. If you're on a date, right? Let's say I was that guy that you wanted, right? Let's okay. Say, um, what's your name? Time to go. Grab my purse. Grab my lip gloss. All right. Sorry. Bye. You know what I'm saying? That's all it would be. I already know where you stand. No, no, no. no. I'm saying in general. Mm-hmm. Let's say I was that guy. You didn't know. I was, I was on the podcast, right? <laughs> I'm across from you from the table. We're on a date, right? I asked you, right? If you're dating seriously, what would you provide for the family? What would you say? 
Uh, good motherhood, good advice, um, good conversation, um, a lot of experiences in sex work and as a regular woman. You know what I'm saying? Me, my my energy. I don't know. I don't. I can't really describe myself, but me. I'm I'm literally bringing me to the table. I can't. It's not like I'm bringing thirty thousand dollars a year and this and that and all these numbers. Like I literally cannot describe. I'm bringing me. What do you bring to the table? Okay. Some fucking bullshit money. Bitch, we got. We all got money over here. We're grown. Everybody making money out here. The fuck? That ain't enough for me. That's all. Sometimes that's all niggas have to offer is money. And sometimes all bitches have to offer is pussy. That's their point. That went under, under real point. quick. The fuck? Okay. So I'm like, what do you bring to the table? What, what would you answer that? Uh, what, what, what's your name again? Prince? Yeah. Prince? <laughs> so one would be security. Security in what sense? Financial? Of like financial, of course. Okay, but then, I'm financial scare. Then, okay, and then protection. From what? Robbers, intruders. So you're going to... So what if I'm... Okay. Continue, continue. I'm sorry. I absolutely apologize for that. What, what else? Continue, please. Okay. Next would be lifestyle. So for example, let's say we want to go out, have a good time, travel, that's like lifestyle. And then thirdly, I would say just being able to <clears throat> have a place where um, you could, how to put this? Can we be in a safe neighborhood for one? That's what I want. Well, safe well, neighborhood, so that goes living, on, under, and good schools for under, the kids. Under security. Private school for the kids. I'm just saying like regarding bring to the table, like most men have to have that up front anyway. You on the other hand, don't know what you bring. So I mean, that, I mean, I bring the same thing for myself. I have money. I make money. I got, I live in, I live down the street from you. She, it was a five minute drive. Like, so it's like, what? I don't understand that whole table thing because I got a table at home. If we want to be metaphorical, I got a table at home. Matter of fact, I can just go eat at my own table. Like, that's my thing. So it's like, what, why is your table better than mine? Like, I got my own table at home. It's like, I'm going to have your fucking baby, nigga. You said you want a husband? I do want a husband eventually. So yes. what do you want a husband for? Because if I want to get married. I want to have a family. I want to have I want to have a family. I don't want my family to be taken care of. I want to have kids. I want to give my daughter like, you know, I want to have I want to have I want I do want a daughter. I definitely do. I even want a son. I want a dog. I want a nice house. I want to that's like what I want in my life. So wouldn't you want to know what your man wants? I I want a man who knows what he wants. That's the biggest thing I want. I want a man cuz I know what I want a man. I don't it's not no physical bullshit. Like I know what I want in a man. It's not even financial. It's like, well, I mean, I'm not. I look at money like how I look at it. like you need a dick. Like it's not. It's not something I'm looking for in a man. I'm looking for money. The fuck? Like what the hell? Okay. So it's like you know. So question: uh, Would you, you want your daughter to uh, to talk and act like you and to be in the same uh, work industry as you? Honestly, I don't want my daughter to be in the industry as me because I feel like I do feel like I'm an anomaly in this industry. I don't feel like I'm. But you know, but why would you want the daughter to to work in your industry? It's dangerous. And, and, There's a, oh, sorry. Continue. I'm sorry. Sorry. No, I'm just saying. Like, why would you want the daughter to talk like you and act like you, and well, and and work in your same industry? Well, I'm sorry about the, the talking like me. I feel like this is more of a but wait, 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 but so 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 why why are you apologizing to me right now? Because I feel like this is more of a because I'm talking over you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because first. So you know, so you know why men don't allow. It. So you know why it's we don't tolerate that kind of talking. And well, before, we're not but, on a date. We're literally yeah, not on a date. Yeah, you, so. you still know it's not tolerable. You know what I'm saying? Like you like you know deep down this inside. This is a casual environment. That's why I'm more relaxed and I'm more okay. like All right. you know because we're not dating. This is like you know it's I, I'm looking at this like talking with friends okay. like. That's what All I'm looking right. at. We As a you. man, I would never be with my, I mean, maybe if I'm comfortable, but like, this All is right. also a touchy conversation, but honestly, back to the conversation about what I want my daughter to be in the industry as me, I wouldn't because it's like, I know, and it's a lot of, because I keep to myself a lot in this industry. I really don't have a lot of friends. I, it, you know how long it took me to just get on the show? Like, so it's like, I wouldn't want my daughter to be here because there's a lot of demonic things going on. So, All right. Okay. All right. So, I mean, I'm just going to say it. I don't, I don't care. I'm just going to say it. You, the guy that you're looking at right here, this man, he has options. What man? The, the dude you just described here okay. is, is extremely rare. Okay. There's plenty of hot girls out there. If he has options, he's going to demand a certain type of woman. He's going to demand a certain type of excellence, a certain type of presence, a certain type of behavior from his woman. I'm going to be a thousand with you. A lot of your traits are extremely masculine, you know, and you can say, well, I wouldn't act like this on a date, whatever. Here, here's the thing. A woman is either naturally feminine or she's not. Okay. You can put on the mask and act feminine when you hang out with them and everything else like that. But over time, 
Your true colors are going to show, and these are your true colors. This is you comfortable hanging out, talking with us, and that's fine. I'm not, like, too comfortable. I'm very, I was very nervous to get on this show. Yeah, I've never been on here But it's fine. Before. But, but it, it, regardless, you are not a feminine woman. As much as you might say, hey, I am, and everything else like that, you're not. You have a lot of, I've been watching you very closely. You have a lot of very close. masculine habits. You know, you <laughs> like to interject. You like to cut off. You like to argue to argue, even when a point was made and you're incorrect. Um, and that's fine. Not wrong with that. This, these are all actually traits of someone that's a high earner, which I'm not surprised because you probably are a high earner yourself. But the unfortunate being a high earner is, in itself is not feminine. I was I was trying to I agree with you. Yeah, it, it's not because to be a high earner, you have to be what assertive, yeah, dominant, competitive, not willing to say no. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Etc. I agree. Unfortunately, this disqualifies you from a lot of competitive. So they want broke men. girls. Yes. I understand. But, but, uh, whether women want to accept it or not, I agree with that statement. a woman that is feminine, polite, and friendly, right? That it's doesn't make that broke? much money. That Yes, yeah, she can be broke. Yep. She is going to land a better man than a woman that earns a lot of money, is masculine, assertive, and dominant like you are, which is great. Great for your career. You make a lot of money doing it. But your success ostracizes you from the very men that you want that are also I know. successful. I, I kind of agree with it in a way. You well, know actually, what I'm do I agree? Never mind. But you're gonna have to change if you want to get a, if you want to be able to lock down a guy. Because I'll tell you this right change now. Change in what way? You're well, gonna have to stop cutting people off. Stop being so assertive. Stop you're not being my so man, dominant. Myron. Doing what you're doing right now. That doesn't man. matter. Like, because I'm telling you what guys want, and you refuse to listen. But I don't want what guys want. I want what my man want. Fuck these guys. I want what my stop what saying my the fuck. Man, stop oh, saying the fuck. Stop saying shit oh, like I'm, that. Oh, you talk about. Oh, I thought the show was, was censoring Chris. it. No, no. I'm just saying the point is, is that. You oh, have a lot way. of habits that are not that don't make you attractive to this same level of guy that you're and pursuing. And that's absolutely okay. I actually agree with that. That's all I'm saying. All right. Like if I were to run around, right, and carry a Gucci bag on my shoulder, Ew. wear a dress every now and then, and talk like this, how would you feel? Hey, you actually I mean, he, said he it might just be a cool. Ago. Hey, not the not the Gucci. You ain't gonna bag. date him though. He you're not gonna date him, right? You'd be, you just actually, as a matter of fact, I, don't, I just don't like the designer. I don't. I, all the your, designer your reflex not when me. I said that was ill because it's the designer. I don't like the older designer. Oh, it doesn't. Shit, it doesn't man. matter. You would not date me. Let's keep it a thousand because I'm acting like a girl right now. But what if you were artistic? No, you would not date me. Okay, fine. You act like a guy, <laughs> and that's why guys would not take you serious. I guess that's all right. true. Bring Fuck the asteroid. I mean, I don't actually, know. No, I don't as a very <laughs> okay. All right, let yeah. the other girls I'm talk too because yeah, yeah, next. I'm a very dominant and I know that I'm very masculine. I talk way too much sometimes, but I know why I'm single and I'm perfectly okay. I love being single first off, but like when I am like trying to talk to some guy, I know I can't be like bro or dude or yo, like, you know what happened today? I have to turn on that feminine charm because it, it, it's hard to sit here as a man who may not be as dominant as you or as assertive. But like I said this last time and you guys made fun of me. I like a man who could put me in my place respectfully. Yes. So it is that point where I may be this dominant and adamant about making shit the way I want it in my life. But if you're more dominant and more powerful and assertive, that is attractive because I want to be able to be a submissive woman because it's like that whole like fairy tale concept, you know, even though I didn't grow up on it, it still was instilled at some point in my life that a man is going to be that like, oh, my God, OK, if I go out to dinner or if I want to even get like chips from the store or you know what I mean? It's those little things where if they got me these things, it'd be like, wow. But if I were to sit here and not have anything to offer, even if it is as simple as being able to fuck clean or go in and meet them somewhere or fly out easily or be accessible, that's more of a submissive trait. Does that make sense? No, it does. But uh, you said that you're basically conditionally submissive, right? So it's got to depend on the guy. He's got to be he's got to be able to put you in your place, which means he's pretty much got to be hyper masculine to overcompensate for your high masculinity. I mean, yeah, it's not like a have to, but I feel like that's what men are looking for is someone that they can be able well, to turn to into you, being submissive. Well, well, for him to put you into in your place, he's has to do that. OK, yeah, in other right, words, yeah, it's yeah. a forced response because. You do, do do or act something that disrespects him, and now he's got to assert even himself to check you, which puts you in your place. Even if it's unintentional and even if it's not disrespectful. So, like, how to explain it? I mean, if I'm quite frankly, what you described is you're conditionally feminine based on the man. You're feminine to the right guy. Yeah. Or you're feminine but if I he's hyper-masculine. But I see where, like, the way that I come off can, I don't want to say intimidate, because that's not what it is. It, it turns people off. 
So if I'm too like, okay, yeah, I know exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to do it like this. And the itinerary is going to be like this. Some people have been like, oh my God, like, that's like way Rush. too fucking much. But I don't think it's intimidating. I think it's just like overwhelming to be with someone who is more accelerated at life than you. And it's not necessarily in a higher bracket. It's just someone who does too <clears throat> much or is like too like dominating can be like overwhelming. And I feel like that's what they're saying is that when you're so overwhelming, it's like, whoa, you take a step back because those traits may make you more successful. You know, like I could talk about my success all day, but it doesn't matter. It can make you more successful, but it does make you less attractive because they're trying to compete with your career. They're trying to compete with the way that you see yourself and your standards. So okay. like, fuck that. So let's say I, I walked up to you, right? And I and you know, you found me attractive or whatever, but then you like took a, a, a better look and I come up to you and um and I actually as a matter of fact, let's say I walk up to you, right? We're at the club, I'm your type and everything. You're like, damn, this guy's attractive, you know. Shit, he's he's coming, he's coming towards me. Damn. Okay, <laughs> like I'm getting excited, right? And I walk towards you in the club, and you know, I walk up and I smile. Like, oh my god, he has nice teeth. Oh my god, he's tall. Oh, no, no, no. oh, oh god, he's wearing nice shoes. And I go, Oh my god, you look beautiful. Oh my god, you're gorgeous. What's your name? You know, it's gonna make me more comfortable. I said, yeah, well, so I'm be like, Hey, let me, let me finish. Oh, sorry. So, hey, oh my god, you're you're so hot. Oh my god. <laughs> And then we start con conversing. Oh, my God. You know, blah, 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 all this other shit, right? You got Jimmy Choo's, me too. Oh, shit, right? And I'm like, I'd love to take you on a date sometime. I find you're so hot. Oh, my God. Would you go out with me? Um, Is it a friend date? No, so no. This is a, this not is romantic. a platonic romantic. He wants to smash. So not romantic. Smash. You would say no, right? You'd tell me no. Nope. But then no. I go. But wait, hold on. I totally act masculine when I find the feminine woman. Like, come on. Like, what do you mean? Like, I act masculine when you act feminine. Like, let me see. Let's it. make this work. You know, I just need you to put me in my place. And I'll, and <laughs> no, I'll no, act like no, a no, guy. No, 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 no. Sounds stupid, doesn't it? It does. Why is it that we allow women to run around with this stupid logic of, I'm going to be conditionally mas a feminine when I meet a, condition, um, a masculine man that's going to put me in my place and all this other stupid shit? Here's the reality, ladies. Well, wait, let, me thing. Oh, let me finish okay. I'm not my gonna point. Say she. A man should not. And damn, and and he, he, a woman is not entitled to, and a man should not have to check a woman and put her in her feminine. He should just naturally be masculine. She should naturally be feminine. The problem is that women want you to damn near be slapping them and yelling at them to get them in line. And I look at I it like that. this: that's a liability. Why do men want to sit there and deal with a masculine woman, and they either have to a become even more masculine to damn near violence, or b mm -hmm. Let the woman take leadership and let her take the reins because there can only be one masculine and one feminine to some degree. Mm -hmm. And a lot of guys don't want to have to escalate their masculinity to a girl to damn near slapping her. And I'm saying this. If I run around and I act like a girl and then I say, oh, it's OK. I can be masculine. I just need you to be super feminine so that I can tone my femininity down and become masculine. You would look at me and say, uh, stupid and give me a nope. But why should men sit there and tolerate you and your masculine state? And have to sit there and be even more masculine to get you in your feminine. That's craziness. Crazy. So my thing is not necessarily like you have to get yourself into a more masculine state. I'm not saying like, okay, so I'm what not you trying don't to use understand, an example. On, but what you don't understand is that when you deal with a woman that's masculine, they you have tell. to you don't have a choice. You have to elevate your masculinity, and it's not attractive to men when women act like guys, cutting people off being assertive, being super dominant, being hyper aggressive, et cetera. These are fantastic traits to be a high earner and be successful, but they do not make you sexy as a woman. But it is cap, strong, independent. I'm a boss, babe, all this other shit. It's propaganda fed to you by the West that is not true. I'm telling you, it is not attractive. Just like if I wore a dress and a skirt and ran around and said, I can be <laughs> masculine when you, when you make me fem when you're feminine, you would look at me like I'm crazy, but we accept this rhetoric from women. Why? It's but not. because there's levels to it. There's an aggression. That's not because he, that, Chris, Chris, let her sorry, finish, man. Right. Oh. Go ahead. So there, there's there's a whole aggression that's an, an, in the background of dominant women that women are becoming more violent, more vocal on being very negative, degrading ass people. I've heard some shit come out of women's mouth. I'm like, holy fuck. Like, I've never heard some girl really say some dirty ass shit like that. Or to be so like, I don't know. The way the world is turning is women are becoming these transparently like disrespectful, aggressive, 
like very like vocalized on I'm going to tear you down until you take care of me or I'm going to treat you like sheriff. I'm going to act like I'm the shit because you need to be this macho man with me. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that like overall, I know that I'm dominant. So if I'm around people who are like, I'll be or who are like on my level, I'll be more dismissive. But if people who like are more directive and more assertive as a man, and you can understand that I'm not sitting here trying to overstep boundaries, there's different levels of women. There's women and there's boss women and then there's boss bitches. Does that make sense? No. There's Why? No such thing. Oh, sorry. Because these are all these are all stupid buzzwords modern day women use to rationalize their poor behavior and lack of femininity. That's all it is. But like it, like, why is it that we have all these social conventions to make women feel better for their inadequacies? Like, yo, if you're a masculine woman, cool. But guess what? <laughs> a masculine man ain't going to want you. Just like you're not going to want a feminine man. Masculine men want feminine women. Feminine women want masculine men. We don't want masculine women. You know what happens to girls that act like boss babes and all this other shit? They get fucked and tossed to the side of the road, as AMS would say. Hey, that's funny. You're only going to be used Facts. for sex. They're not going to wife you. And I need women to understand and get it in their fucking heads. When a man talks to you and deals with you, even if you're a masculine, annoying ass bitch, he's going to tolerate it for what? Pussy. Next. He's not going to take you serious and date you a, or more importantly, give you a ring or his last name because no man can build an empire and or a kingdom with a quarrelsome woman. You can't do it. And that's what masculine women do. They challenge your authority. They're assertive. They're dominant, hyper aggressive, etc. I make my money, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going to date you because men understand that we already have to compete when we go out into the real world. Women, when you guys compete, great. Good for you. But men have to compete. Period. Huh? I'm not talking about that. Huh? Okay. Super chats. Men have to compete. All right. If women compete, it's cool. But it doesn't necessarily make you more attractive. Men already have to go out into the world and fight. Last thing a man wants to do is come home and fight with his wife. And I hate to say it. Dominant women are more likely to pick a fight. If I'm a man with options and I've worked, busted my ass to become successful, I am going to be extremely picky with what girl yeah. I take seriously. I'm not going to be picky with girls I get, fuck, but I'm going to be picky with girls I, I take seriously. You get seriously. the right girl and she's tired and she don't want to work no more. And then she's okay with being like submissive. I just, I don't know. I feel like there's very aggressive, angry women. And then there's like assertive, dominant women. And there's like a gray Washing area. Angry. I don't know. People just get so angry. Women are just so like ah! do exactly. Dominant women come from when men come off feminine. So chivalry is dead. People say nowadays. If you don't open the door for me, I'm gonna get mad and because women killed it. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Like, why you say that? Door, I could do it myself. Who say women kill? Because that attitude is what makes guys not want to do it. Is the fact that you think you could do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, literally, literally it. it. Thank that's you. That's what I'm Gina. saying. There's different levels. Thank it's you, just I so love a chivalrous man. I love a masculine man. I don't know about the other hoes who killed that shit. Man. <laughs> I'm not a feminist. I mean, so. I mean, I, I, well, here's the thing. Like, <laughs> I'm blown. <laughs> what? I don't know about them, bitch. I want my man to be the man. I, I want mean, to be the girl. So you want a traditional man? Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you something. If you're walking behind him, or if you're working with a man into a building, do you stop and wait for them to open your door, or do you well, just open that door yourself? I, no. I'm a like. I'm not gonna stop. But no, I'm gonna, I like, stop. Slow down. A I stop. Bit. I'm gonna slow down a little bit and be like, okay. If not, talk to the mic, please. Like, oh, sorry. I'm gonna slow down a bit and then I'm gonna be like, okay, now go. Because if, if he doesn't open the door, I already know T. Like you're, you know, maybe he wasn't paying attention, but. Mm, 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 <laughs> All right. You know? So you want a traditional man? You mentioned earlier you want a guy to text you and you know. Yeah, because I'm a loving girl. I mean, we're not in a dating environment. Am I wrong? We're <laughs> yes, I, I completely understand that. I completely understand that. My wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, Myron. <laughs> So, and also, I don't think that being feminine gay, like you said, like, oh, y'all love your Jimmy Choo's, whatever he said. I don't think that's like necessarily feminine. I feel like that's more confident that you are aware of your identity and you're OK with being a feminine man. I feel like a feminine man is my definition of feminine man is different. It's not a gay guy. Like, it's not necessarily a gay guy. I don't I don't look at it like that. So it's like weird. you can look at it however you want, but you would not date me and take me seriously sexually if I acted like that with you. Mm -hmm, I guess. But I don't. I, but you wouldn't. But you said act like that with you. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I'm just tripping. Yo. Okay. Fresh. I don't be all, but I'm fried, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> no, well, well, so, so you want to, so you want a guy to treat you like a lady and be, be traditional. How much? Yeah. And I want to treat him like a man. Are you considered a traditional woman? 
No, but okay. I mean, then again, I'm not in a state in my life where I am going to be so, a traditional. So woman. you want a traditional man, but you're not necessarily a traditional. Not woman right yourself. now, and that's why I'm single because I'm not. I'm not ready for but that. Here's the problem. What you do in your past matters as a woman. Okay. So if you have a past, you're not necessarily traditional, but you want a traditional man. It sounds like a bad deal for the guy. Okay, but what if I got something in his past? I mean, like, what, what, what? Men and women are extremely different. It's double standards. It's a double, standard, a double standard, standard, standard that doesn't benefit women. And you can't go around it. Because the reality is, women look for a man with a future. A man looks for a woman that doesn't have a past. It is I don't what know. it is. I, I see a lot of holes. So think about politicians. And buried and shit, man. I mean, look at Melania Trump. I mean, that whole and she's <laughs> like I was saying. But she's um, also exotic. She comes from okay, money. Exotic, she's well behaved. I'm exotic to somebody. She well, maybe ain't black, mm -hmm. but he gonna I'm exotic to somebody. But you're not listening. Like, the, girl, bye. I'm gonna let you go. The point is being well behaved, and like it, it may not be like talk. what you that bitch want. Stole, but... uh, she stole that? Michelle Obama's uh, speech. How That's one out of, out of a thousand. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm. A, I'm. I don't look at myself as this everyday girl. I don't look at my man as everyday man. Anything that's worth a damn is not going to be easy. My, me finding a man is not going to be easy. And I'm not saying like, I'm, uh, I'm going to just meet my guy. Like, no, it's going to be hard for me. Yeah, of course it is. Well, Point. it's going to be, it's going to be extremely difficult. And what I'm trying to tell you is you don't necessarily qualify for that caliber of man. Yeah, so yeah. what? Who do I qualify for? The homeless guy outside of Seven Eleven? <laughs> who do Who do I qualify for? My I mean, probably. Who well, do I so that's who I qualify for. Seriously, well, <laughs> you know your key. That's a key. You know your key came about that. I mean, that's sorry, a funny joke. Chris, that was Chris. Oh, no, sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Chris, I mean, Chris, that was a key. I mean, let's be honest. Like, um, would you would you would you date a guy that was you know homeless, a bum, and lived with his mom and smoked weed all day? Of course not. Okay. Of course not. Well, that's how you're a man. comparing me. You're comparing me to that kind of guy. I'm gonna if you would let me finish. Damn, nigga, that's how fucking fucked up I am. Shit. Well, just like you wouldn't want to date that guy, no guy is gonna want to take a sex worker seriously as a wife. But what if I'm retired? Because I'm not, I'm not looking for a man right now. It, it it does not matter because a man is extremely interested in a woman's past. I don't think so. These niggas be fucking the dirtiest bitch. You've been no, no. The whole time. Remember how I said and marrying them, wifing them up. I don't I know. Said, that's what I see. Remember how I said having sex with a girl versus wifing a girl are two different things. There's relationship attraction. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian, no Tino Shea. I mean, I love you, Kim. I love you, Kim, baby. You are a juggernaut in this industry. However, I mean, and niggas Kim are Kardashian. Oh, with Kim with Kardashian, her, she came from money. She had you don't know what history. I came from. She baby. had entertainment. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just literally talking about facts. If you come from money, fine. If you want to like talk down on me for trying to explain something, that's fine. I mean, simply, too, she's, but she's, she's, simply put, no one takes Kim Kardashian seriously. You know, everyone I that do. I think to this point, no one does. I, mean, you, I take her extremely okay, seriously. You can man. you can take her seriously, but as a man that's marriage minded, that's trying to build a family and a legacy. Y'all niggas would no be lined one. up to marry Kim Kardashian and she fuck with you. Come on, uh. No, no. Oh. And it like Okay, no. I, I would and, marry her and I'm And girl. the thing is oh, this, yeah. she can't keep a guy. She actually went on and like cried saying, I can't keep a man. She's a Pete Davidson. So, you know guess, what I'm saying? Whatever. But she can't keep a guy in her in a marriage. Like it, it is what it is. Like shout out to you, Kim Baby. You killed the game. See, and that's the problem. Like when modern day women look at women like Kim Kardashian, Cardi B, etc., these are terrible examples to try to emulate because I say Cardi B, no. these women. Even I love you too. But, nah, but I'm just trying to say, can shit. you stop fucking doing oh, that? I'm just doing my shout out. No, like, like, stop, man. No, yeah, it's, it's what is it's, your problem? It's really not a quality You've podcast. You've been extremely like uh, disrespectful so to the platform. Like, mm -hmm. keep cutting off. I've given you. I've been very respectful when you speak. I shut up and listen. And then when I speak, you have to have these ridiculous like ad libs. Like ad libs. Like, like, bro, we ain't rapping. Like, this ain't our single song. Like, you're not in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to like what I'm saying, but I'm telling you the I truth. I actually agree with you on a lot of shit. Then why do you keep cutting me off? Because <laughs> I didn't want to say, like, something bad about Kim Kardashian about that, because I actually do like her. That's yeah. fine. I'm the one saying what I got to say about her. You're not saying anything okay, about her. what do you say about her? I, okay, just say what you Can you let finish his thoughts, like, please? I already told like, you, like, control you can be a fan of Kim thoughts? Kardashian or whatever, but you got to understand that she's not a good example to emulate if you want to get a husband. She's yeah, I worst. never said I agree with you. Well, I don't know about that hey, last statement, but listen, I don't agree with you. I'm not emulating anybody. Listen, listen we, we, we have five other girls. Yeah, I Fucking like relax, I mean. okay? <laughs> just relax, okay? Shit. Control Yo, your are thoughts. You, are you, like, on, like... Uh, something. No, I'm not. Something. You do something before you came on? No, did you? Like you no, can't be quiet. Insulting. Call the asteroid. Two seconds. Well, asteroid it's a, no, it's insulting when you can't let Myron finish his fucking thoughts as the host. He's the fucking host. I warned you before the show. I came to you personally. I'm like, listen, when Myron's talking, please don't talk. And you still do it. We gave yeah, you mad chances. Mad chances. So what, so what now? 
I mean, it's just you know what? Stop interrupting, man. Just stop. Just okay. Do stop not pull the old block on me. Trust me. Yeah, just stop interrupting, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Don't do it. All, all I'm right. saying is that you can like him, Kardashian. Fantastic. You're a fan of her, whatever of, of her content. She's not a good uh, a body to to follow as far as like getting a husband because she got famous from having sex with a guy on camera. That would disqualify her from 90% of guys as a potential serious candidate. Look at Mia Khalifa. Look at Lana Rhodes. You're looking at the one woman that got married and kept getting divorced. Look at every woman that was having sex on camera and got married in a serious relationship. It always failed because men have a serious issue with women that bring a past to the table, man. I don't make the rules. I just tell them. It's the truth. Just like you're not going to take a man seriously that's broken, lives at home with his mom and smokes weed every day, isn't ambitious. Past, though. But that's the thing. He doesn't have a future. See the key? That guy that lives with his mom, smokes weed every day, and isn't working, he doesn't have a future. So you automatically disqualify him as a candidate. You might have a future where I could be a good wife in the future. I'm going to be great. I'm going to bring you know such and such to the table. But, but guess what? Know. Your past disqualifies you from a lot of these guys. That's all I'm telling you. I agree with that, but you don't know that because honestly, I want a man who kind of works for his own stuff. I want a man. I don't want no daddy's money guy. I want a guy who worked for his own stuff. So a guy who comes who's broke, he might be able to build himself up. I, I want a guy who worked for his own stuff. I think that's very masculine. And that's, here's the thing. So he, he might worked, be broke right now, but he might he might build himself up to be something. And that guy that builds himself up to be something worked really hard to get there and he's going to demand a certain type of woman. That's fine. And if I'm not that, that's, I'm not I'm not that. I don't want a guy who don't want me. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want a guy who don't want me. If you're not interested in me, if you're mad about my past and you're not even on my, you're not even on my radar. All right, cool. I'm telling you, 95% of guys are going to have a serious point of issue with your past. Yes. All right. Maybe, That's the truth. maybe. That, that might be true. I, I might agree with you, man. Like okay, good. I mean, no, no, no. Okay. Y'all been waiting for a minute, so. man. Okay, we got Kadeem the Dream, 10 bucks says, Melon's GP. Okay, I'm read that one already. Yeah, uh, stop arguing with Myron if you agree with him. Okay, that's from uh, No yeah, More. Yeah, why are you arguing if you agree with the nigga? Uh, to the stripper. Oh, shit. Use glue on the pole so you don't hit your head on the floor as often. I don't <laughs> climb the pole, baby. Oh I can't. God. Laughing <laughs> tune. Please use a candy store analogy because this dumb... Uh, okay, well, it's fine, bro. I don't need a candy, candy store analogy. Uh, Ramon Anderson, uh, hot boy and future said it best. Nobody special. I feel like all these 304 is the same. Uh, we got uh, Bernie Wolf, 20 bucks. Individual challenge for the girls. Tell us, audience, what sets you apart from other girls? Should we date and commit to you? Take you off the streets? What do we get? Uh, the at we can't find somewhere else. Why risk or invest in you? Um, we're gonna cover that. Follow me, cover nigga. That. See what the T is. See what the hype is about, nigga. All right. I mean, uh, sorry, n ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to think all her brains are in those melons from Venom. Okay. Nah, that's fatty tissue, Venom. Jeffrey Epstein. Somebody clip this and add Celine Dion's Titanic song in the background. This chick is a walking cliche. Are you oh. Jeffrey Epstein using a fake name? The fuck? <laughs> what that got to do with shit? King Life. She's so damn dumb. She probably thought a dismissal letter was a degree. <laughs> nah, I got a degree, baby. Ten dollar tip. No. <laughs> David K. Putting that stupid three or four stats in the calculator would only make the number smaller. There is no cure for stupid. Okay, David K on a fake page. Uh, Suwap FX. Y'all need a female calculator to show them they not that special. Yeah, do the female calculator, Suwap. Okay. Do it. I want to see it. The, the, the reason why a, a female calculator doesn't exist is because men are very easy to please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's well, why. That's yeah. your fault. Hire your standards. You can hire your standards just like we can. The fuck? Hire your standards. I mean, I'm not called... getting fucked every night. Yeah. Uh, Wait, what? what? Yeah, they're just asking for a feminine woman. Hire right. your standards. You can get a man if you want. Go fuck a man. <laughs> that's already hard enough. Bro, that's a... Even that's men, a got, L. men got higher <laughs> standards than we do. That's an L, bro. Them gay niggas got higher standards than we do. Because it's far easier for them to get sexual access than for a heterosexual man. Exactly. But I agree, Myron. See now, now, he, now he put it in, in now he put it in a more <laughs> digestible way. I absolutely agree with that. Thank a, you. A, 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 Aaron. Myron. Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. 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 <laughs> Myron got the patience of a guy. Yeah, Fifty dollars. Awesome. Thank you. I'm losing hair follicles. Can you guys do me a quick favor though? Like there's the video. only there's oh, there's over eight thousand you guys watching right now. Can you do me a favor? I never like to look at my phone while we're on stream. Yo, we have two point. But we only got likes. two point eight k likes, man. Can y'all do me a favor and get us up to at yo, least yo, seven thousand likes, please. bro? Because do it. I'm losing hair over here, guys. Uh, okay, Tico three zero uh, five three two. Uh, oh no, we read that one. Oh, sorry, Jay Martin, twenty bucks. Where's that asteroid? Bro, man, okay. bring the asteroid, bro. Uh, Prop so icy. We are in a patriarchy, and we let women live so motherfucking nice. But women want the same power as us, but they would not want to end us all if it was a matriarchy. Okay, um, Jesse Lee Peterson, uh, where's Pill Cosby at? You gave her the wrong drink and need to fix it. 
Snickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Yo, way too hot. Oh <laughs> man. Big dogs eat. Do these girls realize Myron is a, uh, uh, he goes, uh, big dogs eat. Do, do these girls realize Myron is a 6'3 high value male making well over hundreds of thousands of dollars and fresh 5'11 drives Lambos and yachts and has a crazy life, crazy lit lifestyle? Y'all should be choosing my guys right now. I mean, we're trying to tell them how these kinds of guys think, but they don't want to listen to us. Yeah, I don't want to listen. Uh, uh, ben sing, K. Sing, sing Miami us. guy. It's Miami guy. And you're Miami. Next. <laughs> and I'm looking for no guy. I'm not looking for no guy. All right. I'm traveling to Wyoming to get my dude. <laughs> all right, well, well over I'm, there the guys are super traditional you think how do you know you never been over there i might get lucky don't I be mean, hating on me don't I'm, be hating. I'm not hating I'm, I'm just looking at probabilities like you go manifest, to wyoming Mar, manifest like those guys are gonna <laughs> be <laughs> destiny girl they're hey, gonna, they're gonna want a certain type of woman you know what i'm saying like guys out there in wyoming and i'm gonna be single forever my Ron. Thank you. All right. So all, all right. the fans, so I'm gonna be single for a minute. Forever. So we actually for a minute. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna crazy. be single forever. Now yeah, like... she, she, she went from next year to single. Big dream. That's fine. <laughs> she, I'll be single forever. Ten bucks. Ten dollars. I mean, if you change, you could we probably. Get I'm not changing. She, I'll be single forever, bitch. Yeah, of course. Yeah, she's not changing. All right, bitch. All right, Ben K. That's fine. I'll be single. Ten dollars, super sticker. And I'll be a cat, like a bunny lady. Okay. Uh, read that one, super sticker. Thanks. Uh, we got uh, Ike. Ike. Ten bucks. If the chick with the milkers doesn't get Frank Castle, I pray to the gods y'all don't bring her back on the show. I come uh, back. All right. 20 bucks from Sean Morris, uh, Myron, and Prince. Good luck with this, guys. Myron? King of Lords says $20. Yo, kick her out. No, she hasn't been. I mean, she's been. Oh, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm losing uh, my uh, hair. Uh, fall it's about it's it's balance. Yeah. It's a lace fry anyway. Uh, Bre <laughs> Bren K. Uh, shout out to F and F Myron. I'm going to donate some hair to you, brother. Thank mm. you, bro. Please do. Mm, 200 uh, Indian rupees uh, from our boy BSP. When I approach, yo, shout out to, we got England in the house, Canada, yep. India, Australia. All over the world. Um, I Australia. see some euros in, Norway watching. Yo, shout out to you guys, man. Fresh and fit, we global. When I approach a beautiful woman, sorry. she better not be, oh, Chris. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. She better not be. Wow. I mean, hey, support. <laughs> what he said, Indian. <laughs> he said, yeah, when what? I approach a beautiful woman, she better not be loud because that is annoying and it ruins the mood. You be in a DM saying good morning, beautiful. Lance Vance, 20 bucks. Canadian. Thank you so much. Uh, super sticker. Uh, yo, culprit. My, mo my mom always told me, son, the bigger the boobs, the smaller the brain. And the bigger the ass, the fatter the can play. John the Jack, the cash. Don't the Frank Castle her. Put her in the corner for five minutes, Myron. Okay. Time out. NL coach. She got the truth. Kick my... Ass face. She Hi. got the truth. Kick my okay. I don't know who she is. I don't know. Uh, Twenty Vic. bucks, Vic Nova. Yo, bro, stop arguing with this three hundred four. Be a G and kick her out of your show. This is hurting my head. Let's Shit, I'll leave. Give him a thousand dollars. Normal girl, ladies, stop explaining to her that no one takes her seriously. Show her, kick her out. Give me a thousand dollars. Give tip a thousand dollars. I'll be out of here right now. <laughs> Shit, fuck that. Give him a thousand dollars, little boosie. Heard you. Uh, I'll Jeff, walk off live. Uh, <laughs> Hundred, hundred, uh, like NLK from, from Norway. From guy. She like a character from my family guy, from Family Guy. Okay, <laughs> all right. And family Guy is a top breaking show. Now what? Heritage Dev. What? Lieutenant Tony Heritage Patterson. Ten dollars. The loudest ninja in the uh, three or four in the room is the weakest ninja in the room. Ooh. Loud over talking and being overbearing doesn't equal equate to intelligence. I ain't bragging about intelligence. Okay. I'm not bragging about intelligence. I'm just saying what the fuck I got to speak. I don't have to use intelligence speak to bring my message across. I can say all those buzzwords. Oh, political this. Oh, feminine woman. Oh, high value. I can use all the buzzwords. You can still be saying nothing. I could say straight talk and just use real words and say a real message. So Lieutenant Tony Patterson 215 who was probably dishonorably discharged. <laughs> bitch, fuck you, nigga. Yeah, you're funny. Sorry, you're, funny. Not, you're funny. David K. There are four beautiful <laughs> Weakest women. Weakest ninja, bitch. There are four beautiful women on the panel, and I would love to hear from them. Don't worry, we're gonna turn it yeah, to them here wanna... in a second. Yeah. Uh McQueen, ten hours. I'm so proud of Myron, bro. My dog's patience is insane. <laughs> and it's dope to see him shutting dumbasses who think he's an asshole up. Yeah, I mean it is what it is. I Lance, know, Lance, not. Uh ten dollars. I don't mind simping for a lady who acts like a lady. I realize when I get curved by a masculine woman, it hurts ten times more than being curved by a feminine woman. Food for thought. Because we're real scene. All right, so, uh, ladies, the feminine woman tell... let you fuck. Easy. We're gonna let the other lady speak here now. Last yeah. one. Okay. Elmer. Uh Elmer. Thanks, Elmer. Friend. Twenty Pettis. bucks. Thank you so much thank for you, the super sticker. Um, so we're gonna turn it to other ladies. Um and please don't who, interrupt, please. Who wants thank to you. um uh who, who wants to do the calculator? See how prevalent your guy is. I don't mean to crush your dreams, but I'll do it. It's fun. I did it last time. Cool. All right, let's pull up the calculator. <sighs> okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my I, I have a headache. I'm just trying to hear. What is a simp? 
A uh, uh, side pimp? No, it, it uh, <laughs> side. <laughs> if I'm gonna define it, it stands for sucker idolizing mediocre pussy. So a guy that basically gives attention and or validation to women that don't see him as a sexual potential. I All thought right. it was a pseudo pimp. That's no, <laughs> it's basically the guys on your OnlyFans that pay you. Yeah, but I you're love not my guys. I yeah. love all my guys. I respond all to all right, my all DMs. All right, all right, we're gonna. All right, so look, you're gonna chill out. Listen, you're officially on tomorrow, okay? Okay. So, uh, you want to go? Go ahead. Let's count some egos. <laughs> what <laughs> age? All right, let's do twenty. I'm twenty two, so let's do twenty two to thirty two. Twenty two. All right. To thirty two. Cool. Okay. Uh, can you be married? Yeah. All right. oh, okay. Hey, I said the same. Zeal. All right. Mm -hmm. no, they make mistakes. Um, black. All right. race, black. black. All right, cool. Minimum height. Minimum height for you. Four eleven. Gotta move it up to six. Okay, six three. Six three. All right, cool. All right. Uh, I'm five nine. Just so people okay. don't think I'm being extra. That's fine. <laughs> you're, hey man, you're entitled to your your um uh, your traits that you want. Uh, can you be fat? No. Okay, no fat souls here. Sorry, guys. No uh, and then minimum income for you? Um, 20, 20K? What? Uh, a month, right? Uh, oh, this is yearly? Yeah, yeah. yeah yearly. <laughs> uh, well, 20K a month is uh, $240,000 a year. Is that what you want? Before yeah. Text. Okay. Okay, 240K. Uh, well, all right, so quarter million. So uh, let's see here how prevalent this guy is. Damn. Worse than me. Worse than me, right? The big worse bad boy. Ah, okay. Yeah, so your guy was is extremely rare. <laughs> Meow Mix. Just that, for uh, you. 6'3", though. Meow. Yeah, no. <sighs> yeah, so basically you got a 5 out of 5 cat bag. You don't belong on this planet. Uh, Good job. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you got, uh, what was it? What was the percentage? Less than 1%? Like, it was like, yeah. Damn. 0.0018%. Oh, oh, so the guy you're looking for is extremely rare. And Damn. he was married. For real. Uh, I, I, know. Know. Damn. Like, I got Black three Mel, cat six, three, you know. Yeah. Who's next? Yeah, because, okay. well, you got to remember that black men are very, oh, yeah, they, we were they thinking represent about a small the... percentage of the population. Yeah. Okay. And then six foot three, I mean, just to, only about 15% of men. Try any color. Uh, <laughs> only about 15% of men, you know, are six foot or above. Really? Yeah, yeah and only about 3% of the U.S. population is six foot two and above. Especially black. Y'all need to wear inserts. And then you add in the fact that they're black, <laughs> yeah. six foot three, and make that kind of and money. money. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah, mm -hmm. only about 10% of the U.S. population makes $100,000 a year, and that's everyone, men, women, three of them, et cetera. Right, so for them to be black, six foot three, make double what you, you know, $100,000 a year plus, kind of rare. It's like NBA player almost, yeah, which they're a very small fraction say. of the population. Uh, so, so uh, organic, by the way. Okay. Three of them. Where's so, right uh, Gina? Yeah, I'll try. All right, cool. All right. What's What age do you want him to be? Mm, let's do 35 to 40. Okay. Mm -hmm. 35 to 40. I'm 28. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm 28. Because an older nigga might be nice. Older nigga might be good. Okay. I'm, I'm, can you be married? Uh, can, you, can you be married, Gina? No, not married. Not married? Okay. Um, I just don't like Asian. But uh, let's do any color. Okay. Minimum height. But you Keep um, it real. Six feet. Okay. Minimum income? Uh, wait, wait, fat? Oh, yeah. No, no fat. Okay. <laughs> um, How much a year? 100 is good. Okay. Cool. Let's see how uh, prevalent this guy is. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. You, you scored four out of five cat bags. <laughs> so what's point six at sixty oh percent? No. This is horrible. Uh, what, so, less than one percent. This is depressing as fuck. <laughs> hey, hey what, wait till you see mine. And I don't even know how it got. I want to know what percentage you know y'all are in. Put put the bottom of everything. You scored put zero uh, of everything. You Thank scored. You, uh, you you scored um literally uh, four out of five cat what bags. What does it say though? <laughs> Uh, scroll down, Chris, real quick. I think it's uh, let's see here. Mm -hmm. What the uh, oh, yeah, just hit find out, yeah, so that we can see what she what they said for the cat bags. She, it goes, uh, cat enthusiast, cat enthusiast, yeah, you're a cat enthusiast. So, uh, guys, we invest say in chewy. Time, invest in chewy, yeah, that's because... up. And <laughs> I got I'm uh, I'll say it at the, the, at the end. Do you guys have a promo code for them? <laughs> no, I don't, should, but, should. But, 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 uh, yo, chewy <laughs> stock is going up though. It, it really is, uh, well, hey, that's right. What if you we all go? just turn that's gay true. and date each other and fuck these niggas? All right, next. Okay. You see, you seem to hate oh. niggas. <laughs> I don't. I love Even niggas. I'm, I, I, say, I say niggas as a Who's general term. It's like I would say girl. I'd be calling like right. man girl. Right. Right. Uh, it's like what, a general what, term. At what age? Uh, like 23 to 35. Okay. 23 to 35? Yeah. 36 maybe. Yeah. 36. Okay, 36. All right. Yeah, sure. uh, can you be married? No. All right. You don't share. 
I don't share. No. Okay, no. race. Uh, any color. Yeah. Okay, equal opportunity employer. Right. Um, <laughs> employee. Six foot seven. Five. Five eleven, no, five ten. Five three. Five eleven. Five, five ten, eleven, <laughs> six foot seven. What's what are we going? What's going five, on here? Five ten. Five ten. Yeah. Okay. Can you be fat? <laughs> no fat. No. Mm -mm. no. Now, real talk. Did you just change your height requirement because I said how rare it is to find a guy over six feet tall? No. No. That's tall as no, tall. Because I, no, because I didn't. No, I didn't. How tall are you? I'm five foot. Oh, you a midget? Yeah. I mean, not a midget. No, yeah. I'm five five. I'm like the most oh, average. Oh, I think five foot. No, no, I'm five five. Oh, okay. I'm as average as it gets. Okay, then yeah, y'all okay. get a good old five eight. I, I don't believe you. I think you changed it based off that, but that's no, fine. We'll put it five ten. And what's the minimum income for you? A year. I'm gonna be year. humble. I'm gonna say eighty k. No, I mean don't, don't no, 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 don't be no. no, no, no. This, <laughs> this is a guy that you said wanna that you want to date can, seriously. Yeah, yeah, okay, but yeah, you can live guy. in a. We're gonna life. have kids. L ladies, ladies, stop. Ladies, you can stop. have a good life with eighty five k annually. Okay. On top of that, we'll put eighty. We'll put eighty. Yeah, as as you asked. No, eighty five k actually. Eighty five. Eighty five. Yeah. Damn. She said she needs that fact. All right. Now, I thought I was her nose. Texas. 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 For the nose of makeup. Man. Right, let's go find out. Find out. It's broken. I was thinking about it. She broke broken. it. I'm sorry, guys. Unheard I forgive you. <laughs> that shit taking forever. My well, it's got to like bring bring it back into reality on, my <laughs> from all the other crazy <laughs> like, numbers that were put into it. it Mine are not even that crazy. I mean, you're looking for a pretty rare guy, too. Me? <laughs> yeah. You can live pretty comfortably with 85 oh, wow, no, All right, Kim oh, scored. Hey, you guys want to <laughs> Okay. You scored four out of five catbacks. Fantastic. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Thanks. Compared to other girls on the show, which is crazy that, like, that's, like, the norm now. I, I would say the average from all the girls we bring on the show is between four to four five, five catbacks. Cat yeah. yeah. Scroll down real quick, Chris. Uh, uh, yeah, cat enthusiast. I feel like, I feel like three is definitely yeah. like Who wants to go next? And get their dreams I'll crushed. I'll do it. Oh, you've changed. You're gonna go last because you. I know you probably changed your standards. Yeah. No, but you I do also like some... scored a high. Uh... No, I got three. Yeah, I think she got three last time. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, last time she got three. All right, we'll go. We'll go with, <laughs> with you. Well, you you better lower your standards even more, Miss. I'm gonna be dominant. So. Uh, okay. All right. So uh, what about you? All right. Maybe twenty five to thirty. Okay. Uh, any color or shade. Five nine. I'm five four, so I don't know. That's good for me. Can you be married? Oh no. Okay. No. You said any color shade? Exclude. Yeah. Exclude. And exclude. then height? Five uh, nine. We gotta exclude no. Mary. It is. It is. It's checked. Okay, because I just want to make sure I just want to remind it. No, no, yeah, yeah. Yo. Oh <laughs> my bad. I thought it was supposed to be. Blue. I thought it was supposed to be white. My bad. My need, bad. Sorry. We don't need your input. Okay. We, 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 we got sure it. everything is right. I want to make sure. I thought the it. same thing at first when I was like, That's wait, what wait, I said. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Continue. Um, seventy-five k. Exclude obese. Can you? Yeah. Okay. Seventy-five. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, that shit still gonna say three. You saying that kind of shaky? Were you sure that's what you really wanted? Still gonna say She's trying to do the math in her head. Okay. I was doing it before. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> let's see here. Okay. All right. Three. Three out of five cat bags. All right. Good job. You, you rank consistent. You you are an aspiring cat lady. Not bad at all. So <laughs> you're you're right there in the middle. Yes, Almost right. delusional, but not yet. I've never seen two cat bags. So never yeah, two or one. I've never seen. It's two two point seven percent of the population. Higher chance. Higher chance. Higher chance of finding a guy. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you want to go or no? Uh, she she went. So right, Miss Chicago now is the last one. All right. So uh, what um Chris, can we pull up uh yep. Let's see here. Okay, age. Twenty five to forty five. Okay. And let's do 47. Okay. Fuck it. Seven. <laughs> what, all day? Uh, um, can you be married? Uh, yeah, they yeah. could be married. Okay. And you know, put it to 47, bro. You got to include marriage. So you'll do married guys? Yeah, they make mistakes. They okay. may be separated, all that shit. Okay. Um, no, but no, he has a wife. But that's marriage, separation, all that. I, I, they it's not my fault. So you I guarantee that he'll be separated, though. <laughs> She's about to come in right now. Right, right, they right, make no, some no, mistakes. No, 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 that's cool. That's cool. All right. You get, All right. Yeah. Moving on. Same shit last. Uh, black. <laughs> okay. BBC. <laughs> All right. All my niggas in the chat. Man, I'm, um, high for you. I'm five two, so five ten. Five ten. All right. Okay. And uh, no fat. No. Sorry guys. All right. That's the one. Men are income free. One hundred and twenty. All right. Cool. All right. My uh, drug dealers. Yeah. <laughs> drug, yeah, drug, drug nigga stand up. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Drum roll, please. <laughs> Y'all are dumb. 
See, the calculator broke from all the earlier things. <laughs> it's because you know all, all the it's, trappers are putting their names it's in. It's coming back into... <laughs> let's go. It's coming back into reality now. What do we have here? Somewhat. All them niggas incarcerated. Oh, Damn. shit. Wow. Let's see here. Shit. You got a oh. dot. Wow. Right. You it went four. up. <laughs> dot. It went up. No one yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> 0.12 percent all right fantastic Merry Christmas, ladies uh Thank you guys. yeah so, so nice your guy you. is extremely rare as well so um <laughs> okay it, what if i took out black <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> that might help a little it, bit it would help it, it, it a lot yeah it would yeah, help black is kind of but 120k still puts you looking at a, at a very small percentage of men per year okay. guys ladies the, the average man is about uh five foot eight and only earns about 32 to 50k yeah, per year. Yeah. 30, Can we put five? zero zero everything? Like no, low, does. like put it's the a, average man, matter of fact. Put the average man. You're trying to break the code. That's what you're trying to do. But can you put the average man just so we can see our percentage if we did the average man who was five foot eight, thirty thousand dollars? But the thing is, you don't want the average man though. Yeah. But what so, if I did? Could we just see but, our percentage would still but you be? Don't. That's that's the problem. Because you know, you know that shit would still say 20%. All right, uh chats. Those are crazy statistics, though. A lot of people have tried to ask. Dr. Kimber, 20 bucks. I was looking for her a thousand for her to leave. Oh, do it, bro. Oh, you gonna give me a thousand? Give him a thousand, but give me 500. Because I can't get all the money. Geeky Anomaly. Anomaly, 10 bucks. Loud girl looks like Coach Craig Adams. Can you Google that? Google, Google. I saw it earlier. Who is that? Google Coach Craig Adams. Yo, Google Coach Craig Adams. I mean, we know who he is. He's a man? It's a man? Yeah. Google it. Google it. Geeky Anomaly. What the fuck? Can you Google it, please? Yo, hey, that's him, Castro. Please? That is funny, bro. It, like, it's really funny. That's really it, funny, bro. Oh, like, Castro. Yeah, we're googling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Chris, you got it right. Yeah, yeah. We're right. googling. Oh God. <laughs> he might have won. Okay, but get a better picture of him with better lighting. He might have a fat. Shout out, Coach Gang. Craig Adams. <laughs> Yo, shout get a better man. angle. Get a better angle. Shout out, man. I don't even look like. Oh, I thought it was Craig Adams. How many awards has he won? He might be a high value man. <laughs> no, I mean, he definitely is. Yeah, definitely so, what, is. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Whatever the fuck his name is. Thank you, Super Shout Chat. Shout out to Coach Greg Adams. Shout out to him, bitch. Don't follow shit. me on Instagram. The Coach, Coach, Coach are you sure you're not the father? Yo, shout out to Coach Greg Adams. Yo, guys, go subscribe to his like... YouTube channel, uh, Free Agent Lifestyle and Shout Coach Greg Coach, Adams. Man. That's the homie. We're going to yeah. bring him back on again. And it's always fantastic when he comes on the show. Also, go get his book, uh, a Free Agent Lifestyle Free, yeah. and um, De Evolution, guys. Plug me too. Shout out to our man. You got your Instagrams plugged up? Okay, fine, fine. Okay, so uh, shout out to Coach Greg Adams, guys. That's our man. Oscar Castro, uh, for the girl with the moons on her best area, we aren't saying that you're stupid. We're only saying that you're constantly unlucky when you try thinking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, Oscar Castro, with a fake profile picture. All right. Next, uh, next Phil Cosby. Phil Cosby. Who needs pills for this chick? I just get tell her I have 100 million. In black <laughs> I hate Cash at me a million, man. Fuck that. A million you pills. You got it, bitch. Burning wolf $15. <laughs> Already withdrew my inquiry for milk. Don't want masculine boobs. She dominated the show and other girls stopped engaging. I am not your customer. Frank Castle is late to get his girl. Ooh, who's Frank? Shut up, burning wolf. That's why your dick burn. <laughs> okay, I'm playing. <laughs> That's why you're burning. Okay. Like I was right. saying, we're cool over here. Uh, it's a cool ranch, baby. Lieutenant per Patterson. Uh, he's Tony Patterson is back. He goes, $10, the word intelligence is a buzzword. I'm a firefighter lieutenant, not a lieutenant in the military. You ain't got work tonight? Stupid. You ain't got work tonight? Go say something. Yeah. It's cats up in them trees, baby. Black Wolf Inc. To the loudmouth girl with the fun bags in the back, for the love of God, shut up and chill. Damn, we don't need to hear all you have to say. Those who know, don't talk. And those who talk, don't know a, a thing. Yeah, because you can't speak, <laughs> Black Wolf. I'm a black sheep. I'm different than these hoes. What the fuck you talking about, bitch? <laughs> black Wolf. What the fuck you talking about? I'm a black sheep, baby. <laughs> anyway. Bah. Okay. Uh, bah. She's like, bah humbug right now. Uh, pause. Mommy milkers look at 0.660 and saw 60%. <laughs> I don't even know what that's supposed to refer to. Yeah, I'm her, exactly no. yeah, her, look uh, at point six. I'm exactly confused. I'm, confused with I'm, I'm sorry, Ali. It's I'm, fine. We're I'm not. Gonna, yeah. Thank you for the ten dollars super chat. We're gonna keep going. Keep pushing. On. Yeah, her test was blocking her vision. So. Oscar Castro, uh, somewhere out there, a village is missing its <laughs> idiot. She said it's point six. Uh, sixty percent. Oh my God, I'm gonna stop. You ain't talking about me, right? Yes. Yeah, you. Oh well, first of all, uh, I got point zero four five percent. So you need to correct that. No, Sorry. No. What? Are you talking about? What are you talking about point six percent? I don't even know. Next super chat, bitch. What the fuck? Oh, all right. I, th I thought I got point zero four five percent. No, so. but you you mentioned point sixty percent of Bro, what? Point. Yeah. What well, we're I saying? I said eighty percent of men was getting that pussy every right. night. <sighs> 
Uh, Joshua Kimber, he's talking about the calculator. That's what yeah. he's talking about. Oh, I'm at, I thought I got 0. 0.045%. Don't worry. You, th- you, you talk more than you think. Next. Okay. I'm sorry, baby. Joshua Kimber, $20. Yo, one cat bag is still too many based on the percentages. The delusion is crazy in this country. I know a whole bunch of cat ladies, <laughs> and they're all strippers, and I lied. I ain't giving that 304. No. <laughs> <laughs> Use your profile pic. Pull up his profile. <laughs> all, right. all right. Thank you guys so much. Right. Um, so, ladies. So, la- we're going to turn it to y'all so you can ask a question to us. Give us your last thoughts on the show. Last more thoughts, questions. Ladies. More questions. Yeah. We can start here. Last questions? Or, th- or thoughts. thoughts. Yeah, or comments or disagreements or whatever. I don't know. I mean, there was like a point that was made earlier that in the okay. mic, in the mic. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so there was like a point that was made earlier that um, that upper class men or you know men of that percentage they're not going to look for women that have their own money or apparently that's like a dominating like or or masculine thing basically. And I don't think that should be necessarily seen as masculine. You know, she can be helping you build your empire. It's not exactly something that would be masculine. It's not something that's her being domineering. A man should not be looking at that as a competition. Why do you see your woman doing good as a competition? No, you should be supportive of her. And she should be supportive of you. It should be both ways. Okay. So um, it's not that men hate these women or anything like that. But what women like to do that are successful typically is lead with their success. And simply put, a successful woman that earns a lot of money is not the same as a successful man that earns a lot of money. A man that is successful, earns a lot of money, is extremely attractive to the opposite gender. A woman that earns a lot of money and is successful, well, if she's ugly, it's irrelevant. But an ugly man can become handsome if he has money and status. An ugly woman with status he's and money handsome. is not necessarily attractive to men. Well, he's not so, handsome. He just got money. Can, can I please I'm sorry. Finish? So that's what I'm trying to say is that a female success is not the same as a woman's success. So <laughs> it's great for a woman to be successful. That's great for her. But it does not make her sexier is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So then... Men, like you guys prefer bums. You guys prefer bum bitches. It's not that low self esteem bum bitches. No, fuck. This, no like, it's it's not that. It's, it's not that. that men do not look for a woman's ability to provide security. They don't. Okay, well, what about like into? I got sorry. Like, what about um it education? Like, it's fine, Chris. Just just leave it up, bro. Chris. <laughs> it's like, <man. laughs> okay, Chris. No. Sound check. You also made the point about education as well. A man yeah, doesn't care about I education. That. Yeah. So what I'm saying so. is that what do women look for in men? I mean, education, it could be one thing as well. Um Thick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, essentially, yeah, that's also one thing. But also ambition. I'll boil to... it down for you. All these things that you've said, ambition, security, money, whatever it is, it all boils down to security. A woman wants to be able to be with a man that can provide and has ex- excess resources to take care of her and her children. If we were to boil down what women look for in men, that is the primary thing is security. It's been that way since the beginning of time. This is why, you know, kings and sultans and men of high status have always had a multitude of women. Why? Because very few men were able to provide this level of security. Yeah. So the rich goes all the spoils, right? So the winner goes all the spoils, as they would say. That's how it operates when it comes to dating and relationships with women. So the guys at the top get all the girls because women are comfortable sharing a man if he's high value enough. Look at Chris Brown. Look at sta- yeah, r- rappers. Chris look Brown. at athletes. You can make that face, but the reality is when you go to a nightclub, where are all the women concentrated? In the VIP. When you go to a music video, why are there 100 girls there mm-hmm. and maybe five guys? Why is this since the beginning of time, right? The kings and everyone else had all the women. Even though I know it doesn't sound good to say it, the reality is Women look for security in men. And unfortunately, not every man can provide that level of security to women. So women have to do what? Share. Okay? So women look for security in men. Men look for beauty, youth, and fertility in women. So we're looking for different things. A man does not look for security. Can you please stop? (laughs) Men don't look for security in women. A successful woman brings security, but men aren't looking for that. I think security should be a bonus, though. A two-income household is going to be better than a one-income household. Sure. Something can happen to you, and then you have your woman to help back you up. Sure. Okay, you don't want just a woman that just sits there and be pretty. I'm sorry, but that's does not that is not enough to make you a good woman. That is never going to be enough. Okay. You have to have a brain behind that. Behind everything that's going on that's really pretty, at least have some thought process. That, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Some thought process that's going on. <laughs> Maybe you didn't have to go to college. Maybe college was not... Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe college was not your own specific vocation, but shit at least educate yourself on something you know don't just be you know being a bad bitch it just isn't enough sometimes or honestly i think being educated does 
entail in being a bad bitch. I well, when you ask the question, remember, so you prefaced it with successful, higher earning men, right? Yeah. Okay. So if a man earns a lot of money, why would he care how much money his girl makes? It's just a, it's a, it's a help. It's a help just in case anything care. happens. He doesn't care. That's, that, that's what you don't understand is that when a man makes a certain amount of money, the more money a man makes, the less he cares about his woman's ability to make money. So a good, so what you're saying to me is a good man is going to want a woman that just completely has no interest in doing anything with her own life. I only never trusting said in that you, you're not, you, you're, you're kind of hearing what you want to hear and you're not accepting the reality of what I'm telling you. I'm saying as a man earns more money, his propensity to care about a woman that earns money goes down with it. Okay. If I've what, worked what really man? hard and I'm a boss and I've, and I've built an empire, okay. I'm not necessarily com concerned with building an empire with someone else when I already have mine. The woman can move in. I've already built the castle. She can come in and decorate it and put drapes and stuff like that. But the reality <laughs> is I've already built the castle. Men do not look at security like women do. And I need you for two seconds to step out of thinking like a woman and think like a man. We're very different in how we operate. It's just that women have the privilege and the benefit to not have to care about what it's like to be a man because the men come to you. But men, however, have to know how women think to get women. Because if you're a lion, and you want to hunt, you have to know how your prey moves. You have to know their weak points. You have to know what they like, what they don't like, etc. So men that are good with women, by default, have to know what women want and what is attractive. Women, however, you guys kind of get the privilege to, I don't give a fuck. I'm a woman. He coming to me. I don't give a shit. The prey isn't concerned with the predator's uh, struggle to understand said prey. So that's why what I'm saying to you right now sounds like Chinese and it doesn't make sense because you're looking at the world from a female lens you're not looking at it from a male lens i don't agree i don't i think i do see what you don't you're have saying. to agree no, but it's okay okay yeah maybe i don't have to agree but i think that you're talking about a specific like sector i don't know if remember right you word. that's how you preface the question yeah. you're talking about higher earning men right yeah but you this said, is a specific sector of high earning men that have this sort of thought process they all think like this. Not not. All. they just won't no. tell you that they just aren't no. going to tell you all is a very you want to know why they're not going to tell you off. look at your face right now Look at her reactions earlier. No, because I was talking when, about something else. When, uh, <laughs> I was thinking about something else. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> the reason why men don't talk like this or why you don't think men think like this is because it's very politically incorrect and rude. And how do I say this? How, oh, the word. Misogyny. You get hit with that anytime you speak like this. So men don't speak like this and don't tell the truth because they're going to be shamed, ridiculed, or lose their job or career and or even canceled for speaking this way. Anything that criticizes women is looked at as misogyny and or fucked up and politically incorrect. So that's why you don't hear this. But this is how these guys think. This is how the upper echelon of men operate. They want a beautiful woman by their side that shuts up and doesn't embarrass them in public. That's the cold, hard truth. Men Should are very simple. Public? It's been that way since the beginning of time. <clears throat> that's what it is. It's just that it's not put out there because you can get in a lot of trouble for speaking this way. There's a reason why we have 7,000 plus watching us live, because it's very rare for women to hear this from a guy. So when we tell them this, a lot of women give the same reaction, which I don't blame you. You know what I'm saying? Like you've had, well, how old are you? You're 20. 23. Yeah. So you've been going through your life, 23 years old. A guy's probably never been open and honest about this is what men really want from women. And unfortunately, oh, it puts women in an unflattering light a little bit. It kind of goes back to prehistoric times. You know, it puts them in a more submissive role that women aren't necessarily appreciative of well what's wrong with me having a career what's wrong with me earning money what's wrong with me being educated there's nothing wrong with it go ahead i actually encourage women all the time to get their degree and become successful but i need women to understand your success does not make you sexy a man's success makes him sexy but your success does not make you sexy what make us sexy Mara? A... i want to know yo, i want to get a yo, man yo man. I get a yo, man. yo 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 for real sexy no for real Stop interjecting. I want to know. I'm That's going to be your last warning. Okay. You're going to get an opportunity to ask your question or whatever, but this is starting to get ridiculous now. Don't worry. You're next in uh I'm really talks, trying to be okay. patient with you, man. I really am. I just want to know what makes a six. All right. Well, well, He's up on, on, on a henny, right? I've, I've already said it, man. I've already said it plenty of times. Again, please. I need to know. Well, no, just, just, just stop, wait till man. Just stop. Just bro. wait till just stop. your turn, okay? Just stop. Right. We're, we're almost done. Just stop. We're almost done. So, just relax. So men aren't looking for the same things in women that women are looking for in men. That's all I'm saying. Makes sense. Women want money, security, confidence, ambition, etc. Men want a submissive feminine woman that's not going to give them a headache. 
what well, I'm sorry, like what you were sure. saying earlier was um, that, yeah, men would like a woman to stay quiet and not embarrass them. I mean, equally, I don't want a man to embarrass me. I don't want to hear that, you know, the guy that I'm with is, I don't know, fucking like three different girls or that he's talking shit behind my back saying like, oh, yeah, this girl ain't shit, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear that. You know, it goes two ways. Embarrassment. I can embarrass my man, but my man can embarrass me. And it doesn't really have anything to do with a masculinity or a femininity thing. It's just decency. That's all it is. You have to respect each other. <sighs> embarrassment for a man is going to be different than embarrassment for a woman, man. It's, it's going to be it's like a woman. You can say, oh, I, I don't want to be embarrassed by my, by my guy. But for cheating, let's say for cheating, right? If you're one of the, with a certain level of guy. You're gonna have to accept the fact that he's gonna fuck other girls. Mm-hmm. Yep. I will say one thing about See, it. That's um, another uncomfortable reality women don't understand. Even if it eventually stops, it's it's like in the initial. What's I'm sorry, but like, what is the point of me? And I'm not gonna say that this is gonna change my whole perspective on anything. But what is the point of me trying to be a good woman, trying to be subordinate to my man or anything like that when he's just gonna go ahead and cheat on me at the end of the day? That. Whether I'm the main chick or the side chick, either way, a main yeah. chick, like... Yeah. I'm Are we still... talking about high-value men? Because remember, yeah. I'm going off this uh, this this high-status guy that you started the question with. Yeah, a high-value man. A high-value man. But, like, I, to me, that is not a high-value man. I'm sorry, but, like, if I'm going to be the main chick, like, to me, Hell that's yeah. telling me that there's a side chick. I'm just getting extra bonuses. That's it. Extra benefits from it. Okay. So... I don't, I don't want to share a man at the end of the day. Let's do some f- simple numbers. Well, we already showed you here what the caliber of men that, that we... Y- the, these higher status men, they're rare, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there's beautiful women everywhere. Yeah. So who has the leverage? Doesn't matter. It's called uh, answer the question. Who has the leverage? <laughs> please use mm-hmm. logic. Please. I want you to use logic here, not your Gallant feelings. Felix. Who has the leverage? The men do. Okay. I'll answer for you. Because supply and demand, basic economics. Mm. The more scarce something is, the rare, the, the, the more, uh, more it goes up in value. Correct? Mm-hmm. So these men are rare and hard to come by. Beautiful women are not. So what happens? All the women, like I said before, as we saw earlier with pineapple and you know all your guys' standards, you guys eliminated most men in your standards. Mm-hmm. So inadvertently, what you've done is you've given leverage to the sa- these same high value men that are, you're going to say are cheating. So I would say men are as faithful as their options. So if a guy has the ability to cheat, he's going to do it, whether you know it or not. We tell guys on this podcast, if you're going to run around and smash other chicks, you should let your girl know. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But most guys aren't going to do that. It is what it is. So we tell girls, prepare for the rain. It's going to come. If you deal with a guy that earns a certain amount of money, has a certain level of status, he's going to fuck other girls because he can. So what advice would you give? So a high value man, either way, 98% of chance he's going to cheat, right? Yep. Are you telling women to go after a lower value man because he's just not going to cheat? You have two options. You can either get this higher status guy and accept the fact that you're going to have to share him sexually. Which isn't that big a deal. It's actually a W for you. Because remember, men and women are not the same. We can have sex and still love our girl the same. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, See? That's what, what I'm saying. No, yeah. But, See, no, but, like, look at her face. You can no, just be getting her face where's, on this. Where's the psychology yeah, behind yeah. that? Where's the, where's well, the facts behind well, that? It's, it's biological. How many kids can you bring to term per year? Two. Yeah, one. One. Two of his twins, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the that, that average girl. Yeah. Like, so, come on, girls. Yeah. So you could bring one child to term per year, right? So obviously you're going to be extremely invested in the person that you have sex with, right? Because it, it's a, you're going to be pregnant for nine months and vulnerable, right? Mm-hmm. How many kids can I bring to term per year? Um, as many as you can. Exactly. As many as you want. Sperm is cheap. Eggs are expensive. So that translates over to sex. That's why men have high libido. That's why men have more, more testosterone. That's why men can have sex detached. Because in the ide- ideology of procreation, we don't have to invest much to have sex, but you guys do. So men and women don't look at sex the same. For men, it's strictly physical. For women, there's emotional ties to it. So if your man is taking care of you, protecting you, you have the last name, you have the ring, you have the children, whatever it is, and he runs out and has sex with some dumb hoe, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Because sex for men is like taking a piss. The reason why you don't understand this is because you're looking at it from a female lens. If you love a man, you would never cheat on him, correct? 100%, yeah. Yes, because women are not capable of cheating on a man that they love, but men are capable of cheating on a woman that they love because we show loyalty differently. And that's the biggest mistake women make is they think that loyalty between men and women is symmetrical. 
it's asymmetrical. A man shows you loyalty by willing to die for you, protect you, sharing his resources with you, giving children to you, and that emotional investment. A woman shows loyalty by what? Not fucking other people. We show our loyalty and love completely differently. And I need women to understand that we are different. That's the way it's been since the beginning of time. Women have accepted this since the beginning of time. That's why we have the society that we have. And things aren't going to change just because of social norms. We've been programmed like this for a millennia. We're not the same. Cheating for a man is not the same as cheating for a woman. And a man having sex with a lot of women is not the same as a woman having sex with a lot of men. Men are capable of having sex with women while being married and still loving their wife the same. Bing bong. Oh, Myra, right. bring us home Stop. Sure. Next. I was about to. Okay, so I 100% no, uh, uh, agree on the biological differences and everything going on. That's 100% correct. I can't debate you on that. But it's also like we're out of the. You know, this isn't Adam and Eve anymore. Like, listen, it's, it's, Chris, it's Chris, man. Go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, like we're out of that age now. You know, there's no need to repopulate the earth or worry about all this procreation. You know, you guys are educated now. It's we're we're mm -hmm. in year 2021. Okay, you should learn your own self control. I don't understand that. That's you know, don't think with your dicks. You have Question. a brain. You have a brain, don't you? Fair it enough. Is, yeah. Fair enough. When we Jack asked you earlier off. on the when we asked you earlier on the um on the calculator to describe your man, you pick traits of a man that's superior to you, taller than you, makes more money than you, etc. Mm. Even though you live in an educated world and things have changed and you can get your equal, <laughs> what do you defer to? You defer to your bird brain of, I want a man that's going to be able to provide security. I say it all the time. Social constructs, what you're talking about, education, modern times, blah, 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 does not adhere to reality. You've been programmed for a millennia to operate and think a certain way when it comes to mate selection. Men are the same way. So I'm telling you, men are designed to spread their seed far and wide. Women are designed to protect their egg for the best mate. That's mm -hmm. how it is. I don't make the rules. I'm just telling you. So we can sit here and say, that's not right. That's fucked up. Whatever. Reality is amoral. Then, okay, what? Well, so a traditional man wouldn't exactly be a good man. That's what I'm hearing. Because I, I hear you have used that term a lot, a traditional man. And then a traditional woman is a woman with, who has morals. So, what, yeah, like, what is a traditional man? man? Yeah, like, what does a traditional man mean? You, you, That means that you can just let go of your morals? That doesn't make you that traditional. I'm sorry. It really doesn't. I mean, I mean, you're... The thing is, is that I'm simply saying that women want a man that's going to be traditional, that's going to be chivalrous, protect them, you know, hold the door open, all this other stuff. But it's not a good bet for a guy to be traditional when modern day women aren't necessarily traditional themselves. Well, I'm not I'm not talking about like the modern day woman at the moment. I'm just talking about like the traditional man in the sense that like if let's just say he's getting me and I'm a traditional woman. I'm being traditional for this guy. Are you saying you actually, you yourself, or are you saying like hypothetically a woman that's traditional? I'll say me. I'll say me. Like me. Okay. Are you a virgin? Okay, you're not traditional. Story, story ends there. A virgin, boy. I get the fuck out of here. That's what you're talking about. You're a traditional person. The traditional. If we're going to talk traditional about tradition. Hold on, hold on. Stop. Can you, can you stop, man? Yes. Right. Since the beginning of time, men have had a huge interest in a woman's virginity and sexual past why? why does a woman wear a white dress when she walks down the aisle it's just a it's a it's a whole tradition that's like it's a purity forever. it's purity yeah thank you purity why she's a virgin but why is that so important i don't know so much anymore let's pull let's peel the layers back why is that important clean untouched yeah why is that important though i don't know i don't know it's I really because i know you stop man god damn it well, I, I bro really know what Myron gonna say. You keep talking and you're talking. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, God I'm damn it. I gotta say it, man. Damn, bro. Curse friends. Curse you are you are being like extremely <sighs> disruptive really to the show. Know. I really want to know. Yeah, well, I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna answer right now. But I'm seeing if you guys know to see what the body of knowledge is like. Okay. I just don't, I just don't understand. Well, I'm please. gonna answer right now. Please. Okay, come on. The reason why men care so much about a woman's sexual past and her virginity is because they want to know that the kid is theirs. If you're a virgin and you're untouched, I know that when you become pregnant, it's my kid. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's that... why men are so concerned with that. Okay. That's a good point. Except where, what year are we in 2021? There's DNA evidence. You can do a forensic test. What did I say well, before? Is it forensic? What, what, what did I tell you that's before? DNA test. What, <laughs> what, what did I tell you before? We're programmed from a, a millennia. Social constructs. I'm going to say this again. Please listen. Social constructs, 
It's 2021, DNA testing. We got all this education, modern day woman, feminism. Social constructs don't adhere to reality. You're saying be realistic. Let's be completely realistic. No, it's 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 that it's it's that <laughs> you can we don't we we're not programmed like it's 2021. Human beings are not programmed like it's 2021. We're programmed from a millennia of being on earth. We didn't have DNA testing and the ability to ensure paternity like we do now. It's only in modern day times that we have this. So how did men protect and ensure that the kid was theirs in the past? They married virgins. So your question, will, don't worry, okay, we'll get a chance. Okay, so that's how men were able to ensure that the kid was theirs. They married a virgin. The father gave the daughter to the man and the man impregnated her and he knew that it was his kid. Question, what is your deepest, darkest fear? I don't know, getting locked in, like, I don't know, getting locked somewhere. Like in a for, trunk, like, maybe? Being I don't know, for, like, somewhere, like, really, like, like, okay. like no one ever. Claustrophobic, right? Maybe getting locked in, in, a, in a trunk with, by a serial killer and he's running around driving and you're thinking, like, damn, is this guy going to kill me? What the hell's going on? No, like, I'm thinking, like, being trapped somewhere and, like, no one finding me forever. And, like, I just die there. Okay, like, cool. You want to know every man's biggest fear? Raising a child that he thought was his for 18 years and finding out that it wasn't? I was thinking, like, getting your dick cut off, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, so like, so that that's, and, and I say that just so see that same fear you had and that pain that from like potentially being locked in a tight space that you're not comfortable with. That's how men feel about raising a child that isn't theirs. It's a very deep rooted fear in men that's ingrained into us. That is why men care so much about a woman's past and why they don't want to wife up a woman that has a past. Okay. You don't have to like, like it, or it might not be fair, or you might not even agree with it, but it is the truth. What I just told you. Mm -hmm. Right. That's right. why men don't care about a woman's ability to earn. We're very different in how we look at everything, you know? It's just that we live in this crazy Mickey, uh, this clown world where we try to tell women, oh, men and women are equal. We're the same. We think the same. We operate the same. We should have sex the same. We're not, man. We're really, really not. And we're not attracted to the same either. I think we lie to women. And I think it's kind of scary that a lot of girls don't know this, but it's fine. Like, you can't say this type of shit because you get canceled. Wait, what do we lie about? What do we lie about? All right. I, I didn't say y'all lied. I said yeah, society lie lies to women. About All right. Uh, okay, sorry, we're sorry. gonna move on. Uh, uh, comments uh, from uh, super chats real quick. Uh, super chats. Okay. Yo, guys, yeah. please like the video. <laughs> There's uh eight thousand y'all in here right now, or yeah, seven on YouTube, seventy five hundred on Twitch, uh, another five hundred. So, uh, how many likes we have, Chris? Uh, we have four point three. Guys, can you get us up to at least seven thousand, bro? Chris, uh, fresh is is Yo, tight. This is stressful, bro. <laughs> <laughs> please like the video. Uh, all right. So we got here uh ten bucks. Abdul twenty five. The Mumu fool with the can is bugging. Enjoy the fame while you can, because in five years, they'll sag like a cantaloupe in a plastic bag. At your best, you'll be the village bicycle. Hope the rubber break. Yeah. You guys. Was he talking to me? Yeah, he was talking to you. Uh, plug, in plug in your mic. Plug in your mic. Chris, yeah. She yeah. should to respond. Hey, come on, Chris. Thank you. I mean, you can leave it, you can leave it on clip. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. Fuck you, Chris. I, mean... I didn't know it was on clip. Okay, so go back to Abdul's comments so I can refer to what he was referring to. He he just he just said that. Uh, <laughs> Why would my boobs continue to sag? It's just a weird comment. Village idiot, gravity. whatever. It takes a village to race. All right, Fresher Fit. Thank you for being motivation that got me to a six figures of starting my channel on real estate investing. Hey, bro, hey good, good shit, job, bro. man. Hey, man. Yeah, shout out to you, bro. Good news, bro. Real estate is the way. Hit me up. No, uh, C A R Master uh, Roshi. Uh, Master Roshi, uh, all the way. I think that's South Africa. Yeah, I'm shout sorry, out to South Africa. Yeah, watching. South African Great show, gents. Watch one of Donovan's shows about guys capping. Ninety nine percent of uh, the guys in the chat would smash all the girls in the panel. One thing I know about the guy who smashed regularly is that they don't whine about women. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got a lovely panel of ladies here. Looks wise. Uh, Jay Martin, twenty bucks. I never thought this would happen. She's made me hate strippers. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Get Emotion, fuck out of here. big boob bimbo hurt my head the whole show. The table is the relationship and what you bring to the table or relationship are the traits that determine your value. Valuable men value your value to them, plain and simple. Yeah, I think. So I, what do I, what am I supposed to bring to the table? If you don't know that stuff. Mac and cheese, a fucking candy dams, titties, <laughs> ass. What do, you, what do you want me to bring? Fuck you, nigga. Uh, Food and Garfield, sex. Bitch. Calm, peace, orgasm. You want lasagna, ho. Garfield, lasagna. <laughs> Shit. All right, cool. All right, go ahead. All right, Garfield Bania no more rides. from Norway. This was a great show because how the men in the audience are feeling is how you feel when you're married. Done it twice. If you want a companion, get a dog. If you want a wife, get a life. Okay. Wow. <laughs> 20 bucks. Yeah, here. Uh, hey, shout out to Myron for sacrificing his hair follicles for extreme patience. We got y'all. You go, my wrong. Alex H. What up, Fresh and Fit? I've been working on getting in shape. I'm down 20 and a half pounds. Uh, and, wait, sorry. 20 pounds and a, uh, one, one, and a half months. one and a half months. And need 15 pounds more to hit my goal. Congratulations. 
I work out four times a week and hit the sauna 40 minutes. I'm in it listening. Any tips on how I can progress? Um, you know, hit me up on Instagram, unplug fit, bro. Uh, you know, as you get closer and closer to your fitness goal, you have to take more and more overt steps to lose weight. So I am taking clients on. So hit me up if you want. I don't advertise like that, but if you're serious about it, let me know. Bougie, 10 bucks, Myron, get her out, bro. You need three more zeros, Bougie. We said 10,000 or 10,000? 10,000. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Two Ninja. Oh, hey, guys, I used to calculate. I used the calculator on myself just to see how rare I am. I resulted to 1%. Doesn't make sense. I'm 42, not married, not obese. 78K. Hey. Thank you, Five Mr. Two Ninja T. Yeah, so you are rare, my friend. David K, actual fact. No, you're not. One in three men are raising kids they think are theirs and they aren't. That's in today's modern 304 health. You catch that? Mm. I'm sorry. I, I was, yeah. But my Ron, we're going to talk after this. So we're going to talk. I, I told you before, a man's biggest fear is raising kids that he thought was his, but weren't, right? Understandably. He's saying that one in three men are raising children that aren't biologically theirs. Is that actually like, is that a That's real fact yeah. or is that just something That's he made up right now? Yeah, like, no, it's, it's, a, it's a stat. It's actual. We're, he's saying it's an actual fact. It is. It is. It is a DNA test. But, um, wait. So then if they don't know that the kid is theirs, they just, they, how how was how how was this like? How where there's did you get this? There's a couple of countries where it's actually illegal for the man to biologically test DNA. Yeah. France is one of them. Really? really? That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, typically it's in or or there's huh. or there's laws against it where men aren't necessarily uh, entitled to paternity tests. Wow. Well, honestly, women will get mad if you question them on the validity of their kid being theirs. And honestly, yeah. if the girl's getting mad about a paternity test, she doesn't know. She belongs in the streets. Yeah. yeah. But that's yeah. what we're trying to tell you is that this, I tried is, getting my this is the world that we're in now where things have th things have changed. And it, it, it's it's crazy to me. We live in a world now, right, where, you know, we have this rape hysteria, Me Too movement. Everyone's running around. Oh, my God. Guys are out here. You know, pigs, misogynists are pigs. They're touching women and raping and all this other stuff. We did a whole episode on that, you know, th about these figures. Oh, one in five women, a.k.a. 20 percent of women is, you know, going to be a victim of some kind of you know, absolutely sexual assault on campus. That's actually false. We we did a whole podcast where we debunked the 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 the, the um the Me Too hysteria. I don't know it's my wrong because it happened please to me. Please stop! Please fucking stop! Just because it happened to you does not necessarily mean it happens to all the other women. I'm saying that it is not as prevalent as women say. If you are a victim of it, my condolences. But I'm saying, and a balance of probabilities, it doesn't happen as often as it people say it does to women, right? So. The thing is, is that we 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 hyper sensationalize, right? This Me Too era, met women being sexually assaulted, which is a very serious crime, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Don't think that we're here to downplay it. Any guy that does that should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, right? But we don't give a fuck about men's fears of raising children on raising children that they thought was theirs, um, and they're still doing it, and they're not even entitled to paternity tests, mm. and it's not criminalized when a woman traps you and or gives you fake paternity tests and or paternity fraud. It's a real thing, but it's not a crime. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to sit here and cry and be like, oh my God, men's rights, oh, this is fucked up. But it just goes to show you the uh, crazy world that we're in where men don't, no one really gives a fuck about men. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It is what it is. Men are designed to overcome and, you know, try, uh, uh, you know, just truck through it. But we sensationalize something that isn't necessarily as prevalent as people say. But we undermine something that is actually very mm -hmm. common with guys raising children that aren't their own and not even being able to know. Or mm -hmm. all the guys that, you know, get hit uh, with divorce and don't get to see their kids or whatever. All this mm -hmm. stuff is laughed at and mocked, at, you know. And that's just what it is. He's just simply saying it's true. Like a lot of guys raise kids that they thought were theirs that aren't, man. And there's not really any recourse for it. So that's so sad. Yeah. What's the big deal? All right, next. Check we just told you it's criminalized in some places. So we're, in America, we're doing America, the comments America, or questions still. Test. And it's and it's and it's still it's it's yeah, DNA test. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking to the camera. Yeah, it it you it, it's not as easy as you think. Like there's is if you try to tell your girl I want to do a DNA test or whatever, guys nine out of ten times have to do it surreptitiously. Because usually, I, if, if a guy asked me, I would do it. So I don't I don't. But it's a lot hard of women are going to conceptualize. Are you a mom already? Be okay with that though. Huh? Are you a mom? Court. I'm not a mom. But okay. Moms do rabbits. Yeah, I mean, if you were with a man for 10, 20 years. Right, and he tells you, "Hey, I want a paternity test." Hell You're gonna yeah. feel some type of way about that. I, I would be like, "Sure," because I have nothing to hide. No, that's easy for you to say in 2020 hindsight. But as the woman being asked for the paternity test after you've been with a man for a significant amount of time, you are gonna feel some type of way about that. Does anybody guilty or not? Here? I feel you're gonna feel case? some type of way about that. Even if you're not guilty, you're gonna still feel some type of way. So yeah. guys don't want that confrontation. They're gonna think it's their kid. Um, Should I go XP? 
Chad goes, B, how do you tell a good girl, or I assume she is, that may want a relationship that you don't want to be in one, but you would like to be friends with benefits? Let me know. And thanks. Tell what? her. Just tell her. Be honest, straight up. Translation, he he doesn't want to lose sexual access. That's why he doesn't want to do it. Because he knows once he tells her that, she's going to walk away. Yeah. 10 bucks, little ba. Shout out to Myron for showing a lot of patience. Alexandra is super pretty with those bangs and that Aww. lipstick. And she seems sweet and feminine. Drop your Instagram. Um, It's kind of hard to... <laughs> It's Tallulah Bow. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's down, it's it's down, down below. below. It's down below. Yeah, I remember typing but it up. Thank and I was you like, though. what the hell? Her yeah, Instagram is fire. Send your dick pic there. Thank uh, you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you the dick little Ba. Uh, yeah. Uh, shout to. Oh, no. Sorry. We read that one. Shout thank you. Thank you, Little Ba. Oscar Castro. The girl in the back who keeps yapping the type of girl to jump over a glass wall to see what's on the other side. Hey, maybe I'm it's a frosted it. glass I'm wall. Like, just, just 10 bucks. You, you can, can tell, tell whose parents, parents didn't, didn't make, make them. them listen or do consequences as kids. <laughs> All right. No juice to juice. Your picture ain't even crop. All right. Well. All right. Chicago, Miss Chicago, what's your? What, <laughs> are, does that does that answer your question? By the way. Yeah. I know. I know. It was like maybe offensive or whatever, but it's the truth, man. It's like. Oh, yeah. All right. You're entitled. You're entitled, yeah. You're entitled to your right. she, She's fine. It, it's not an opinion. Mara. It's fact, though. Yeah, she's she's fine. It, stop, Chris. It's not an opinion. It's fact. With all due respect. All right. I mean, you don't have to like it, but it does not change the fact that it is a fact. I actually do have. One question. Okay. Uh, I was. I'm just based on something that she was saying, or no, something you were saying. I just like it. Mind fuck me. Maybe I didn't. Go ahead before she forgets. Okay. You okay. Go. okay I was gonna I'll, say. Yeah. We'll just, All right. Okay. We'll just come around. Okay. So you were saying something about men, and then when they cheat on women, it's different the way that men cheat versus the way that women cheat. But that men, uh, it's the way they show their loyalty. I, I didn't get that. Can you re-explain that? Okay. So women tend to look at loyalty through their own lens, and what I'm saying is that loyalty for men and loyalty for women are two different things. A woman shows loyalty through fidelity, not having sex with other people, okay. right? That's her primary way to show fidelity. A man shows his loyalty by protecting, providing, and being willing to die for said woman okay. and sharing his resources. So we show loyalty in two different ways. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. think about it. What commodity does a man bring to a relationship? Security, right? right. Yeah. What commodity does a woman bring to a relationship? Gucci. Sexuality? Just, yeah. So okay. it's it's what you're doing is you're basically exchanging said value with the other and you're agreeing, right, to some degree of that that value, that commodity is exclusive to that partner. Okay. Right? Sorry. I mean, because because a woman, I mean, think about it. Th think about it like if you're with a guy that you truly love and, and respect, can you have sex with another guy? No. You would probably don't even see the other guys, right? No. But for us, if we're married to a girl, even if we love, respect, and admire her, you're still going to have an eye for other women. <laughs> You're still well, yeah. going to want to have sex with other women. Uh, but and I'm not saying that's right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's right. I could see that happening because I but feel like it's just it's just how I it also goes. I think that we're human. So sure. Um, I mean, you know, I've been in relationships where no, I I have never cheated. Uh, that is the honest truth. But um, there's times where if I notice a very beautiful man, I would even tell my boyfriend, like, he's pretty beautiful. <laughs> and, then, and that's that i don't know but there's a difference between that and then like checking them out like because oh, because women women don't put as much stake into uh looks as men do i, I would I, so i'll make i'll make it simple for you like a, a, a woman's looks right like are very important to a man but a man's looks aren't necessarily as important to a woman if a guy's a bum and lives with his mom and smokes weed every day but he's attractive you might have sex with them once, but you ain't gonna take him seriously, right? No, girls. Do so that. it's like, so can you please stop? I'm sorry, Mara. I'm just saying. Fuck. So no, I wouldn't take him. Seriously. Yeah, so it's, we're we're just different. We don't look at you know looks and sex. We don't we don't look at things the same way. So men and women are very different, and we show our loyalty differently as well. There's a byproduct of that. Now, am I saying that it's okay for guys to run around and fuck girls? No, I ain't saying that. He should honestly be on, he should be honest with you and tell you, hey, I want to step out and have sex with other girls, but most guys aren't going to tell you that. So all I'm telling you is that. When you deal with a guy of a certain level, high earner, good looking guy, whatever it is, what comes with the territory is that's you're going to have to share level. him. Okay. You're going to have to share him. Now, if you want a guy that's going to be more loyal to you and faithful, you're going to have to deal with a more average man. But here's the catch. Women don't really like average guys, especially in today's modern day society. Every woman thinks that she's entitled to a six foot three guy that makes $100,000 a year and he's going to be loyal to her. And I laugh at that because that's not the way the world works. Yeah. No, I got mixed up between the average and the, I'm thinking average and I'm like, whoa, okay. Well, average guy could cheat on you too. Yes, yeah. yes. So, so it's I was always so the gross. ugly ones, too. Yeah. I was so gross. Get the best that. guy you can get and accept true. it from him. Always the fucking ugly guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Men typically are going to be as faithful as their options. So, 
it, you know, it, you might as well just get the best guy that you can get, except the fact that he fucks other girls. But you got the Bentley, you got the house, you got the status. You and I get my, and I get my nigga, and I get, I get a side nigga too. How about that? <laughs> Bye, Ron. Okay. I get my side nigga too, my Ron. Now what? Doesn't work that way. Okay, but well, now what if I do have my side nigga? What he gonna do? He's gonna drop. He's you. gonna leave you. Okay, now I got the. I'm not gonna say it. Sorry. Because the side guy is it gonna? It's fine, Chris. 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 It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing? You're gonna unplug he was, it. He's gonna take your mic away. Unplug. Unplug. It's fine. I'm not gonna do it. I don't want to break. I don't want to break any equipment. All right. All right. I answered her thing. Did you have something you want to say something before you forget it? I, I honestly, I feel like I've got enough camera time. I want to let other people speak, but I'll come back. We can come back. No, tomorrow. because I don't want you interjecting anymore. So say what you want to say from before, and you had a point that you want to make. I, I just feel like you know, I don't really feel like it's good faith that we didn't include like the women's. Uh, calculation and also it's like can we do like a control variable or it's like maybe we do a man who is the average man in America who's five foot six we just described them to you but I want to see what his chances are as a woman like I want to I want to put it in the calculator wait what like you know the calculator you we don't did? have that okay okay All right, that's fine if you don't no have no no, no. I mean but but this this the, the reason why there does uh, a male calculator doesn't exist is because men are not as choosy as women I understand that because they, they have more sex drive but men, but yeah, but I mean, I mean, yeah, that's a part of the reason why they're not as choosy. But men are not as choosy as women. And men, honestly. But also, I feel like you know, you say that oh, a man's worst nightmare is raising a child that's not his. But it's like, a man is the one who got the woman pregnant. She didn't get him pregnant. The man got the woman pregnant. He nutted in her. He decided to choose to take the condom off because it don't matter to us the feeling if the condom's off or on. You're missing. The it point. was his idea to take the condom. You're missing off. the point. If I have sex with a girl and she's my girl. And she's pregnant. And yes. I think the child is mine. And then I find out later that someone else had sex with her and it's not my kid. And I've been raising that kid and I thought it was mine. That's going to cause a certain type of rage and fury. Yeah, y'all should break up. She wrong for that shit. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's every man's deepest fear. That's Yeah, that's my deepest fear too. That's every should be everybody's deepest fear. That's a cheating partner. That's fucked up. But, but you already, you benefit though. You're, yeah, it's a why fear Why would I you. benefit from having a next nigga take care of my kid? I want, I want my child. Because I'm not talking, yo. This isn't about you, man. Can we, this isn't right. about you. Let's move Sorry, on. I shouldn't this be self-inserting. My bad. Okay, this fine, is not let's about move you. On, this, this is about this is about like in general, men don't want to raise a kid that they thought was theirs and isn't. That's why men care about a woman's past. That's why a girl that's a hoe is not going to be able to lock down a certain type of guy because men are very interested in a woman's past, just like a woman is interested in a man's future. I don't know why you don't understand this concept that men don't, don't like women that have a promiscuous a past. Maybe she not, not about men. Maybe will. I'm a woman. Maybe I'm a woman. That's okay. why I don't understand. You're and that's the problem. I'm giving you the male perspective and you refuse to listen. No, because I just, it's hard for me to understand as a woman. It's really hard for me to grasp that as a woman. But I am listening to you. It's very no, you're different. Because you're, you've been asking the same questions it's, over and over and interjecting it's really, it's ridiculous really points. Because it's really new to me. It's really like a new concept to me. Like all this stuff. I never, I'm sorry. I never watch a show. I'm sorry. I'm not really too. I mean, it's not about the show. show. It's, it's it's honestly like this is all this is is evolutionary. But biology. it's new information. Like I don't hear I mean, this. It's stuff. evolutionary biology. You went to college, right? Yes, I did. But we, I went to college for class. political science. I didn't go do science. I did political science. I mean, but this is history, this philosophy. Is, this is basic uh, biological. This is this is basic biology. I didn't do here. biology in college. So that's why I, I mean, I even if you're talking about political science, you'd go through all the sociology, psychology. No, we didn't do psychology. It, we did history and political science and philosophy and women and gender studies. So okay. Okay, you didn't do that, but a lot of political science I degrees. Like Tennessee University of Miami shit. Okay, as that's a woman that's college fine. educated, you should know these things at least to a remedial level. Um, that by I know I know difference in 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 male and female biology and sex drive. I definitely know that. I definitely know that things such as like set, uh, porn and things like that are for the male gaze, and even even strip clubs are for the male, uh, you know, sex drive because like how come the feet? How come women sex? Uh, like gay um or male strip clubs don't have that same pull and that same thing with the female audience you know what i'm saying so I because women sex is easy for women to get and get access to so they don't necessarily have to pay for it They're no because i feel like women's women's sexual fantasy is not related to dick it's related to literally feeling protected it's related to like that storyline it's related to like that roaming yes which and is why men is just dick and pussy they don't which care which is why yes men are very visual women are women get More turned like, on in the mind yeah. that's why 50 shades of gray yes is byron that's what i'm saying <laughs> but that's why that proves my point why women don't consume porn and or they're not involved in in like you know supporting Male only fan stars or whatever. Women don't. It's usually men. Stuff. No Tino Shay. Y'all could do only fans and get that bag, but it's 
typically you're going to be performing for a male audience. That proves my point that women don't pay for porn because sex is easily ready available. Exactly, to them. and it's I agree with that, Myron. All right. So, okay, next girl. Let's let other girls talk because you, you t- taught the whole okay, show. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you had a point, or you you want to go first? Does that answer your question? No, go ahead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I I know it looks like a yeah, like fuck reluctantly, but it's like it's the truth. You know? What I'm no, saying? no, I'm just like grasping on it because I guess I'm just like shit. Major points. I'm fuck. <laughs> I hate it too. Where do it's I okay. stand now? Where do I stand now? <laughs> uh, I was gonna ask something. Real sure. Quick. Um, going back to that point that you said about a woman's past, would you say a man's past matters or not? No. All right. Why you not? know what? Let's have fun with it. Let's say uh, me and you were gonna get married, right? Pause. Right. Uh, I wouldn't. So she's a woman. Never mind. So <laughs> hypothetically speaking, right? We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna get married. We're like gonna go on our honeymoon five years, right? It's like, oh man, it's all dreamy, right? And <clears throat> and I, uh, you know, we get to the hotel, check in, and I'm like, all right, baby, I gotta go to the gym. All right, I gotta go. And I just like fucking get the hell out of there, right? Because I'm like Russian, right? Go to the gym. But I leave my phone, and you look at the phone. Oh. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? And you see a ding. You're like, what the fuck? No, I'm and a friend somebody. sends a link. Yo, remember this shit? You're like, what the fuck is this? I don't recognize this number. It's this link. You see, it's a Pornhub link. You click it, and you see, <laughs> 10 years ago, I had sex with seven girls in an orgy. But I would have told him. I would have told, told my shut man. I would have told my man. Yo, shut up. Shut yeah. up, bro. Why you gotta say that word? Because you're ridiculous now. But I would have told my man. I'm gonna tell my man about my past, man. I'm not gonna lie to my man. I'm gonna tell my man about my past. And he can take it for what it is. He can accept me for who I am. But if he don't want to accept me, then you're not gonna be my man because I'm gonna tell him up front. Yo, chat. Tyron. Chat. I'm gonna leave it to y'all, man. It's up to you guys. If you guys want her off the show, give us a one. That's fine. Give me a hell yeah. yeah. Or if you want her to stay, give us a two. I'll go. It's, it's up to y'all, man. They've been, they been waiting for it. So tell us what you guys want. Chris, just click new comments at the bottom. Give me one, bitch. I'll get the fuck out of here. I see a lot of ones and I'll, I'll All right. Uh, All right. It's ones. Sorry, you got to go. I tried, man, but. It's fine. It's absolutely the longest. Uh... Are you going to reimburse me? Wait, time. No. You You're go. not? No. Okay. So how much is it going to be? Because I'm not going to go down. $20? Down no, it's going like, to be like 10 bucks. Man. Okay. I don't know. You make money, right? It's not an issue. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to know. Are you good? Oh, hold on. Oh, my God. I wish I can go get some food. I'm starving. Can you get a drink cast on yourself? Dude. Are you hungry? No, I ate before, actually. Is this how I sounded on the last episode? I ate avocado and eggs. What? Oh, Oh, my God. Why did I go to film her? Pobrecita. Why did I have to do that? Yeah, like, I don't know. You know what, though? Because if you do it, you're doing it to yourself. Look, I've been super extra here. I've been super stoned. I've talked a lot, but, like, there's just some weird shit. Like, you just gotta, like, be quiet. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I agreed with a lot of what she was saying. She needs to, like, I guess. I don't know. She left left, uh, quite fast. But I've never seen fresh fucking food. uh, uh, You want to sit down? Three three hours later. Three in the morning. Damn, bro. Oh, damn. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, about Man. I, I really tried, too, bro. I really, really tried, man. Wow. Like that, that shit is just ridiculous. I really got a headache. Bro, I can't even I was lie. getting annoyed, bro. I thought I, I used to talk a lot. I never get annoyed. Is that how I sounded last time? Damn. Mm, I'm telling you, I've never seen you say that. Yeah, I never get annoyed, ever. That was, oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. She's she, she, she in the show, honestly, bro. I feel like she really just came into our marks and like, hey, so I want to talk now. All right, <laughs> please, uh, no her, Can you please. hear me? Okay. <laughs> like, can, can I get my closing you? remarks? <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, well, 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 yeah, which, yeah, I'm tired. They, they, they didn't get to talk at all. She talked the whole show. Mm. They, they really got to talk. No, yeah, no, we'll definitely do. I was just going to finish my point with, okay. the, with the thing because she was asking about like, why does, does a man's past matter? All right. I just feel bad for y'all because y'all don't get to talk. <laughs> I'm just shocked. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cream, this is on you, man. Okay. So, okay. So, going, going back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. That's who invited her? Oh, I gotta say. Who? Cream oh. invited her? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cream. Uh, out, yo, bo- boss Cream, we, we got we to roast you for this yeah, one. Yeah, that was bad, yo, man. The, the, <laughs> just, all right. The two girls that fresh, that Cream invited, right? <laughs> the first girl fresh, fresh castled out, that was Cream. And as is her. So... Shout out to you, by the way. All right. 
So, um, damn. Yeah. Anyway, I tried. She was talking about tables outside. Too. I'm sorry, on the phone. She's like, I got a table at home. I don't give a fuck about this man's table at no club. I go to the home. This ain't IKEA. So it's like, I think I heard it. Yeah, like, I you heard it too, right? Because then she like walks, like, I'm going to walk outside real quick. Girl. And I'm like, oh, God. Uh, I thought she was going to be funny. She's funny. I she's thought she really was going to be she's funny. Super fun. She's funny. She was funny. But then the like clapping the started and my head started hurting and I just. Damn. Right, right. <laughs> Y'all um, call me ghetto. So, uh, <laughs> all right, I'll finish this thing up. So, okay, so yeah, so you look at the phone, right? And I, um, uh, you click on that link. Oh yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Never mind. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> yeah, move on. Okay. She's she ain't listening Gemini. anyway, bro. <laughs> all right. Your remarks. Then. I mean, um, you want to talk? Going back on like the standards and how men feel like women that have like something behind like education, businesses, mm. so forth, so on, money, anything behind them. Why is it kind of like a pride thing? Like men don't want a woman to feel like, oh, like I can provide a little bit of something too. Maybe I can help them out some. It's a pride thing. No, it's it's uh it's not necessarily a pride thing. It's just that like, you know, a woman's ability to earn and bring security isn't important. Like if I told you, hey, I'm a really snappy dresser. You know what I'm saying? I got a bunch of Louis and I'm like really well dressed and I'm, you know, I do my, my manicures every week and I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm on fleek baby all the time. That might be attractive a little bit. Like it's a bonus, but it's not important. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a critical component of you being attracted to me. But I'm saying like that makes a woman unattractive. It's not that it makes a woman unattractive. It's that it's not important. But unfortunately, a lot of the times, Women that are successful tend to be unattractive because the traits it takes to be successful make you unattractive. So someone that's a high earner, right? Like this woman here, right? This chick that was here. Look at her. Like she was extremely, uh, you know, assertive, loud, dominant, want to control conversations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and she's probably a higher earner, right? But you can see that. That, that personality bleeds out into conversation and interactions with other people. And the thing is, is that men are going to see this, be like, sex only, recreational use. And they're not going to take her serious. <laughs> and the sad part is, no man has probably ever told her, yo, shut the fuck up. This is mad unattractive. Stop acting like this. Because guys want to get sex. So they're not going to break the rapport. They're going to say and do what's required to get said sex. They're going to tell her. That's fine that you work on OnlyFans. It's fine that you're a stripper. I don't mind. I've dated that before. It's no big deal. They're going to say what they need to say to build, keep rapport going and have sex. And then once they do, they're never going to wife her. And that's the, that's the thing is that women aren't comfortable with uncomfortable truths. And the truth is, is that your past does matter and your money doesn't necessarily make you sexy. And unfortunately, a lot of the times a successful woman, her money actually fucks her up in the end because to be, make that money, you have to adopt certain traits that unfortunately make you unattractive to men, which is assertiveness, dominance, competitiveness, aggression, et cetera. Men don't want that in women, just like you don't want me to wear a Chanel bag on her date. That's a feminine man, right? Well, men don't want a feminine woman. And I know it sucks and it's because it goes against everything. And I don't blame women for not being able to understand this. It goes against everything you've been taught. All the single ladies, strong, independent, you know, go to school, get your bag, fuck these niggas. Fuck niggas, <laughs> get money, right? Everything I'm telling you right now goes against the grain of what popular media and society tells you about what you should do as a woman. Society's going to tell you, don't cook, don't clean, but still got a ring. You know what I'm saying? They're going to say, fuck these niggas, get money. I don't want no scrap. Like, they're going to tell you all these things where they tell you, be empowered, all this other shit. All that stuff is going to do is set you up to be a terrible mother, a terrible wife, and guys are only going to look at you for sexual gratification and nothing else. Because... Men don't want women to act like guys. They're just never going to tell you that. They're just going to play the game, get laid, and not take you serious. Makes sense. Makes sense. Thank you. I know. I know it sucks, but it's the truth. <laughs> All right, Gina. Um, it's super cliche, but do you guys feel like you could ever like fall in love? <laughs> <laughs> or do you think that like you know, or even guys in general, like, are they ever interested in actual love or? It's just not interesting. Uh, I just think very lo logically. So, like, uh, I don't think I've ever been there. Um, hopefully. Is that something you want? I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, eventually, one day, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the woman that will have my kids. But it's like, 
you know, it's it's just that like for men, I always say like, you know, you got to be very careful of of loving a woman because love for men is extremely real. You know, like because you guys got to remember men and women love differently too. shout out to Rolo Tomasi was here earlier. He always says men love idealistically. Women tend to love opportunistically. And that's not to say you guys are terrible creatures. You guys love opportunistically. You're evil. You know what I'm saying? Like women are demons or some shit like, <laughs> well, some are, but it's that women love men for what they provide. That's just the reality of the world. And men tend to love women for them. You know what I'm saying? That's why when after breakups, men, you know, mm. commit self-deletion far more than women do. Mm. Suicide. And they, they want to say it. They out, can't get over breakups. I don't want to say it too many times. Easily too. Yeah. It takes them a long time to be with another girl. Yeah. They just can't do it. Women get over breakups way women, faster than men do. Women really like alternate sky. Yeah. yeah. Damn. And you guys are wired to, to do that. There's a bunch of evolutionary reasons why women are wired to like get over relationships faster than men. But yeah, that's why we tell guys you got to be careful about loving girls because men love for real. You know what I'm saying? That's why crazy, you know, when a dude loves you, does all this crazy shit, you know, is because men, men love for real. Women love opportunistically. As soon as a man doesn't provide a certain level of value that he once did, the woman's slowly going to start to fall out of love with that man. You know? And that's, lastly? Yeah, I can see that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got really quiet. Okay, I'll talk into the mic. I got this. I did good this show, guys. You did do um, good. You did do good. <laughs> Wait, okay, so it's just like my last remarks. Um, or comments or questions or disagreements, whatever. I think we can clearly see that there are two different types of successful women. There's the aggression, okay? And there's regular dominance. I think that you can get over the, like, dominant part of it if they're not as aggressive as some people I may be. I respectfully disagree. Uh, it's not successful. I think... You in, in terms of what? What? I, she, I, you mean successful, like, from, mean, honestly, from a monetary standpoint, right? It's not even monetary. It's just successful. If you can sit here and be productive in your own day-to-day -day life, like, let's say I may not want to cook and clean at home, but I can, like, hire a maid. I can go and do some fucking, like, regular things that you may, like, assistant work. Like, your your wife can be your assistant. Okay. If that makes sense. Right. And that's successful. Yes. But if you even have your own, like, business or entrepreneurial moves or motivation to do whatever hobby type shit you have... That's successful too. And that's not necessarily where they're aggressively throwing their livelihood or throwing their actions in your face saying, I'm this caliber, so you need to treat me as such. It's more as, hi, I want to take care of you, even though you may not need it and I may not need it. I want to be this woman for you because, yeah, you give me security, you give me good dick, and you make me happy. And on the other side, it's the same thing. You handle my responsibilities that I don't necessarily want to do. But you're also like happy, go lucky, like give good sex. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're giving the same shit. How do I explain it? No, so here's circles. the thing, because when you said successful before, most people are going to define that from a monetary and career standpoint. So that's how most people are going to interpret it. I'm successful. So when you mean successful as successful as I'm going to be a dutiful wife and be your helping hand, that's a whole other thing. Because let's be honest, women that are successful, that built up their own business are not going to compromise and put their business to the side and say, I'm going to be your helping hand. Yeah, no. They're not going to do that. But, and and which is fine. That's what but, I'm saying. If you, sorry, if you have, because I have a little thought. If you have that success in your own life and you're not throwing it at your partner is what I'm saying, as a woman to a man, you can still be like, how do I explain? You can be successful and motivated because a, a, a normal woman who has things handed to her in life may not always fix her bed and may not always get up and even go order groceries or go do the groceries or like do all these womanly duties, right? Because they're so used to not even brushing their teeth or getting up before 10 a.m. on most days or having to deal with their own shit. They have so many other people taking care of things for themselves that they may not even be able to fill out a ballot to vote. Does that, what, does that make so, sense? Like successful in life as a woman, you could still be a good partner and still be dominant, but you're not that aggressive type where you're like, holy shit, like I don't even no, want this bitch it around. No, it does not. Because here's the thing. To be a good wife, by default, you must be submissive. Yeah. You can't be a dominant success. Like, like again, this, this is... Well, this I'm also is, dumb because I think I call things organized chaos, so... Yeah, and that in <laughs> itself is an issue. So like, it's like the, the whole purpose of, of, of a woman being a wife is being a wife as a helping hand, which in, in itself is a submissive role. And if you're in a submissive role, you can't be dominant. Like you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's like, it, this is the way it is. I mean, you can, I mean, you could sit there and try to smash a square peg into a round hole, but it's not going to work. And if you do get it in there, it's never going to operate. Be damaged. It's not going to be operate. It's not going to operate at hundred percent efficiency. Successful women that make a certain amount of money 
that get there refuse to not be acknowledged as such. They want to get their flowers for being successful, and that's fine. They've earned that. But what I'm saying is that it does not make them more attractive, and that's where so many of these women fail. Oh, yeah. Your money nice. doesn't mean shit to a guy that has money. Your money will mean something to the very men that you don't deem as appropriate potential mates. Guys exactly. that have less money than you, guys that are broke, or guys that are less ambitious than you. But men that are your equal, if not higher, don't care. As a man yeah. rises up the hierarchy, he's okay with dating below the hierarchy. As a woman rises up the hierarchy, she's not okay with dating someone below. She needs someone at least equal. And these guys that are equal don't care about her. They're going to go down to the girl that works at McDonald's. Well, so that's what I'm saying. Like, as, if, if a person, or what was I saying? As long as a woman isn't as aggressive and so dominant over you, then the success that she has necessarily won't matter because she's not holding that over your head. She's not using her... Well, I make this much. You can't tell me that. No, it's more like, okay, well, I have my day to day things. So instead of going out and cleaning the house and cooking and doing this, I'm going to handle those responsibilities, even though it's not me doing that and being a. You're saying it in an ideal world, yeah. man. But like that, that's not, yo, it's not, this isn't a Disney fairy Same tale, thing. man. Same like thing. people that are successful are not going to sit there and let people boss them around or tell them what to do. Like a chick that's a boss. Why is that to be boss? She's not going to, she's not going to be okay with a man like taking leadership all the time she's going to want to assert challenge herself him. to some degree yeah. she's going to challenge him yeah. it's in her nature it's the very reason she became successful in the first place was because she challenged and beat men yeah. her whole life so she's not going to just change all of a sudden you can't turn it off you, you can't turn it off, turn it off. hyper yeah. successful people work all the fucking time yep. i work all the time i don't leave the studio i'm always fixing things around i'm always i'm in the gym i'm uh, here fashion. whatever it is it becomes obsessive you can't turn it off so women that also match that level can't turn it off. And yeah. I'll be honest with you, as a guy that's a higher earner, whatever, I don't want to deal with those types of women at all. Understandable. And I get where you're coming from. I'm saying that it wouldn't be a problem in this situation. I'm not saying that you're, okay, well, if she's not dominant and she's successful, that's hot. No, I like my success doesn't matter to most of the people that I'm, I, I've ever talked to. But as long as you're not like some aggressive person, then maybe it's not that it would matter or that it would be a problem. I know it doesn't matter if someone's successful or not, but do you see what I'm saying? Is that is, is I get what you're saying. Oh, okay. you could find a feminine woman that's successful. Yeah, yeah. but it's not, not going to be not common. Necessarily feminine, but someone. Oh, sorry. You're not, not gonna, necessarily feminine, not but common. someone that's not so aggressive and angry at you. For does that make you're not, you're, you? You're you can't, thing? yo. Like I'm trying to tell you, like yeah. if you're successful and you make money, that's almost like a required trait to have. Mm. Yeah, I got an attitude. Pushovers don't. It, People that are pushovers don't tend to get paid as much. Another reason why women make less than money than men, they pay, no, they say the wage gap because I'm a woman. Clothes the, mouth don't get fed. Women don't speak up. Thank you. So how do you know this? <laughs> like, because, a lot of times why women pay, uh, well, She wants us to agree by changing the, um, the talk. It's, it's the same baseline and foundation. You're not going to turn off your masculine traits just because you feel like it's, it's in you. So trying to convince this is not going to work. We get your point, but that's just not how people operate. Uh, that's just not how, yeah, that's just not how the world works, man. Yeah. Successful people don't turn it off. Don't ever. Like a woman that built up a business and scaled it up to six figures, et cetera, isn't going to sit there and be like, okay, baby, what do you want to do? Whatever. Like, even if she does that and gets the ring, it's gonna, she going to change. How long is she going to act like that? Exactly. She going to put the, she going to take the mask off like future at some point and be like, no, motherfucker, I ain't doing this. No more. <laughs> you know uh, what I'm saying? See, and that guy at that point, he's going to be like, oh, shit. No, no, man. Like it was at this moment. Too late now. <laughs> he fucked up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so why, why am I going to sit there? Network. No. There's, there's my, uh, that's where one of my sounds come from. But, yeah. <laughs> but why is he going to go and take a chance, man? Like, he's not going to do with that, man. Like, he's going to yeah. go and just go with the younger girl that's not going to give him a hard time. It's like, bro, last thing a guy wants to do is, like, work all day and come home and talk to his girl. And she's like, you know, oh, my God, I'm stressed. I'm marketing. Like, fuck that shit. Trying to bust a nut. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude's <laughs> just trying to, like, have a like, baddie. Oh, that's my not God, my hair time. looks so great, right? Let's go have I mean, sex. think about it. You you have a sugar daddy before, right? I've honestly never had. Okay, sure. I no, remember I told you I tried having a sugar daddy and he was like this weird fur wearing fucking but you broke tried, guy. You See, tried. I tried. It, it, it doesn't even matter that she had a sugar <laughs> daddy. It's to drive home a point about this. Go ahead. Why does the sugar daddy culture exist? Um, Have you ever thought about it? Yes, but like it's not a short answer, so why? Simply put, successful men want to be around young, attractive women. 
Okay, and they're yeah. willing to pay to do so. So that's why when women start getting older, they get this like baby concept or the fact that they're expiring because beauty in looks for women is so important that it's not going to be anything once they get older. That's why people call it trading it in for a new newer model. <laughs> that's why I say yes. you make mistakes. So of course contrary I'm going to open my thing for married men because if they're, they're going to leave for somebody, why not leave for me? The, yeah, that contrary to what, up, yeah, but... I mean it's it's true. Like contrary to popular belief, yes, women, you do have an expiration date, and the older you get, the less negotiating power you have in the dating marketplace. As you get older, you cannot necessarily get the same level of man that you might have been able to get as you were younger. Because you can't get away with a lot of things. You can't just get up in the morning and walk out and be like, okay, my body's tight. My face is tight. You're sitting here getting all these insecurities. And then you're settling for men who may not be of the caliber that you once were at. What I'm trying to say is is you participating participating in the sugaring lifestyle a little bit, or you're trying to at least, validates what I'm telling you already. Hyper successful and uh, successful men don't care about women that are higher earning. I don't see no website, sugarmamas.com or some shit like that. Like, no, because men are okay with trading their resources for a younger, hotter girl that brings nothing to the table financially. And they're willing to even pay to do it. I don't know if there's a a, a clear demonstration mm. of how men really don't give a fuck about how much money a woman makes. Mm-hmm. That's there's right. literally an exploding sugar culture. We did a whole episode on it today. Yeah. Older men that have money and status want young, attractive women and will pay to do it. And they're totally okay with being used. They're totally okay with the superficiality because it's easy and it's simple and it's something that they don't have to work very hard for. No, it's All because they have to do is... it's because they've already worked hard and a byproduct of it now is now I can get attractive women. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. Oh, I never thought. Look of Look at it that I way. Like that. Exactly. That's. They like already that, worked so hard. Let me just get something that, easy. It's 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 way. not that it's easy and the girls are easier or whatever. It's that I've worked my ass off. Now I want the fruits of my labor, which is what a young, beautiful woman by my side, not some old annoying bitch that's going to tell me of that she's a millionaire too and argue with me no i want a young attractive girl that is going to be feminine and submissive and that's what tends to happen when you deal with younger girls men want different things than women do it's like women try to demonize it like oh no they're easy no it's just that men like young attractive girls just like you want a guy that's financially successful and tall and confident and all those other things we're very different Our super chats does that make sense Get yeah or er. All right, I cool. think we're both Billy's, right. Billy's. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. See, you, you, <laughs> I'm kidding. Stop. I'm Billy's, uh, <laughs> please stop. 15 bucks. <sighs> when is the Singapore tour lights? Don't bring the noisy one, though. F me. <laughs> yeah, bro. She's gone now. Yeah. <laughs> Straw Hot Poppy, 20 bucks. God damn. A word for Marion's health at this point. Mouse hair follicles. How do you have patients listening to this turkey? Convinced she has the IG of a koala. Uh, sorry, IQ, you mean. What? Look it up. Yeah, I love koalas. Keem chilling. The, my boy Fresh. I think they're talking. Of, this is from way earlier. Yeah, guys. way earlier. He's oh. racked up before. Keem chilling. Oh, my boy Fresh feeling annoyed as fuck. <laughs> Definitely was, bro. Uh, big N8, uh, 10 bucks. Fresh. I see your pain, bro. It's $10 for your some aspirin. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, bro. For all the people that stay, we say we stage our shows, bro. No, yeah. this is real stress, man. Yeah. Dosha Kimber, 10 bucks. I feel like deletion listening to this Afro Circus. I'm about to watch the movie <laughs> Armageddon Afro-Circus. for the asteroid. <laughs> no, 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 I feel no. you, brother. Asteroid time. <laughs> Monarchs one, 20 bucks. Hey, my own refresh. I need your advice. What the hell is this happening to me? I can't my finger on this. I'm in I, Bahrain, Bahrain and I'm super sprung on this Ukrainian girl. Like, what the hell? Any advice on how to stop thinking about this? Like, uh, like, like this, bi- this bitch, like, geez, bro. Uh, my friend, the best the thing is, you got to get an abundance mindset. And unfortunately, we talked about this in detail. Yeah, abundance mindset comes from talking to other girls. You have to go out and talk to and source and or deal with other women so that you're not going to put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. All right. You're in a dangerous place right now, my friend. You're on the verge of getting one itis. So you need to like stop talking to her for a little bit and go talk to other girls. Uh, yeah. Doctor, Mr. Doctor Amazing. And trust me, she's going to appreciate you for it. She went to a community college. Was oh. that a community college where she went? Probably. She no, but I got 20 bucks. She's shrunk. How aunt. much of a waste college is? Save your money and learn about real estate people. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto Moreno, uh, 10 bucks. Men are very pro, uh, protective over their DNA. The girl on the center right is very argumentative, okay? Um, this was from earlier, ladies. Supporting here because I can't use the normal chat like the video, and hopefully Myron's hair it hasn't fallen too much tonight. It's, it is what it is. Guys, please like the video, by the way. We've been trying to really not stop the show for your hair. I'm sorry, for um, for your guys' enjoyment. Uh, political science degree, no wonder she got a 3.8 easy-ass degree, okay? And that's from Maxwell Wyeffe. Um 
This is from Iron's Hair, 20 bucks. Mr. Dr. Amazing, thank you so much. Imagine flexing an arts degree, walk in the park. She should have got a 4.0 LMAO. That's uh, from Maxwell Wife again. Uh, Armando Espino, 20 bucks. Out of all the girls to kick out, why are you keeping this 304 on? Don't worry, she's, she's gone, gone. King of the Lords, told you to kick her out, bro. We could have had a better show if she left earlier. Yeah, it is what it is. Give her a chance. Simon TJJ. This is for all the people that say that, Myron. Uh, you know, I had to say it. But like, I mean, bro, she was disagreeing, but like, she wasn't like super, super disrespectful. She and it's was kind, just... kind of funny at first, but then it got to the point where it's like, bro, you're doing too much Re now. Really, what it she comes just down kept to... going back on her own word. Like, she would say something and then be yeah, like, oh, I agree. Go. And yeah. they're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, all this arguing and it, headache for it, that? It's really what it comes down to. If I'm going to be all the way 1,000, she's just not an intelligent person. Like, that's really, if I want to, like, she's just not an intelligent person. Oh, I see that. You know, uh, 20 bucks, Simon TJJ. Thank you so much. Uh, MK47, 20 bucks. It's really interesting watching the show how hard it is for women to see the male experience. This show saves lives. Men can see that it's not malicious and women can learn something they didn't know. It's true. We try yeah. to tell y'all, man. Men don't give a fuck. I mean, sorry. Women don't give a fuck about your struggles. Guys. At all, bro. They just pick the winners. Roberto Moreno, 10 bucks. A sophisticated woman is a submissive woman. By the way, I was referencing the girl who got Frank Castle who was being argumentative. Got you, bro. Don't worry. They know. They know. Uh, and then Angel Cardenas, 20 bucks. <laughs> Yo, keep an eye on the girl in the pink. When she pull out the driveway, don't want any more acid more casualties. <laughs> bro, I'm getting out of here, bro. Oh, shit, man. Hit the Ooh, I'm so sad. Uh, all right. All right tomorrow, we got a show with Rolo. Yeah. One-on-one. -on -one, and then a show with girls right after yeah. that. Yeah. Rolo, 7 p.m., guys. We're going to have a great discussion with him. Uh, and then show with the ladies. And then uh, we're going to have on Friday a call-in show with Rolo. We're going to throw the phone number up there. You guys can call into the show. Um, and then we'll probably do a call-in show with the ladies on Friday night as well. And then uh, on Saturday, we're going to have the Tates. Rolo and have a, uh, well, a panel discussion. Let's confirm. Hopefully, first. we'll confirm it. Yeah. We will confirm it with you guys. And thanks for that, Fresh. Uh, they, got, they got the war room. Yeah. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m. We'll roll Tomasi, man. Thank you guys so much. Yo, like the video and comment below for the algorithm. And uh, we Peace. love you guys. Peace. All the night.